Alrighty, hello you lovely people and welcome back to the best games of Newgrounds. That's right, we're back at it once again with the May 2020 edition of the best games on Newgrounds, where we go through and play all of the games that were nominated as the best of that month for the first time. We're giving it about 10 minutes each, our objective to give the developers the best feedback we can muster. So, without further ado, let's crack on. We'll be starting off with There Was Something Here by Adrian Dietrich. There's nothing here, there used to be something here, this won't do. Well, this is an interesting one because already my rule is being a little bit sketchy. You know, we're playing all of these games for the very first time, but I did play There Is Nothing Here? There was something... Something by Adrian Dietrich. I know it was something. So this might be a sequel or something? No, I haven't seen anything about it. But still, that will maybe change my perception of it. I'm not exactly a blank template for this. I kind of know a little bit of the backstory or something going in. So that might change my judgment of it a bit. So it won't... Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Let's crack on. All right. There was something here. Click. There is nothing here. Okay. Well, that's it for this game now. There used to be something here. Where did it go? This won't do. I must must. That font is so weird. I assume that's an M, right? I must rip open the void and bring back what once was. Okay, so in the previous game we destroyed everything, and now we're bringing everything back. If the games are related. Let's check it. Okay, the void. What the? Okay, I think I saw something that said anti-thing, and then things too. And then, what did I? Hover over it and destroyed it? The void. Oh, do I click on the void? Okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe I can click and drag. Oh! If I click, I spawn these things? Uh, do I stay away from them or something? I don't know what's going on. Wait, did they clash with each other? Hang on, I think they'll... Ah, they just... Come on, overlap, overlap. Okay, so there's two things. That's kind of weird, because at the beginning, I thought I saw something, like, fly off screen, but all these things seem to be bouncing. Do I just keep clicking or something? Not quite sure what's going on. We'll try clicking. Do I keep my mouse away? Oh yeah, if I click my mouse, hang on, anti-things, well, now I'm creating a lot of things. If I, oh wait, I don't need to worry about hovering over the white? I really don't get what's going on here. Wait, so I can't touch anti-things? Or do I touch anti-things? By auto thing. Okay. Wait, but my things got reset. What the hell? Do I wait for it to go to 12 now or something? And I buy again? Now I have two seconds. Why does it keep getting reset? What in the world is going on? Okay, it says buy a body, but we don't have enough things, yeah? Do I just keep clicking? It seems like the things are kind of fighting each other. Is that what I'm doing when I hover over anti-things or something? The X things? Am I supposed to avoid the egg? I really don't understand what's going on here. Am I even helping by clicking like that, or should I just wait for the two a second? When I click like this, what happens? It's going up, but then it's also going down. Alright, buy a body. Okay, your body. Whoa! Okay! Hopefully things are getting exciting now, because I gotta admit, I was getting kind of annoyed with that other part. Um, okay, good. I have a body now. Oh, I click. I thought I could move maybe with WASD. But nothing else remains. Remains. I must rebuild. I really hate that M. <laughs> I must repopulate. Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, buddy. The world shall rise anew. Hang on, let me turn the volume down a bit. It's absolutely blasting me on the headphones. All right. By building material 10. Okay. Do I, do I, 
just keep doing that. So if I click here, nothing seems to happen. If I go to the what the f was that? Okay. So when I click like this, is that... Well, now it's not very exciting. Do I go back to body? Okay, now it gets exciting. Okay, I got things. How many materials do I need? I'm hoping for just, uh, ten materials and maybe we'll get something. That seems like a good number. Oh, what the hell? This... Uh, I really don't know what's going on here with this thing. I, I feel like I should just, like, click, but then it just seems like that's bad? I don't know. Go back to body. I really like the, that crazy-ass transition. It's very interesting. Okay, got materials. Alright, maybe I go like... No? Alright, hang on. What if I just take my mouse off the screen? Like, I click and then take it off. Is that good? I'm still not quite sure what all this is doing. <laughs> I, and I feel so stupid for not getting that. <laughs> Alright, back here. Seriously? You don't have enough materials yet? Come on, I want to crack on! This is really weird, and I'm really not understanding it. Really starting to get frustrated. <laughs> Alright, maybe I just need to buy the auto-thinger to help me. You know, instead of just, like, waiting for it. Plan for the future. Buy a lot of things. Okay, body. Do we have enough yet? Still nothing? Alright, hang on. Let me check the description real fast. The game can only be played by clicking, tapping things, but later you'll also be able to move with the wads. Okay, so... I, I don't think I'm missing anything, and yet... Come on! Something happened! This... That, that transition is probably the best part about this game right now. Everything else is being really confusing and annoying, and I don't really know what the hell's going on. Body. Ah, oh, come on, we got to 20 and it still didn't do anything? I don't know what I'm looking for here. Back into the void. Alright, come on. Uh, we're almost at 10 minutes and... I feel like I just want to, like, quit or something. Adrian Dietrich, you got some really experimental games. Usually I'm a fan, but right now I'm being real lost at the moment. <laughs> Hang on. So when I... I can't really test. When I click that, it does seem to generate one. And then... Buy anti-converter? Is that a good thing, or should I go over here? Buy friend... 1,000! Uh, buy anti-converter. Wait. What the hell just happened? I didn't click anything. Conversion... Wait! Did it buy an anti-converter? Because I didn't click it, I just switched. I, I, I went to your body to confirm prices first to see if something had changed. Did it buy that? If I click again, will it attempt to buy again? Hang on, so if I do this now, do I get a lot more materials now because it's doing anti-things? Oh, now do I actually have to hover over the X and I get the 50? Oh, okay. All right, so now maybe we're actually getting something here? Well, now buying the auto thing seems kind of bleh. Okay, this at least seems like kind of a fun minigame. So you do that and you're like, oh, where's the uh, where's the thing went? Okay, good. You track it down, you got it. Okay. This, this is kind of making sense. This probably should have been at the start, this whole, like... Yeah, per anti thing, X, the symbol of the X makes me think that's anti, so go over it. You get 50 each. That's that's not bad. Let's buy a friend. Okay, I can't really see anything. The world. My friend! I've created you! Please help me rebuild. We must gather material. The music's getting kind of weird. It's like kind of overlaying on top of each other. It's sounding really weird. Make ourselves a home. WASD to move. Spacebar, click. Okay, he's... He's doing stuff. And, wait, what was happening there? Am I, like, blocking him or something? Is he doing something? Is he... Oh, he's taking materials, yeah? Okay, so materials is decreasing every time he does that. Okay. 
Oh wait, are these the blocks that were used to build the place that was in the uh, the prequel, the sequel, or something? Material factory. Jeez. Insert friend. Okay. So should I keep doing this thing? Try to hover over. It's, it's kind of difficult to hover over anti things when these buttons are kind of blocking my. Uh, like, ah, I want to hover over that anti thing, but it's hidden behind the buttons. Damn it! <laughs> All right, buy another friend. So when I do that, do I place him here or something? Plus one materials. Oh, per second. Okay, so now I'm generating materials automatically. Spacebar insert friend. 1,000 things per second. Oh, so that's happening. I, okay, so my friend's in there now. If I click again, does that take the friend out? Ah, but now I don't have anything to build, but I suppose I can build another friend like this. Because now I'm getting a freaking shit ton of things. Okay. Alright. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? <laughs> now it seems to be picking up the pace. It's like, the curve of progression of this game is really weird. It was like, so annoyingly flat for a long time. Now all of a sudden it seems to be like skyrocketing or something. This is bizarre. Alright, things. Keep making materials. Ah, dang it, buy another... Buy a shit ton of friends. Why is the friend not building? Yo! Use the materials and place them around, man! We got 200 of these things! Go, 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 go! What the hell are you doing? Oh, now you're moving? Jeez! Took your sweet ass time. Oh, do I need to, like, move with them or something like that? Is that what's going? I need to lead them? Okay, fancy. Interesting, I, I guess. Where are they dragging materials from? I thought they needed to drag materials from... Are they taking materials from me? Oh, I'm the generator of materials? I thought it was these factories. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, so I walk around with my friends. They grab materials from me. Actually, do I just stand here? And they... No, they stand right there. Move around and place materials, man. Oh, okay. Ten hundred thousand things sacrificed? Whoa, that's not very nice. I don't want to sacrifice my friends. They're building stuff. This is being kind of weird. I don't know why sometimes the friends get, like, frozen and stop moving. Do they only, like, work when I, like, lead the way or something like that? Wait, where are my friends? Are they stuck? Oh, okay, they're coming. Alright, hang on. Get over here. If I... Oh, okay, now they're following me, I guess. Yeah, we're almost at the 10 minute... Well, we're already past the 10 minute limit, but we'll play a little bit more because now at least it's kind of picking up the pace, although now I'm getting kind of annoyed because it just seems like this world is friggin' huge. But then again, I guess what I should just do is buy a lot more friends. This <laughs> is... Okay. Getting interesting, getting interesting. Go around, build things. Where the hell is the edge of this world? The left edge of the world was there, like, pronto. Now, oh, I need to stop so they actually disperse and start building things. I can't quite tell how to make my friends work occasionally. It's like I need, sometimes I need to move to get them to work, sometimes I need to stop. Half doomsday time, sacrifice, what the fuck is going on? This is really bizarre. Okay, keep building. Oh, I am on the world, I was about to say. Okay, keep building. Yeah, go, go, go. Alright, get over here. Maybe they just stop building when there's nothing left to build or something within the area, I guess? Okay, so this is the upper left corner. Okay. Alright. I'll probably stop here for now. I think I got the gist of the game. It's an interesting game. I'd say the intro really suffers from being kind of a confusing mechanic. Once it finally starts to pick up the pace, it seems to get really intriguing with this whole weird building and stuff like that going on. It's crazy. Also, I like the, the transitions and the escalation of music and stuff. Very interesting. Just, uh, yeah, a little bit of a rocky start, but it does pick up and goes interesting places. All right. 
Next up is Gunhook IO Online by Keyball. Online multiplayer 3D dash shooter. Up to 100 players on leaderboard. All right, let's check it out. Okie dokie. I'm not much for online games, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be something cool. Player name. All right. Uh, Lucas. Customize. Oh, I can do a little color. Uh, let's make them white, I guess. Can we make totally white? Maybe not. Wait, what's going on? Why is he stuck with some sort of, like, yellowish thing? Isn't that supposed to be kind of like white? Ah, whatever, we'll just do that. Joints, we'll keep them black. Uh, play. Alright. I didn't see any... Okay, right click to wall hook. WASD to move, aim with mouse. Oh, jeez. Do we gotta go full screen? My mouse is behaving kind of oddly. It's like it's not hooked into the screen properly. You see? Is that showing up on the capture? Yeah, I got. Alright, um, do I go out? I'll try to play like this, but ugh, I can't. H hang on. Let me reboot. That mouse is really bothering me because it's not being, you know, hooked into the game. Maybe that. Why is my joints gone red now? All right, I'll try playing. Maybe this is one of these games where you gotta play like full screen or something like that. If that's the case, I'll try that. It's just a bit annoying because my capture isn't really built for that. I'll change it if we need to, though. Because usually you would think in Unity it would be cursor mode, like dot, uh, cursor mode locked or lock mode state, cursor mode state or something. I'm trying to remember the syntax, but I swear there's something like that that could be used for something. All right, we'll try going, even full screen doesn't really help because I can still go off the screen by rolling my mouse all the way to the left. All right, so I can bang, I guess. I really don't know what's going on. And I'm only in a room with one other dude. Is there no bot matches or something? Hang on, let me switch this to a, uh... Well, we'll do it like this, because that works better for the capture. Alright, I got rifle. Okay, fancy. Shotgun, I guess. I got these hooks. That's cool, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty interesting game, and I, I imagine pretty cool, since it's multiplayer and stuff. It's just multiplayer usually isn't my jam, and now we're kind of just stuck in a room with one other dude. Doesn't really make for exciting gameplay. The hook's a bit annoying like that, too. It seems kind of janky. When I hook like this, I would hope I'd be able to get up and above, but it doesn't seem to work. When I do it from below, it seems to rocket me up so I can get on top, so that's nice. Alright, grenade. Five. Okay, I can blow myself up, and there is ragdoll. That's nice. I got. Wait, I died? I still had a bit of green on me. That's weird. Let me try that again. Blow myself up. Yeah, I shouldn't be dead. I still got a spot of green on my health bar. A little bit of a glitch there, I suppose. Alright, so pistols, rifle, shotgun. I mean, you know, this looks nice and all. Well, the sniper seems kind of useless because... Do I have a... I don't have a scope or anything like that, yeah? Hang on, what happens when I hit back? Oh, that just kicks me off? Uh, we'll go back in. Hang on, joining room. Right hook to wall hook. WSD to move, aim with mouse and hold left click to shoot. Uh, it does that again. Yeah, something weird's happening on with... One, this is incredibly... Wait! Now my cursor... I think my cursor is finally locked in the game now. Okay, now it's... I don't know why it was work acting so glitchy. That really, really kind of soured the experience for me. Now that my cursor is actually locked in the game properly, it, uh, it is actually quite working now. And, uh, yeah, it seems like an alright kind of game, like, hooking around, shooting around. Whoa, <laughs> physics seems, uh, like it might be a little bit kind of glitchy. I wouldn't expect to be slingshotted that fiercely into the air. <laughs> huh. <laughs> seems like it could be kind of interesting, but it's just a little bit, like, you know, it's like an interesting proof of concept, and 
don't get me wrong, I don't I don't futz with multiplayer games, so it's probably kind of an ordeal to be able to uh, hook all this multiplayer type stuff up, I guess. But, well, I don't even really know. Alright. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I can get from this game, just because everything's empty. That is kind of the problem with multiplayer games. There's nobody to play with. I know, I know, you can shoot some boo, but it's just one dude. You know, I would prefer to play with a full room or something like that, yeah? Plus, I already tried shooting at Sumbu earlier and it didn't seem to work. <laughs> well, maybe I was missing. Jeez, that gun hook can be really weird. I feel like that's, like, it's funny that it does that, but I feel like that can't be, like, quite intended, can it? Like, that seems like more of a reasonable type thing. But then occasionally you get that. I guess just the forces are all sorts of crazy and there's no sorts of clamping on the forces, I guess, to make them uh, act in a kind of reasonable, constrained manner. <laughs> eh, it's kind of funny, at least. Wait, why when I hit R I, I reload but there's no animation or anything? And do I even have clip uh, magazine size? Oh, I guess I do. I see ammo on the lower right. I didn't realize. That's kind of... Surely there needs to be some sort of, you know, taking the magazine out and all that stuff. That's a bit kind of lame that that's all missing. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of neat. Like I said, like, interesting multiplayer type game and stuff. Not really my jam, it doesn't seem really that exciting when there's not many people playing. I don't know if that's a connection issue, maybe there are people playing. But uh, yeah, it just seems kind of a bit clunky and could use a little bit more time in the stove. But, not bad, not bad. I just had, you know, I'm probably, you know, this probably wouldn't be that bad if there was a lot of other people and I got to go around and shoot and stuff. And blah -de blah Ah! Alright, we'll try, we'll give it the old college try and try shooting at the guy. Oh, I killed him! Hey, I killed him, I owned him. Okay, we'll call it there for now, I suppose. <laughs> Backspace. Okay. Interesting game, a little bit of clunky start. It wasn't locking my cursor into the game. It was forcing me full screen, which, which isn't that bad. Uh, there's nobody playing at the moment. I guess I missed the boat on that, or maybe there's connection issues. Um, it's missing some kind of feel-good elements, like actual, like, reloading animations and stuff. It's a decent proof of concept. Like, not bad. Just, uh... Could use a lot more time and work onto it. It just feels like it was kind of, like, just thrown in a bunch of assets, and instead of, like, particularly working on them, it's just kind of like a nice little proof of concept, or, like, a demo or something. So, yeah. Neat little game. Alrighty, next up we got, ah, well, the Pico Lodge 2020 by Bill Primo. Is that Primo? Yep, Bill, Bill Primo. 56 Newgrounds artists work together to collaboratively celebrate 25 years of Newgrounds. Well, it ain't much of a game game, I suppose, but eh, let's give it a little bit of a peek, because it's kind of cool to look at these things. Alright, Pico Lodge 2020, bam. I'll get out of full screen at the moment. Alrighty. Oh, I guess we can use... So this is the collage. I guess we just click to go to certain ones. Looks like we can also use mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. So when I zoom out like that, is that... Oh yeah, I can see it looping on the sides. When I click on that, it zooms in. Okay, cool. Good little nice uh, responsive layout. I can just, I can move like that. Huh. Okay, okay. Interesting stuff. Alright, I guess what I'll do is... I'll try to see how many of these Newgrounds references I can actually get. Because, you know, as much as I love Newgrounds, I feel like I've always, like, never fully embraced it and know that much of the culture, but who knows, maybe I'll actually know more than I think I know, so let's take a look around. Okay, let's start from the top left 
and let's quiz myself to see how much of a Newgrounds fanboy I am or not. I'm hoping I do better than I think I do. I feel like I barely belong in there. Like, like I said, a lot of the reason I've been doing these reviews is because I felt guilty. I've given a lot of things to Newgrounds and stuff, but it's like, you know, I've just been like putting all my work in there and reaping the benefits of, you know, having a nice little audience checking out my work and giving me feedback, but I was really shy and I never felt like I gave that much back. So let's see how much I've been paying attention, I guess. Okay, starting at the top left, that's, uh, Happy Tree Friends, right? I think. I actually wasn't aware that was a Newgrounds type thing. I guess that came from there? I guess I didn't really know exactly where Happy Tree Friends came from. Is that what it is? I'm trying to remember, what was a Happy Tree Friends moment? It's like, uh, it's like, uh, I swing my sword and ball sack around! I rolled a one, how did I do? And then it's like, well, it's a critical failure. You chopped your own balls off. And because of a bunny sp uh, spell or something, you're happy about it. No! Okay, so. All right, next up, that's Bitey of Brackenwood. That was like around, like, I think when I like first joined or something, that was like a big thing where it was like, holy shit, look at this like Disney like level like animation that's going from these guys. It was nuts. Oh, I just realized the frickin' music in this game. It's probably, uh... Oh, but the music is cool. Let me just, uh... Shift the, uh... Oh no, it's actually kind of fading in the back. I'll just downplay it a little bit, just so my voice can come through, because my voice is just so important. But Bitey of Brackenwood, yeah, I feel like... And I believe there's been a lot of sequels that have been released. Bitey of Brackenwood, so that's cool. That was like a big thing back in the day where it was like, holy shit, like it's not just like poop and dicks and celebrities getting punched, punched or whatever that big thing in the day used to be called. Was it like wanted or something? It was just some sort of like thing centered around celebs getting like punched or something, I forget. But yeah, that was like, holy shit, we can have like some Disney level animation on here. This one, I'm not sure. Is that like Starbarians or something? That's my best guess, but I'm not quite sure. Starbarians is something by I forget. Was that like uh Is that Harry Partridge or something? He did that really good Watchmen cartoon that I liked. <laughs> that I can't quite tell. Is that just Pico with That's not Pico, is it? Because Pico's got a a green shirt, right? I'm not sure what that one is, so I'll give that a pass. This one, I can't quite tell. Oh, I feel like I recognize that angry bear from somewhere, but... No, I'm not quite grasping that one. What's this one? Not quite grasping that one, if it's a reference, but uh, a cool piece of art nevertheless gives me Akira vibes. All right, that's Peabot. He's always around there picking like the dailies and stuff. So yeah, I know that. This one, I don't really know. Maybe that, um, maybe they're supposed to be people. I'll, I'll just assume that one of them's Tom Fulp or something. Okay, so we've taken care of that row. So now we're back at Happy Tree Friends again. All right, let's try going down here. Um, I don't recognize that one, unfortunately. Let's see, looking around for references. The art looks kind of interesting. Hey, I got an achievement, nice. This is five minutes, okay, I'm halfway through my 10 minute review. I gotta pick up the pace. Okay, I don't quite recognize this one, but I really like the kind of like art, like, where have I seen this type of art before? Like Art Spiegelman or something like that? It gives me kind of like a mouse vibe with that kind of just very like scratchy, fine, like pen thing or something at least like maybe not like mouse but like his crazy like alternative like comics like super depressing suicidal crazy stuff i don't know what we got here well this just looks like it's a bunch of the boys like i, I think that's like zach psychic pebbles i'm assuming that's oni oni plays that's jeff that's... Uh, I feel like a lot of these people I should be recognizing, but I'm just not quite sure. Wait, no, is Skull... Je I'm trying to think, because I think I've seen these guys, like, represented in a lot of, like, cartoons. Oh man, I should know, like... 
I feel like this is just a bunch of people that have been on, like, Oni plays. <laughs> so I guess that's kind of cheating. I didn't quite know them from Newgrounds, I knew them from Oni plays, so I'll call that a pass. Alright, this looks like... Yeah, I recognize these sprites from the old, uh... Portal Defenders, right? This was, uh... Dan Paladin and... Uh, what was the other name? Oh, I feel like an asshole. I played Newgrounds Defenders, though. I recognize the sprites. Is it just Tom Fulp and Dan Paladin? Was that it? And there's the Behemoth logo, working on Nightmare Cops. Hopefully I got that right. Okay. I don't recognize this one. I recognize the name Lewis. I know we're from, though. Mm. Alright. Well, this one's one of the characters from Pico Day, right? Because it's like Pico, somebody, and Darnell, Black Kid or something? I, I forget her name. Sexist. Forgetting the girl's name. Shame on me, sorry. Well, there's Pico. Oh, and it's Mind Chamber. I probably should have guessed that because robots. And I think that's Mind Chamber's thing? Robots? Alrighty. And a bunch of reviews, if I know. Alright, well, there's some All Your Baser Belong to Us. There's Cats. There's Move Zig. All that stuff. There's the pilot. I don't know if he has a name. Is the pilot's name Zig or is the ship's name Zig? I don't know. Okay, we finished that road. Let's move on to the next show. Well, this is something I don't know much about, but that's Salad Fingers, right? Johnny Salad Fingers? No, am I mixing that up with Johnny Rocket Fingers? Salad Fingers, I think. I don't know much about that, though, but Salad Fingers. This one... Oh, man, I feel like I should know this. Is this something by, uh... Cory Spazkid? I think that's right. I feel like I've seen that booty picture somewhere, like... Some, I feel like I've seen these characters, and like one of the characters like like smushes his. I think this guy smushes his face into those butt cheeks. <laughs> butt cheeks. God. How old am I? And I'm still. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, this one's is the Newgrounds tank logo. I guess it's just that's pretty much it. Little alien hominid, drawn in a little bit of a different style. All right. This one, well, it's just a cool little piece of art. I see the keyframes, a nice little flash time frame, also some sort of a sound type thing, so that's cool. Alright, this is looking like... I think I've seen some of these faces. This one, that's a Ninja Muffin 69, right? I feel like I maybe recognize some of these other avatars, but I don't have all their names memorized. I think that's right. Okay, well this is mostly Ego Raptor type stuff. You got the, yeah, as if it wasn't obvious, but you could see Ego Raptor, Ego Raptor, Ego Raptor all in the back there. Awesome Crossing, uh, Metal Gear Awesome, Poke Awesome, Resident Evil Awesome, Chrono Awesome, Shadow of the Awesome. Uh, that's from Trauma Center. Some of the other ones I don't recognize. I haven't watched all of his stuff. This one I can't quite tell. It's a bit zoomed out and I'm not sure. It looks bloody cool, but I don't know if it's quite of a ref. Let's see, this one... Something about it. I mean, I see Tankman in the background. I see, I assume that's Tom Fulp. See what looks like Alien Hominid, I think? Although when you look at it like that, it almost looks like this is a nose instead of an eye. It looks like maybe it's a Moogle or something instead. This lady... I feel like I've seen her on front page a few times animation. It's drawn in a different style, but wasn't it like something about pizza or date night or something like that? I'm trying to remember. I think I even reviewed it, actually. Anyway, okay, so we've taken care of that row. Let's move on. This row, oh, once again, we're seeing some of the avatars. Like, I think this is again Ninja Muffin 69. Wait, is it Ninja Muffin 69? Or am I, is the 69 not actually there? That's part of it, right? That kind of looks like Bobo from that hobo beat-em-up or something, and there's Ritz. So, yeah, this looks like a bunch of, like, Ninja Muffin-associated stuff. Oh, that witch lady! That was from that game, which I didn't like that much. <laughs> um, what was it called? I forget, but you're a witch flying on a broom or something like that. Alright, this one... Oh, I don't recognize this one that much. I don't know. Looks cool, though. All of this art looks cool. This one, I'm not catching a ref here. It's a neat one. This one, well, that's just Dad and me. 
which is awesome. Really cool beat em up. I hope to. I hope in my game career I can make some more beat em ups as good as Dad and me. Hmm. This one. Alright, this looks like some portal defenders. Looks like you got like Jeff, Tom Fulp, the boys, Nightmare Cops. Looking cool, looking cool. This one. I don't recognize that one, unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, okay. Just kind of a cool thing. Obviously, you see Tankman, Pico, Cat. Uh, is that Battle Block Theater right there? Alien Hominid. So, a lot of references stuffed in there. That's cool. Uh, this one I don't quite recognize. I don't know. I haven't seen this person, but it looks cool. Obviously, probably just a lot of really cool Newgrounds users that I should get to know. Alright, so we cleared that row. Alright, this is, uh, Palo, right? Or something like that? I've only just recently learned about, like, Palo or something, but it was like, yeah, that guy, he's like, Wow, that is relatable! Or something, right? That's what that's all about. And then this guy shows up and he zooms into the screen really fast, he's like, <laughs> Or something, right? I think that's right. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know that much about it, but it's like, Storytime animators or something, I guess. I think that's what it is. Alright. Well, this just looks like... Is this Mind Chamber or something? Because it's robots? I don't know. It looks kind of cool. It reminds me of kind of like... Heavy metal, old school, like chrome type robot design. Alright, that's neat. Is it supposed to be Mind Chamber or something? I wonder if that's a user avatar. This one? Well, it's just a cute little chick. I don't quite recognize that, but Newgrounds tank and all that. This one... Oh, have I seen this face before? This might have been in like the... Was this in like the background art for some of these like uh... Um... For some of these Newgrounds pages? This face looks familiar, but maybe not. It looks kinda cool though. This one... I don't quite recognize that. Almost looks like it could be like Gang Beasts or any of those games where you just play as like a floppy dude or something like that. Uh, that looks kind of cool, just like a crazy looking Colossus. Nothing new ground specific I can see, but cool. Alright, well this is definitely loaded with Nightmares Cops refs. Definitely looking forward to that. Definitely looking forward. Okay, groovy. I don't recognize these peoples, but I do recognize slumped in front of a computer and looking stoned out of your mind, so it's all good. <laughs> Alright, okay, we got Alien Hominid. Don't recognize this one. Okay, we got Tankmen and some sort of weird, like, Eva-esque... Oh, this is Meowling! Well, I do recognize that name. Really cool pixel art I see constantly. Follow on Twitter. Gave me a nice little shout-out about these reviews I do. Thank you very much. Um, this one looks cute. <laughs> I don't quite recognize the stuff, but very cute. I'm surprised I'm not, I haven't seen any Casual Crashers references yet. Unless maybe I missed it. Dang, that is some frickin', I don't know what I would call it, like, Giger-esque. The tank rolling up with tank men in front of this crazy alien straight out of Contra. Blast it with the spread gun, boys. Alright, looking cool, looking cool. Okay, lots of Newgrounds-themed candies. Clock Crew, Dad and Me. Uh, oh, Castle Crashers! Well, what do you know, they did show up. Nightmare Cops, Pico, Alien Hominoid. Uh, Nightmare... Wait, Nightmare? Is that what it's called? Madness! Madness! Sorry. Salad Fingers again. Tank Man. Uh, Bracky of Biting Wood, I guess. That's cool. Did I miss any of there? Oh, what the heck? This looks kind of familiar. Something about that pose with the kind of claw arms. I feel like I recognize that from somewhere, but I'm not quite grasping it. It's cool, it's cool. Alright. Okay, cool, cool. Not catching the ref there, but it's neat. This one, cool. Cool, COVID, all right, very topical. <laughs> Not Chinese, I'm black, sure. All right, well, this is just some pretty cool art. Nothing new ground specific, but cool. Okay, well, that's Zone, right? Zone worked on uh, Skullgirls and Indivisible. And I suppose is probably more known for just the more, uh, those types of things. But, you know. <laughs> Shampoo? Cool robo thing. I like it. I 
feel like I recognize this from somewhere, this kind of chicken looking thing, kind of like Earthworm Jim looking motherfucker. This one, isn't this like Sublo and Tangy Mustard or something? I, I haven't watched it, but I feel like I've seen it pop up a lot. Okay, now we've done a full circle. Well, I think I did a bit better on my self-imposed quiz than I thought. I feel like I recognized maybe like more than half of the references or something. I feel like I actually got a good amount. Well, I feel better being part of this community than I thought I was. All right, cool. <laughs> But, for now, we'll be moving on, but thank you for all the artists who contributed, all of this... I've, I felt kind of bad that, like, you know, I was going through trying to spot references when I probably should have just been appreciating the art. Sorry if it didn't sound like I was appreciating it as much as I should. But anyway, really cool stuff. Alright, so next we're moving on to Missen Again by Danny Dre 14 You've just found Missen, but there she goes again. All right, let's, let's see, FP, I don't recognize that one. Let's check it out, missing again. Okay, uh, play. Okay, the riddle show you where missing is hiding. Press E on an object to mail sexist <laughs> to make a guest search for Missin there. After you find Missin, return the item to win. I'm assuming Missin is this cat looking thing. <laughs> or maybe literally a cat. I don't know. Just Missin is such a weird name. After you find Missin, return the item to win. If you guess incorrectly, you lose 10 seconds. Solve the riddles, find Missin, and return the items before... Wait. Where did items come from? Wait. The riddle show you where Missin is hiding. Press E on an object to make a guess for Missin there. Uh, after you find missing, return the item. If you guess incorrectly, you lose 10. Find the solve the riddles, find missing, and return the item. Alright, let's just learn by doing. Uh, W-A-S-D-E-R. Okay, E. Life was good, but you missed your online classes, so you tried to download them. However, your laptop charger is missing. Go find it before the battery dies. Okay, objective. Find missing and get your charger before your laptop dies. This war has been going on for far too long. Those soft cushion fools will never stop their idiocy. We need countermeasures. Any ideas are fine. We'll end them all if my name isn't C.H. Air the First. What are they? What? Wait, do I start? So, what? Is it chair or something? Do we go over here? E? Wait, no, I didn't want the bed. I wanted the chair. Oh, can I not interact with the chair? C-H-A-R... Oh, okay. This? Okay. Maybe chair the first, like, chair on the first floor or something? Oh! Missin jumps into your chair. You've got the charger. Oh, why does time not freeze when I'm reading this stuff? Plug in your laptop charger before the battery dies. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Uh, where's my laptop? I started here, so I assumed my laptop was here. Wait, where is it? Is this the laptop? Wait, where the bloody hell's the laptop? Oh, god damn it! I thought it was where I started, yeah? Hang on, I'll try again. Life was good, but Missin was playing with the hose. Suddenly she got entangled and ran away. Find it before something bad happens. Find Missin and get your hose before she damages yourselves. Words that I speak, you seem to copy. Your pet keeping has always been sloppy. My motions you always imitate. Hope everything goes right with this first date. What am I? What? Words that I speak, you seem to copy. Your pet keeping has always been sloppy. My motions you always imitate. Hope everything goes right with your first date. I don't know, is it a self-help book or something? <laughs> So I'm supposed to solve the riddle, and then interact with whatever the riddle's talking about, right? Wait, why is there an arrow pointing to here? Is this... Is this where I'm supposed to search, or is that where I'm supposed to return the item or something? Huh. Words that I speak, you seem to copy. Your pet keeping... Oh, that's kind of weird how the animation is frozen, when I, just because I was holding uh, movement when I hit this. Your pet keeping has always been sloppy. My motions you always imitate. I hope everything goes right with this first date. I have no idea. I'm just gonna do a pass. I'm just gonna search on some garbage and run out of time. Yeah, let's... 
Life is good, a putrid smell of something rotten, and you remember you left spoiled bread. Find and dispose of the bread before Miss poisons herself. I'm really scared of dying. I often keep my health in tip-top shape, but sometimes you end up getting your gross germs on me. A simple crack is all it takes, and my life will be forfeit. What am I? What? I'm really scared of dying. I often keep my health in tip-top shape, but sometimes you end up getting your gross germs on me. A simple crack is all it takes, and my life will be forfeit. What am I? I don't know. An egg or something? Maybe I go to the fridge? I really don't know. These are some tough puzzles. No. Okay, the garbage, that's where we're supposed to put in the rotten bread once we find it. But, I don't. I'm really scared of dying off and keep my health in tipped up shape, but then sometimes you end up getting your gross. A simple crack is all it takes and my life will be forfeit. Oh, um... A fish? Because it's in a fishbowl and that would crack? No, but what about the health stuff? I just don't know the house layout that much on what I could possibly guess. Uh, just search and give a pass for this one. This is rough! This... It's time to water the plants, however, Missin mistook your watering can for a toy. Find it. Okay. This war has been going on for far too long. Okay, well now this is repeated, so hopefully now I can see how the game works. Because now at least it's a puzzle I can work. So I do that- what the hell? Okay, you notice the tail by the table. This one is, you got the watering can. So now I can go down to the garden, right? And then we water. Okay! So that was the loop. Okay, it was just... Kind of got thrown into the deep end there with a really, really tough riddle and the time doesn't pause or anything like that. So that was pretty rough. I get the idea. Also, it's a little bit confusing because it's like, you'd think it would just be you'd find missing and then you win. But instead it's you find and then you need to take something somewhere and it, it kind of, that extra step kind of overloads you when you're kind of trying to grasp it initially, I suppose. Even though it does work once everything's good. The plants are gleaner already, but your partner forgot their phone and now Missin has it. Okay, so we're just keeping on going. Find it before they get back home. When you're bored, I see you during the day. Sometimes we even cuddle at night. It all depends on what you didn't do right. What am I? When you're bored, I see you during the day. Sometimes we even cuddle at night. It all depends on what you didn't do right. What am I? Um, well if it's at night, let's see if we can go to our room where the bed is. And then... Sometimes we cuddle at night. Now, if I just click on the bed, will that solve it? Okay, it's not gonna be that easy. It all depends on what you didn't do right. When you're bored, I see you during the day. Well, this is my room, so maybe something sees me. Sometimes we cuddle at night. Uh, what the hell is this? Is this like a pillow or something? No. Maybe it's like cuddle up with a good book. My bookshelf can see me when I'm just lounging about in my bed. Nope. Well, maybe my reflection. No. <laughs> Alright, life ended. God damn it! Missed your online classes, so you try to download them. Okay. We who are many, worth more than a penny. Our dreams are quite mighty, like our shells that are spiky. What are we? Uh, I don't fucking know. I'm so fucking bad with these puzzles. <laughs> we who are many, worth more than a penny. Our dreams are quite mighty, like our shells that are spiky. Well, something that has a shiky, spiky shell. I think it's because I'm trying to think too hard about these puzzles. I don't know if they're like, you know, maybe they're actually quite obvious, but I'm trying to think of all some all crazy like lateral thinking because that's what, usually what these puzzles do. They're just like, uh, you know, going on crazy tangents and stuff. Our shells that are spiky. Damn it! Shells that are spiky. All I can think of is a goddamn slug or something like that, the most obvious stuff. We who are many, so there's many of them. Shells are spiky. Our dreams are quite mighty, I have no idea what that means. Um, wait, did I just hear a meow? Is that like an indicator that it's in here? Eh, well, 
<laughs> maybe, but maybe not. I stand tall like a statue made of gold. Your layered skin fits within me. What am I? Might it be... Hang on, hang on. Maybe it's like our skeleton? So we gotta look in the mirror? Ah, oh, god damn it! I thought I finally got the goddamn logic! Stand tall like a statue made of gold. Your layered skin fits within me. Um, what am I? Maybe it's like a coat rack? Like my layered skin is supposed to be like... Uh, my jacket that I hang on the rack or something while it stands tall. Um, but where the hell is... Is there even a coat rack? I don't even know if it exists in the house. That's a bit of a problem. I'm gonna search around like this. Your layered skin fits within me. Maybe not that. I stand tall like a statue made of gold. What the hell is standing tall in this place? Your layered skin. What, in the fridge or something? No, the fridge. Ah, the fridge doesn't have something for it. God damn it. Alright, one more bloody shot. I'm so bad at this. Like, it isn't necessarily a bad game or something like that. It's just, it's just rough. It's just, it's just more difficult than I thought it would be. These puzzles, I really can't grasp. Okay, now it's looping again. We'll end them if my name isn't Chair the First. Although I still don't quite grasp this one. It says Chair the First, and yet one time I examined this one, and one time I examined this one. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Now it's not even working? Soft cushion fools. We need countermeasures. We'll end them all if my name isn't Chair the First. Oh, what the hell? That's what we examined last time, right? Is it a different type of chair? Huh? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay. I don't know what was different. That's really weird. Does it just pick an arbitrary chair? Was it- they said something about cushion? Maybe the last time it was a little bit different and it wasn't about cushion chairs or something? We who are many worth more than a penny, our dreams are quite muddy, like our shells are spiky. What are we? I don't friggin' know! Damn it! I've got to solve this. Shells that are spiky. We were many. I was just about to guess it was the plants, but no, it's not the plants. Something's got a spiky shell. Table, no. Sofa, no. TV, no. Uh, no, I don't think so. The easel can't be interacted with. That's really weird, because a lot of these objects feel like they should be able to be interacted with, and yet nothing pops up for them. I'm just like, what the hell? You took the time to draw that whole easel, and it actually serves no purpose? Our shells that are spiky. We who are many, our dreams are quite mighty, like our shells that are spiky. What, like books or something? Well, books aren't really spiky, but they're many, and they're worth more, and they... They can create dreams, I suppose. Is that what it's supposed to be? But shell spiky doesn't make sense. Wait, have we ever been in this room? I bet I've been missing a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, crap. I wonder if it was the laptop, one of those previous things where it's like, I see you alone at night or something. Sometimes we cuddle laptop in the bed or something. I don't know. I suck at the puzzles. Pretty cool puzzles, though. Like, I like that they're challenging, I suppose, but... Maybe a little too challenging, and the time goes by so fast, and... I don't know. It's a rough one, but I like the idea, and it's a neat concept, and I like roaming around, and it's cute and stuff, and fanciful, and I like how, I think, like, the music was, like, uh, you know, zipping by as, like, time decreased and decreased and decreased, so it had, like, multiple stages to it. Anyway, neat little game. <laughs> I just absolutely sucked at it, so sorry I wasn't able to get much feedback on it. Alright, next up is Sheeps by Purple Clam. Sacrifice a few sheeps in order yo survive to survive, I imagine. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, sheeps. Please do not click on the sheeps. Alright, well I'll just press space to start then. Um, alright. Options, let's check that. That's fine. Instructions enabled. Oh, it was enabled. I was expecting there to be like a check mark or something there instead of it just being 
when it was just like that, that made me think it wasn't filled and I needed to click it. But now it's gone to gray, so I assume this means it's on. So we'll keep it like that. Uh, play. Okay, uh, I guess story mode. Alright, one player. And I guess we can only select one. Alright, do it. Hey, you! Please let me introduce you the basics! Alright, I can't talk like that all the time. Alright, click. Oh, clicking doesn't do anything. Oh, E. Oh, or I can click on this. Okay, uh, we'll hit E then. Move around. I don't know why it has two R's. So with wads or the arrow keys. Collide with the sheep to grab it. When you're carrying a sheep, hit a border to drop it. Use the sheeps to defend yourself and try to reach the sheep objective at the top of the screen. What? If you need to, press P to pause the game. Good luck! Ah. Alright, so I grab this and... What do I do? Oh, um, do I drop that sheep? Oh! Weird. Weird kind of a three-dimensional, like, type thing going on here. Ah, crap. Sheeps. No, 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 no. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this making... Is this a good thing? To, it said drop these sheeps, right? It seems kind of... Un, seems very unintuitive. Really not grasping this at the moment. Hey, USMC Sky! Thank you very much for the raid. Just trying to grasp how the hell I'm supposed to protect these sheeps. Ah! Dang it! <laughs> come on, come on. Alright, got it, got it. Wait, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? This... Oh man, I'm so lost. Alright, if I do that... Oh! Huh. Cheers, cheers all. Okay, sheeps are kind of getting stuck every which way. I don't really know exactly what's going on. This... Just making my way through the best games on Newgrounds at the moment. Some sort of game called Sheeps. I don't know. Alright, so I got money. Do I stand here to spend money and now maybe more sheeps are spawning? Okay, they seem to be spawning at a faster rate now. This game is really, is really kind of perplexing me. Alright, so I think I'm supposed to grab these sheep and like drop them onto these people that are trying to invade. But the depth perception is really throwing me off here because I'm trying to like... Uh, this is really... All right, I think we're getting it going now. Dropping them down, dropping them down. Come on, come on, come on. All right, got it, got it, got it. I think we're collecting all these sheep. It's just kind of weird because I need to collect these sheep and at the same time, I think I need to sacrifice them by dropping them on baddies like that. Ah, oh, man, that didn't hit. Ah, oh, the depth perception is really weird with this stuff. Oh, okay, we made it. Somehow, all right. Uh, let's try next. Hopefully we'll get more instructions, I suppose, to see how this works. Uh, congratulations. You unlocked the bomb sheep. I feel like the sheeps were already pretty much like bombs. This bad boy will explode when colliding with any enemy. Before, you'll have to pay before you- however, you'll have to pay before you can use them. Good luck. Nah. Alright. Okay, we got some sheeps. Oh, were we? We don't have any money at the moment. Were we getting sheeps by dropping them on these peoples? All right, drop. Okay, we knocked them down. Wait, that time it just dropped and there wasn't any explosions. It just dropped on the fool and that was good. Is that, ah, damn it. This, ah, I didn't mean to drop that sheep. Hang on, hang on. Get away, use the sheep to protect yourself, man. This, isn't that what I'm supposed to be doing? Oh man, I'm holding the sheep in front of myself, and then... Oh, this is really... Hang on. Do the first level again. I really feel like I'm not grasping this. Yes, please reintroduce the basics to me. Move around with wads, collide with the sheep to grab it. When you're carrying, hit a border to drop it. Use the sheeps to defend yourself, and try to reach the sheep objective at the top. You need to press P. Good luck, bad. Okay, so I think I'm right that... These guys climb up and I drop sheeps, and that stops them. It's just, the guys seem to, all right, now I can spend a buck, and now they spawn faster. It's just, it's really difficult to aim these sheep. It's very, very unorthodox. Ah oh, man, even when you're aiming at the guys directly below, that seems like it would be easy, but it's actually quite difficult, even like that. 
What the heck? Alright, drop. Okay. Like here, I can't quite tell where I'm supposed to be aiming. Very, very tricky. Okay, keep dropping, keep dropping. No, 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 no. Alright, defend. As long as I keep a sheep in front of me, I guess that's working. These guys are just going too much. Alright, spend some cash, spawn more sheep, keep myself defended. Ugh. But every time I use a sheep to defend myself, it just blows up and then they all get scattered everywhere. I suppose the idea is that I need to preempt them, but they're just coming way too fast and aiming is way too hard that I'm barely able to keep up with this sheep demands. Alright, alright, come on, come on, come on. At least we are getting some money, so it seems like the objective is just to get enough money where you can just keep spawning sheep to just kind of win through just sheer numbers, I suppose. I mean, I know that's the name of the game, but very, very odd. Come on, come on. Ah! I could have sworn I was dead on with that guy. But it's really hard to aim when they're up on your sides. When they're coming at you, I wish they only came from directly from the front. Trying to hit them on the sides is an exercise in just, I don't know. Ugh, alright. That game's too rough for me, but it's an interesting game. I, I like it, I like the cute aesthetic to it and everything, I like the kind of interesting gameplay, but it's just a little bit too unintuitive, unorthodox, and confusing to grasp, and I think it starts way too hard. Like, I was barely able to keep up with the demands of that first level, and then the second level just completely annihilated with me. Maybe I'll come in back into this one, but I think it just starts a little bit too hard, but it's an interesting idea. It reminds me of those old games like Worms and stuff, just because they use sheep as well, blowing up. Alright. Next up, we're moving on to Tubal and Trouble by Tristan MX. Help the two brothers to uncurse themselves in this puzzle dungeon game. Alright, let's check it out. What do we got? Validating license. Uh oh. Am I doing this illegally? No. I'm assuming this is actually just a loading screen or something and not actually some sort of license validation. Then again, it does seem to be taking a long time, so maybe? What the hell's going on? Okay. What? This site has been detected as an invalid domain for the game. Please contact the developer to unlock the domain. Is this like for real or is this like. Some sort of pseudo type thing or something. What the hell? Am I seeing this in below? Aw oh, man, because this game was looking like it would have been like really dope. What the hell's going on? Something, something, something. I'm getting this site has been detected as invalid. Uh, please just refresh the page. License valid. What the fuck? Alright, I'll give it another shot. Hang on. Because I was looking forward to another Tristan MX game, but... Oh, there we go! What the hell was that all about? <laughs> Alright. Well, thank God I looked down to the comments I saw someone did that. That would have been really bad. I think the average player probably just would have been like, Well, it doesn't work. I guess I'll just leave and check out all the other kind of games. Yeah, definitely if that can get addressed. That was a really weird sort of thing. But, uh, now we're on to Tubal and Trouble! Press enter. Warning, this game contains flashing lights. And we got wads. Okay. Whoa, with all my might, I, Sir Mage of the Awesome... Well, it's kind of eclipsing the text. Shall create the most legendary elixir of all times. Alright. Toil, toil, bubble and trouble and blah blah blah. Tubble and trouble. <laughs> Holy moly. Is this the opening to the Terminator movie? <laughs> Freaking Sarah Connor got wiped out. Oh, okay. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. What the hell did just happen? Wait, what was that face right there? Was he just like, do? Or I can't. I'm not quite sure how to parse that expression that just happened. What the frog was that? I'm feeling strange. Essay. Okay. Bruh, you're a frog! What the frog? Damn, bruh, so are you, S.A. What? <laughs> you gotta find a way to get back to normal, S.A. Try to- is this some Battletoads type stuff? Try to reach me, we gotta stay close, homie. Okay, I'm moving right. 
And then, wait, is this one the other one that... Is this representative of the two ones that we're talking, I guess? What was that? I say it looked like a booger. We're in some dungeon hood. Watch out, homie, there's a key. Try to use... to Try to use it to break in or something? Oh, okay, do I go to the left? Okay, he's got it. Alright. We're cursed, I say. We move the opposite way. Reach my hand, homie. Try and loco find a way to come together. Okay, so I do this, and then we move like this. Okay, interesting. All right. Well, that was very odd, but... Hey, loco, the booger with my same color moves the opposite way to me. And I move the opposite way to you. That's loco. Yeah, it is. Bring him down. SA getting rid of the booger spawns the key. Okay. Um, how did we get rid of the booger last time? Oh, right, we put him on some spikes or something, didn't we? So we just move like that. Okay. Very interesting. Got the key, and now we join, and bam! We win! <laughs> Alright. Okay, what do we got now? So he's locked in there. So I guess I just need to worry about myself now. Do like that. That kills that. And now we got that slime thing there. Can we move like that? Did that work? What about you? So, homie, you're frog too? I've been trapped here for days. Yeah, homie, we were walking, chilling in the hood, then a bright light shine, now we're frogs. Looks like a dumbass mage tried to create a potion again. Is that an ordinary thing? How did he dare? I, he knows he's dumb. What? <laughs> It's difficult to parse the language of this. Anyway, go find him. Those of his kind can help you homes to be homies to become humans again. Oh wait, it does just say homes. Help you homes. Is that proper? I don't know. To become humans again. Alright, fair enough. Now go! And don't forget about me when you're, you're there. Another typo. Y-O-U-R apostrophe E it should have been. Or Y-O-U apostrophe R-E? Sorry. <laughs> Okay, well I got the key, now I guess I can bring it over, and join. Okay, cool. Interesting little puzzler. <laughs> a lot of typos and grammatical mistakes, but I'll forgive it. I just really wish that, I know it seems kind of like a minor thing, like, oh, why are you griping about the typos and grammar? It's nothing that major, but it does kind of take me out of the game occasionally when I'm trying to parse the language. If it was all proofread and you know, as such, it would just flow a bit better, but anyway. Okay, I'm moving around the slime down in the lower right now. Got it. Now I can take care of this slime right here. Hmm. Uh-oh. I gotta be careful not to kill myself when I'm trying to move around this slime. Down, 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 right, down. Okay. Now where do I go? I think I should move my buddy to... Wait, do these pots do anything? Okay, move like that. Just be careful. I'm moving this guy now to the witch, I guess. Welcome to the realm of the heirs. Okay, the realm of the heirs? Well, it is definitely an heir that we're here. Help us out. <laughs> no, darling, you are the heirs. Whenever a mage of our clan, the gr... What? Great stupidicus centricus frogs things up, we bury them here. What? Forever. We ain't gonna stay here forever, SA. There should be a way out. Wait, I don't quite understand. I thought it... Reading that previous sentence, I thought it was saying that we bury the wizard that caused it in the first place, not us. Whatever, there should be a way out. And should that be SA instead of Essa? Or maybe that's right? I don't know. There should be a way out. Huh, you can try. Today is the ball of the mages. It is going to be a huge party. It is going to be a huge party. Alright, go there, but you first have to cross their dorm rooms. It won't be easy. We'll show them who we are, Essa. Alright. Got this. Oh, careful. I don't wanna... Yeah, there we go. Okay, and... Oh, crap. I'm kind of off by one. There we go. I think. BAM! Good. So I guess we need to get all the way to the end, so it looks like 
We've beaten three stages. We're trying to get to the fourth. Okay, interesting. We'll try to beat one more stage just to see if we can see what else is going on. Then we'll probably call it. Okay, get rid of all these slimes. Oop, careful. Alright, move like that. When you move, I move. Okay. Now go get that key, please. Now I gotta be careful. Bam! Ooh! All right. Okay, maybe one more room since we're making good progress. Actually, this is kind of ah, damn it. Well, okay. All right. I'll take that as a sign that this is going to be a bit more complicated. And oh man, it's kind of weird how you kind of have to play like cross-eyed to keep track of all the things. Well, it seems like a nice little puzzler. Pretty, pretty goofy and fun. Um, not too shabby. Only thing is, uh, I feel like it's kind of missing, like, some, some, well, one, a lot of the typos and the weird grammatical mistakes, I, I can kind of just take it as like, oh, it's just being really goofy and the typos are on purpose, but I feel like it kind of took me out of the game, even if it was supposed to be regarded as intentionally goofy or something. The script just needs a lot of work, I think. And it felt like the game needed a little bit more pop to it or something. Like, uh, it seems to be a little bit lacking in the, in like the sound department. Like when we finally like join up together, or like, Grr! it does that dramatic zoom in and stuff, but there's no like noise, like, or, ba -bam! or like some sort of like, you know, like, just like cool sound effect or musical sting or something like that just be really neat and really like highlight the uh, reward like so far the sounds are just very minimal you get the you know the little nice little sound for like moving around which is like good but yeah for example like dying like I like that sound when it goes that's fine but also I feel like there should be a sound when you actually hit the spikes there's just nothing I feel like it should be like or like or or something and then it does the Wow so it feels like there's a lot of spots where there should be sounds where they're not I'm not saying there should be sounds for everything for example a lot of uh you know like shooters like Contra and stuff all that make sounds for the player shooting they won't make sounds for the enemy shooting because it would just be too much sound overbearing but uh yeah seems a little bit lacking in some elements not a bad puzzler really cool like i like the goofy presentation i like the goofy story i like the uh the puzzle elements i like the mechanics everything seems really solid um and the art and everything is really cool and it's very animated i just feel like it maybe needs a little bit more sound just to bring everything together and make it real solid anyway all right Next up is Ninja Suffering by Polystation 2, an endless runner with a twist. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Polystation 2 also made um, Azami and the Vertical Slice or something like that. And I feel like this character was from that. So is this actually going to be like the completed game or is this maybe like the assets of that game were used to build something else or something? I guess we'll check it out. Alright, Ninja Suffering. Yeah, I'm definitely recognizing that. That was definitely... Oh, Azumi! I think I was right. Okay, by Namkai Bando. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, Ninja Suffering. So I guess it's just... We just run and we click. So let's give it a shot. I'm still hearing that good old Genesis music. Very good. Oh, that tinny, janky sound of Genesis music. So wonderful. Okay, so burgers, I think that gave us a little bit more stamina. I think that lets us go, just go longer, I think. Ah! Oh, I got fooled into going for that burger when I should have just let it go. Alright, also speed was going up and that kind of threw me off. Is that showing up on the screen alright? Yeah, that's fine. 
All right, not bad. Has some nice little touches to it. I like the music. I like being able to control it. Whoa, that was kind of weird. I didn't quite like that, although I can understand. I didn't kind of like the way I kind of like phased through like the bottom of that or something. Oh, can I double jump? Is that what's going on there? I can double jump. Ah, I got thrown off. I kind of wish this game over, like maybe it appeared like up here in bigger font or something like that. Cause this is kind of where the center of the screen is or something, I suppose. Kinda? I just feel like that should be a bit more prominent. But it's fine, minor thing. I kind of like when you're jumping and when you land, there's a, a little bit of a screen shake, just a little bit of a bonk. It's quite nice. I kind of wish the platforms were a bit more exciting. They're just kind of like bricks, very bland bricks. And it doesn't look like a... Usually when you build like platforms like this, like they'll usually have like edges to them, like on the sides where like it kind of like a... Uh... Like, for example, if it was like uh, a bunch of rocks with like grass on the top, the grass would be straight, and then once it reaches the edges, it kind of like, you know, kind of like curves off or something, or curves downwards and off or something. But these things are just very bland and squarish. I feel like at least if they were like properly like tiled and like had some sort of like edges to them to indicate it, it would look a little bit better. Right now these tiles just look kind of like super bland and also kind of out of place. When you look in the background, it's getting you a real like, you know, nature-y type vibe. And yet all of the platforms are these really disgusting looking like uh, and when I say disgusting looking, I don't mean like the artwork is bad. They're good bricks. I'm just saying like, it's kind of like, I would prefer, I would expect like maybe like earthy grass or something like that to contrast with the, uh, the background colors. Instead I get these kind of like dull bricks or something. I would probably prefer to see something a little bit more colorful, like maybe wooden planks, maybe uh, grassy, just like floating like rock platforms or something. I don't know. Or just like some, uh, I don't know, some other types of things. Oh man, running low on stamina. Ah! Game over. It would be kind of cool if Game Over like told you um, the different ways you like die or something. Like if you fell off, it said like you fell. And like I know it seems obvious, but sometimes it'd be kind of nice if uh, if it would maybe say like, "Up, oh, you ran out of stamina," or "You got too hungry" or something. Like a little fun message like that. All right, we'll give it one more go. I kind of feel like. I've seen everything to the game, I suppose. I'm I would kind of like it if the game, like, improved in some sort of way or something. Like, maybe the farther you get, maybe the platforms actually, like, change in a significant manner. It could be, like, they have, like, different art to them or something. Like, maybe you go to, like, oh, now the platforms are made with ice or something. Man, what was that? I felt like I was doing fine, but I just ran out of stamina without anything to do with that. And the only burger I could grab was placed in a really terrible place where I don't think I had any hope of grabbing it. Maybe I had to grab it, and it was just... I guess I do have a double jump. Maybe I was supposed to work with that. The burger placement just seems kind of odd. I'm assuming it's random and then... Okay, as long as I have the double jump... I guess I can kind of work to it. So I guess there's a strategy to it. I don't know, it might be kind of weird for some people to grasp initially, oh jeez. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, jeez. All right, last try, last try. Whoop, gotcha. All right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ups a doodle. Oh no, I missed that burger. Now nah, I'm probably dead, aren't I? I think the good way this game works is you have to get like every single burger before you run out of stamina. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. All right, speeding up again. Again, I kind of wish maybe the speed up message was a bit more like centered or something so I can kind of see it. It's kind of like hidden all the way in the corner. My mic is actually kind of blocking it. <laughs> all right, 
Also, I kind of wish there was a bit more like a... It's not bad. It's like... It's a decent endless runner, not too shabby, cool music, good rhythm, it seems to, you know, get more challenging, speed up, try to get the pickups and stuff. It just seems a little bit bland at the moment. Like I was saying before, the platforms are, like, really uninspiring. Like, you know, the bricks by themselves are good art, but the bricks just floating in nowhere, like... I wouldn't expect bricks to just float like this. I'd prefer it to be a cooler kind of, like, platform, and something a bit more, like colorful i suppose instead of just being this garish brown which kind of like almost fits with kind of the dark purples here and it kind of blends in which is bad because i think the you know the platform should pop a little bit um also it seems kind of like it could stand to the platforms also make it kind of boring it could stand to maybe see some sort of progression maybe if you get really far the platforms start changing in some significant manner maybe earlier on the platforms are very like wide but later on the platforms are very small like tiny bricks or something that you have to jump from um maybe there's different power-ups you can grab to keep it exciting different types of power-ups and stuff also, all of the text that pops up just seems very plain and boring and small. When it says, like, game over, I kind of wish... Hang on, let me actually check something. Like that, that intro right there, that's really cool. I like the way, like, doge, it, like, clashes down, and this, like, text and stuff, it's very cool and, like, customized and nice. But, uh, game over, that's just, like, game over, like, really boring. Like, maybe if, like, the the letters came down, like, one by one, like, G-A-M-E-O-V-E-R, game over. Like, Sega used to do a lot of that stuff back in the day. And the speed up, too. I wish, like, maybe, like, so you know you're making a sense of progression. That'd be cool if it was in the center of the screen. It was like, do-ling, and some stars, like, appear off it. It's like, speed up. It's like, whoa, cool, I'm making progress. Instead, it's hidden down in the corner. It's like, speed up. Yay. Like I said, it's it's decent and functional and not bad. It just needs a little bit more pizzazz. And it does have some cool pizzazz. I like the way it screen shakes, you know, when you land and stuff. But I think it just needs a lot more pep and a bit more sense to uh, make it really stand out. But not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right. Next up is Shape Maze by Somin Studios. Try to maneuver through the ever-changing maze. Uh, maneuver is spelled so many different ways in so many different places. Try to maneuver through the ever-changing maze. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait, are we playing? Oh! WASD to move, okay. <laughs> I kind of wish the WASD, uh, if it had like some squares drawn around it, when it's just presented like that, it almost looks like it says like, W adds to move. Instead, I'd prefer it be a bit more, when WADS is, make it a bit more like graphical, like actually have like squares to it. It just looks kind of like, like, I got it eventually, but one, it's difficult to read like that because it doesn't stand out, and also it just looks a bit lazy. Anyway, we shall move on. Is W jumping? Okay. All right. Whoa! Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm on the left side. Okay. Well, that was really cool, the way it reassembled itself. It was kind of neat. Okay, do I move to the left and... Okay, now I go back to the right? It's kind of weird. I wish the game didn't let you go off screen like that. Because when I went off screen over here on the right side, I really lost track of myself. I thought I kept pushing right because I was all like, oh, did I, you know, zwoosh over here to the next level? And I was like, why isn't it working? Yeah, that's kind of confusing. But, uh, okay, let's try going up like this. That's fine. Uh-oh, can I jump over that? Oh, I can. Okay. All right. Interesting. Ugh, what the... Jumping controls are a little bit weird. It does seem to have some sort of forgiveness, like I only jump up that much, but if I kind of hold it and push to the left, it, it kind of clambers up a little bit, so that's kind of nice. All right, now we're getting some spikes. Gotta be careful. Whoop, whoop. At least I assume they're spikes. Yeah, not too shabby. Pretty, pretty neat game. Like I say, like, uh, 
the whole moving off screen when you go to the right or left kind of threw me off initially. Oh, I gotta say, one thing I do like right there when I did, when I pretend there's like spikes right here, when I like jumped up, I didn't have to like uh, jump and only when I'm over it hit right or something like that. The game actually did properly do it where I can keep holding right and I'll fly over the spikes with that. I'll see if it happens again later on so I can tell you. It just, uh, it felt very good. A lot of games are kind of frustrating with the spike placement. Okay, okay. Jump, jump, jump. All right, nice. Oh, come on, get up there, get up there. All right, jump, 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 jump. Oh yeah, I think it would be like something like this. Like I can hold left the entire time when I jump and it works. A lot of the games when you would hold left and jump, it would, it would make you hit these spikes and you would die. And that's really aggravating, but I'm glad that this game does not fall into that trap. So very nice. All right, got it, got it, got it. Whoop, 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 and jump. Okay, reassemble, what the? Oh, I guess timed spike traps, no problem. Jump. Okay, moving about. It is really cool how it kind of reconfigures itself like that. It's very nice. Jump. Whew, this one's a tricky one. Oh, got it. All right. Shoots up, okay. And go. Uh, I hate waiting for this, but it's all right. Jump. And go. All right, how do I do this one? Gotta time it, oop. Yo, oh, geez, that was close. All right, nice. What the? What do I do here? I'm stuck. Can I get out of here? I can't move to the right, yeah? What the hell? Is this supposed to happen? Is there a way to restart or something? Like hit R or something? Am I supposed to like, oh, okay. Um, I tried going like over here and like jumping up to see if that would help. Okay, did that actually? All right, jump and hit left, okay. Okay, that's a bit, all right, I got it. You're supposed to go like this, jump up, and then jump, and I guess there's a platform right about here or something, and then I jumped on that and made it up. That's a bit, I was like two seconds away from just saying, oh, I guess the game glitched and quitting. Like, that was a cool puzzle, I suppose, and it was satisfying to solve it, but I wouldn't count on, like seriously, like if I wasn't like reviewing this game and felt the need to press on, I probably just would have guessed, oh, because I didn't have the confidence because already I kind of hated this off screen type stuff. So already in my gamer mind, I didn't really have confidence in the off screen thing. I was like, oh, that's a really weird thing. So when this happened, that confidence kind of multiplied me into thinking, oh, the game probably just glitched itself. Maybe it's like randomly put together or something. So I was just like, well, I guess it glitched. I guess I just got to stop. And I was really about to quit, but I forced myself to try to continue just in case. And I figured out that weird off-screen puzzle. But uh, yeah, that's, that's a gamble. I feel like a lot of users might get stuck there. Maybe my faith in humanity is too low. Maybe a lot of users would make it past that. I would like to believe, but I don't know. I think that might be a big ask. That was a weird one. Cause I don't think it was really ah, established well in other uh, areas. Go. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna get past this. This is rough. Go. Jump. Oh geez, that was close. All right, reconfigure. Man, I was actually expecting that to be the end just because that was such a crazy puzzle. I thought the game was gonna be like, seriously, you made it past that? That was the last level. <laughs> All right, I guess there's a bit more. We'll make it a little bit farther just to see what we can do. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, okay. All right, oh, we got this thing again? I mean, now that we know how it works, I guess that's fine, but come on. Can we just fall down like that? Oh, we can. It's not that bad then. Go, go, 
go, go. Careful. Go. All right. Oh, geez. I guess we can't do it like that. All right. Like that. There we go. Oh, boy. Oof. And jump. And jump. And jump. And jump. It is kind of a fun game. I like it. Like I said, like, I think the introduction with the controls was a little bit, like, lazy. And I think the, uh, that weird puzzle where you have to jump off screen is kind of confusing. But other than that, like, this is actually pretty solid. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I, I think the game has a lot of nice little, uh, put-together puzzle contraptions and everything. Ah! Jeez. Good boy. Oh god, this, I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. I guess. Can't really see myself working through it any other way. Ah, come on! Ah! Oh no! Got it. Ah, oh, what the hell? Just pixeled me, come on. Go! Right, go. Ah! He who waits. Ah, oh, fucking. Wish the hitboxes were a bit more lenient there. I feel like I shouldn't be getting scratched there. Alright, man, this game just goes on and on, doesn't it? Jeez. Ah, I tried to rush the ending! Ah, oh, damn it! This is... Actually, that buzzsaw might not even be a problem. Oh, it is. You were wrong! Ah, damn it! What am I supposed to do there, then? Come on, come on. Oh, nice. Just barely made it. Alright, this is a lot of puzzles, and we're running out of time, so I'll stop it here. But, uh, not too shabby. Like I said, uh, I like the way that everything reconfigures itself. That's a really cool effect. <coughs> I like the various obstacles and the puzzles and stuff. I just think the presentation at the start, a little bit janky. Also, this whole off-screen business, I really don't like it. Um, but yeah, everything else about it, um, I like. I feel like just scrap the weird off-screen puzzly type stuff. That just seems kind of like glitchy and weird. But everything else about it, the reconfiguring maze and then a bunch of obstacles, you know, these little time things, the swingy things, it's a lot of fun. It's like a nice little discount Super Meat Boy or something like that. Not too shabby. Doink. Alrighty. Uh, next up is Larson Laser by Dr. Gerard. Observe, remember, and dance to avoid the lasers. Alright. What do we got? Larson laser. Alright, so I assume that's saying we need to use the arrow keys, so I'll press the arrow keys. Okay, maybe not. Oh, okay, we do need to press the arrow keys, I just didn't have focus on the thing. What just happened? Oh! Hey. What? Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, I guess you just have to make those uh, sound effects really fast. Okay. Oh boy. Actually, I don't know if I memorized that. Okay. So, all these lasers are here, and I need to memorize them. And then I go, and then I'm fine. That's actually, yeah, a pretty cool idea. And it's actually presented in a pretty nice little art style like this. I like it. Mm. Nice. Cool. Yeah, this ain't too shabby. I kind of wish I could, like, uh oh. Where was it about? Like, about here, maybe? That probably got really close. I kind of wish I could choose when I want to start. Ah, oh, it starts all over. I just wanted to see what the death animation was. But I really wish that, um, yeah, like, what happens is, like, you're stuck there, you're not able to move, and it goes like one, two, three, and then it goes, and then you can move. I kind of wish it would stay like that, 
until I hit like a movement key or maybe I confirm, like maybe hit like spacebar or something and then you go or something. Like uh, both so I could absorb it a bit more and both so a lot of these times I actually absorb it quite fast and I'm just like, I'm hitting the arrow keys right now. I'm like, come on, I want to do it. I want to do it, but I need to like wait for it. Not too bad though. It's It's very... I can understand why it's actually automated. I guess it's part of the challenge. It's like, oh, there it goes. It's already gone. So you don't have all the time in the world to examine it. I suppose, like, there could be some players that could, like, I don't know, mark their screen or something like that if they had all the time in the world. Uh, and, you know, they didn't go away automatically. Wait, can I fudge this by going left? Oh, I can't. I thought maybe it would work because you can kind of go to the right like that, kind of off screen a little bit. Ah, one little. That kind of shocked me right there. All right, I'll give it one more go. Not, not too shabby. A nice little cute game. <laughs> Goofy sound effects, but it's all part of the charm. All right. <laughs> I also like how he's kind of like dancing to the end. It kind of gives me like, is it supposed to evoke that kind of feeling you get from like, what, Kronk in the Emperor's Groove or something like that, where he's sneaking around, being all like, ooh, being all stealthy. Oh man, I wasn't paying attention to the friggin' uh, lasers. Ah, I, sh I knew I should have went up. One more. All right, all right, one more, one more. This is kind of fun. All right, so right there, that... Oh, I didn't hit up enough. I was too busy looking on the other side. This is fun. All right, last one for real. Double dog dare me. <laughs> up, up, and then end it right here. Gotcha. All right. I just gotta get to those two. Right there, okay. Right there, bam. Speed run, boys. I'm speed running Larson Laser. All right, so it's right there. Yeah, I just outlined it with my skills. Gotcha. All right, get up here. Up like that. Bam. Okay. Uh, I didn't memorize how far I can go here. Hopefully like that. Oh, thank goodness. But I got that wrong. Oh man, I don't think I memorized that one. Ah, damn it! I also really wish the entire pattern would show up at the end there, kind of like in Minesweeper, where when you click on a mine, it doesn't just show you that it was a mine, it shows you then all of the mines that were on the board. I kind of wish that would happen as well. But uh, that's a nice little goofy game. It was pretty fun. Also, now out of the corner of my eye, I'm looking down here and I see it was made in four hours. Jeez, that's crazy. That is a, that is a nice, solid, charming game. Um, very good use of the limited time. That wasn't too shabby at all. Alrighty. Next, we'll try Worm Protect Egg by Gun Turtle. Arcade action. Protect your eggs from predators. Ooh, let's check it out. All right, so we got a Pico 8 game here. I think that's what the engine's called. There it be. All right, press Z, so I'm assuming that's the fire button, maybe. Okay, move, up, down, left, right, drop, segment, Z. What? Hang on, that went by way too fast. I didn't even have time to read that. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that I would press a button to confirm that I'm done reading. All right, yes. Drop segment, block big bugs with tail, eat them while stunned. What? Drop bugs. Do I eat them? Like that? Okay. Oh no. Did I just lose? I think I just lost. I think that was like the screen being wiped because uh, the big bug got. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so it's the big blue bugs that are actually a threat. It looks like the red bugs can touch, but it doesn't cause an issue. I can just eat the red bugs, no problem. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. Just keep mushing them up. Not too bad. I like this. Oh no! Ah! Damn it. Alright, down on my last life. 
Gotta keep blocking him. So I guess technically what I'm supposed to do is just... Oh, I can also block him with the tail. I don't need to, uh... It says drop segment. Oh, interesting. Drop segment. Ah, I really sucked there. Okay, drop set. That is really weird. Okay. One, one more go. Yeah, why does it say press Z when you're ready when it just automatically goes? It's like it doesn't give me time to read it. Alright, so I eat stuff, but then I can drop a segment like that. Can I pick up a segment again? Or... Dropping segments is kind of a weird thing. I, I don't quite understand how that works. I guess it means that I'm headbutting these things, but I don't necessarily need to headbutt them. I guess I can just keep crashing into them with any part of my body. Oh, nope. Get away. Okay, and at first, I thought all I could do was kind of knock them away like that. But it looks like if I attack them again when they're in that spinny state, it kills them for real. Oh no, did they just screw up? Get away! Get away! Thank you for the hitbox forgiveness. It looks like it allows me to wait until they get all the way in there. Ah! Like that. Ah. Yeah, dropping segment, I feel like that's... Maybe I can do it like that. Hey, it actually worked out. Okay. Well, I was just about to talk shit about the drop segment thing and how weird it is, but actually now I'm kind of seeing how it works as I freaking get killed, but I do kind of see how it works. It's like I'm killing something over here, but there's something to the right, so I can drop part of my- Ah, oh, come on! Uh -huh. I like this, though. I like this a lot. All right, let me give it like one or two more tries, just see if I can get better at this. It's juicy, it's fun, knocking away these things, I like it, it's cool. Bam, bam, bam. Alright, get him, get him, get him. Alright. Gotcha. Got it. Drop a segment over there to ward him off. Oh no! Damn it. Now when the segment... Alright, so I think when the segment explodes like that, it rejoins myself. Because I was kind of worried I would have like limited segments, but I think they restore. Okay, I gotta be careful. I don't want to stray too far away from the nest just to finish off these guys. Because when I do that, I get screwed. Back off, baby. No! Ugh. Damn it. Back off. Hang on, they're coming from over there, so I put my segment, and it's perfectly fine. I put my segment there. Hey, this works. Alright, place the segment down there. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's like you place a segment like a claymore mine down at a part that you think is going to be... Just missed that guy! Damn it! I like how juicy this game is, though. I like how when your thing gets hit, it like explodes and does like a screen clear move. I like the game over even feels satisfying because everything explodes. This is great. I like this a lot. It's just good old arcade action. Nice and explosive. It doesn't even feel bad to lose just because everything's so explosive and cool. <laughs> Get him, get him. Man, it's tough to keep a combo going, though. Hit him, hit him. Hit him. Got it. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, munch them all up. Uh-oh, don't stray too far. Alright, I think that'll protect. Yeah! Alright. Ah, oh, I thought that segment would have protected there. I guess the hitboxes aren't that forgiving. Oh no! Oh my god, that was so bad. Okay, I'll stop there for now. But, uh... Yeah, I like that one a lot. That was very, very charming. It's a nice little simple game. But, uh... Music is cool. All of the effects are so juicy, the way they spin around when they get stunned. 
It's a little bit confusing. Uh, the onboarding process is a little bit annoying. I didn't like how the instructions just go right there. Don't even wait for you to bloody confirm. Uh, dropping segments is a little bit unintuitive, but once you grasp it, it's actually pretty cool. Um, and I like, uh, yeah, very, very good game. Very juicy, very fun, very crazy, really cool. All right, I'll stop it there. I'm getting addicted to this. <laughs> Next up is Can You Save the World? by The Fun Attic. Help out in the coronavirus crisis. Infinite Runner. All right, are we going to see if we can outrun the virus? You're supposed to stay at home. All right, let's see what we got. You should be staying in. But if you have to go out... Yeah, that's what I just said. The world. <laughs> All right. Nice little uh, voice. I like it. All right, let me just crack the music a little bit up. It's got a nice thing. Okay, I do like that you can choose to uh, skip the tutorial, but we will stick with it. So far, I really like this title screen so far. Very charming. Gives me a little Animal Crossing vibe. So, uh, solid good impressions first. A soothing voice and really cool, charming, artsy intro. So let's go. All right, so how does this work? Okay, so we move back and forth. Okay, so we're not exactly limited to rows, we just move side to side. Can we go up and down? Oh, we can't. Stay away, gotta, and gotta, that's social distancing. Save lives by avoiding people. Oh, that's very charming, that's cool. Cool, cool. You can save more and more lives with each person you avoid. Gotcha. I'm a bit confused because I got the live save six, but I'm not sure what the hearts are. Hmm. Is it saying, like, I've avoided six people, but I've saved 15 lives because those six people have, like, you know, two or three people that, you know, they in their family or something? Maybe that's what's going on. Oh, I was cutting it close there. I should get like a graze bonus for that. Oh, avoid sneezes. So I guess I need to s slow down and slow up. This is cool. I like this. Oh, I really thought those kids were like going to go off like homing missiles and I was going to have to outrun them. Donate your mask to save lives. All right, cool. Wow. Saved a lot. Okay, so that does seem to be the gist. The hearts are like... I guess my points for how many people I'm literally avoiding, maybe? Oh, maybe not, actually. I... Okay, I'm not sure what the difference is between the hearts and the lives saved. Groceries have special powers. Oh, 1 HP. Okay. Alright, cracking on, cracking on. This is going great. Ooh, goddamn cyclists think you own the road and the sidewalks? Come on. Ooh, I was just grazing that. I realize it would be against the theme of the game, but that would be funny if there was like a bonus for just grazing like the edge of their fields. Kind of like when you graze the edge of bullets in a bullet hell. <laughs> Alright, more masks. Oh, I guess uh, I guess the tutorial kind of stopped and it just seamlessly went into regular gameplay, which is very nice. Right, let's keep cracking. Uh-oh, that is a lot of cyclists. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, slowing down worked. I was afraid it was going to trick me and I was going to need to go forward instead of slowing down. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Okay, so toilet paper is like a little star power. All right. Pretty meme but I gotcha. <laughs> Yay! Just blazing through. What are we anyway? Are we like a little mascot type thing? Damn! Saved a whole bunch of lives with the masks. All right. Good, good. Let's try to play it forward a little bit more, just so we have space that we can retreat. If we're always playing in the back, then we don't have any strategic ground we could potentially use. Okay. Sneeze, gotcha. I like this, though. Very charming art presentation, good theme. I like the, uh, you know, that it's a game. You know, it's very rare that there's games that don't use- Ah, oh, jeez! I got absolutely destroyed right there. I should've just got hit by one of them. I just sacrificed myself to one person instead of retreating like that. That was bad. But yeah, I like games that, uh, you know, typically 99% of games use violence in some sort of way. Oh my god. People! Ah! I tried to cut through. That was real rough. Was there even a way to get past that? Jeez. But yeah, a non-violet type game like this. And also, it's just so charming. Like, uh... It's just very good use 
of the mechanics, I think. Just nice variation of all sorts of stuff. Charming graphics, presentation, concept. This is... This is really impressive, I would say. Oh, speed. That's what carrots do, huh? <laughs> Alright, I guess that's nice. Grab them masks. I got something earlier. It was when I was on my star power. Or toilet paper power, I suppose. I think it said, like, carry masks easier. It went by so fast. Uh, I don't see any representation of that on my HUD that I got that buff. I don't know if it was temporary or permanent. I don't know. Also, I don't know what carry mask easier would even do because for all I know I, I feel like I have an unlimited supply that I can carry but maybe it wasn't the case I don't know it happened by so fast I couldn't quite get, grasp it all right this is cool the only problem I'm kind of having right now is that I feel like hmm well I could be wrong but I feel like I've kind of like seen everything now it doesn't seem to be intensified in some sort of way. It was intensifying a bit, like we're getting... Oh jeez, okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. It does throw those things, but... I'm not, I'm not sure if it's slowly increasing and getting more intense, or if those were just, you know, some patterns that were bound to come up or something like that. I don't know. I wonder if it keeps getting harder and harder, or if I've already, like, capped out, and now it's just, you know, we'll see how far we can get. Because it's always a, you know, a bit of a bummer, I guess. Not necessarily that bad or anything, but, like, uh... I kind of like an Endless Runner eventually ends by getting too hard. I prefer that than an Endless Runner that just keeps going at mass slow. Does that mean like everybody's slow, I suppose, including me? I guess that's kind of nice. So I can dodge something like that, yeah. Like, uh, I prefer that it ends because it got more and more hard. So it's like, oh, I want to retry to see if I can get farther. Whereas right now it feels like it's kind of capped out and I'm like, oh, like now I just go on and on until I get bored. And I feel that will leave like, a more negative impression at the end once I finally end instead of ending where it's like ah I got too chaotic maybe I'll retry that again later and see if I can see how harder it can get I suppose because right now I feel like it's kind of I'm still getting like a little bit differences like we're getting new power-ups I suppose but I feel like we've probably capped out here I'll try I give 10 minutes to each game, so I might give it a little bit more to see what we can do. Doop, doop, do. Thank you, five gabillion lives. Doop, doop, do. Because, yeah, the bummer now is that I feel like it isn't escalating, so the only way it's going to end is if either I get jumped by something, which will be all right, I suppose, or I'll just throw myself into someone's social distance just because I'm like, all right, I want to end so I can tally up my score, you know? Oh, can I graze? Oh my God, pro skills right there, my God. I am a master of distancing. <laughs> Oh, I just realized. Uh, I didn't realize I had those two bags at my side I was carrying. Are those supposed to be the mask bags, I suppose, that were alluded to earlier? Cover your goddamn sneeze, you people. Jeez. So I can't believe there's this many people out and about on the streets. Hasn't this town acknowledged the goddamn warnings that they're supposed to stay in? They can't all be grown to the grocery, can they? Maybe they are, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be ju too judgmental. Man, have we already saved like a billion lives? Oh, okay. There is something. The lives is actually filling up green, so maybe that's what's going on? Maybe the game ends once we fill that much up? How many people are on the planet Earth anyway, though? I'm not even quite sure. All right. We'll try going for filling up the green. Is it six billion or something? People on Earth? It's been a while. It looks like I'm maxing everything out. Like I said, like, I'm really loving the game, but the only problem I feel is that 
the difficulty kind of peaks and then it kind of stops so it feels like you're not quite making progression now we okay we saved the world okay i just feel like can pass yeah. the virus onto many other people so each time you avoid someone you're saving lots and lots of lives that's a good way to view a good way seven billion all right that's very nice well that was really fun used the concept well had wonderful art sound and mechanic design and delivered a great message i love me some edutainment it's a big passion of mine edutainment quite like it but uh yeah like i said kind of that middle gap where it was kind of an awkward gap i wasn't saving lives fast enough that i was having any budge on the meter so i was just like uh is this just gonna go on forever and i felt like maybe i should just like leave or something like that like if i wasn't reviewing it i probably would have like ended it about there just because i was like ah, i'm getting kind of like bored here whereas if um the difficulty kept escalating or maybe I don't know, something like showed up to let me know that I was making progress, some sort of signifier, just because there was kind of a big, long, like five minute gap where it's like the first like two, three minutes were like, oh, this is getting exciting, getting more and more like crazy. And then the five minute gap, I was like, I feel like I've seen everything. Is anything changing? And then the last little bit, all of a sudden it seemed like my life saving powers sped up right fast that I couldn't even tell. And then I was like, oh, finally I noticed that I was saving lives and stuff. And then that powered me through the end. I think that gap in the middle might need, I don't know, some speeding up or something just to give a nice, better curve of progression to get to the end. Because I think it is a very nice message to get to the end and see the really cool ending. So, uh, yeah, nice work on that. Alrighty, next up is Creep Away by Druby Games. Spectral social distancing. Keep units away from each other. Well, we just had some social distancing and now we're having another one. Let's see how they do it. <laughs> Creep Away. Alright, charming so far. Nice little visuals, everything so bouncy and stuff. When it's driving by and changing the houses, it makes me think of, like, Paperboy or something. Alright, click it. What the? Why did I need to double-click? Oh, maybe I wasn't focused on the, uh, window. How to play. Each level requires you to survive for a certain... Mm, certain spelled wrong. Number of rounds. Rounds have three phases. Resident. Each resi resident spelled wrong <laughs> will move to a space as close to a player unit as it can. Each resident will move to a space as close to a player unit. Okay. Agent. The player must move each of their units. Haunting. Each enemy unit will emit a spirit. What? Okay, three phases. Each resident will move as close to a player unit as it can. And then the second phase, I suppose, is agent. It might help to be like two. Like one, two, three. Because as I was reading this, I thought it was like these weren't phases. I thought these were like people or something. But then when it said haunting, I was like, oh, right. Their phases got kind of confused. So I think uh, doing a numbered list instead of a bulleted list would work better there. Agent. The player must move each of their units. And then haunting. Each enemy unit will emit a spirit to any space within three spirits cost you mean within three spaces or something if there are two or more player units each player unit will emit a spirit to any space within three spirit cost i don't know what it means three spirit cost if any player unit is touched by any spirits during the haunting phase you have failed the level so it looks like we need to just maintain a certain distance or something like that and there might be like a chain reaction or something that's what i'm guessing okay uh, house one, I guess? I assume that's the easiest. It's kind of weird that it allows me to select all of them. I guess it's kind of nice. Maybe I can skip to the harder if I feel bored, but I feel like I should start with one. Okay, resident. Okay, agent. So this is me, and now, what, I click him and I click down... Uh, I guess I can only move here? Okay, haunting. Okay. Alright, he moves closer, I move away. 
Haunting reaches out three spaces from him. We're okay. So is this just what I'm doing? I just have to keep running? Do I just need to survive? Oh, is this like my wave counter? It ticks down? Okay, so it ticked down. It wasn't... It didn't exactly like draw the eye initially, but I see it now. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Simple enough. Okay, completed the first house. House two then. Okay. Oh boy. Now, is there kind of like a fire emblem thing where I can kind of like hover over them and see where their damaging things are? I wish I could kind of... wish I could like uh, WASD to kind of move my camera around. I feel kind of weird that I'm locked here. Okay, when I click on them, I guess that works, but still. Um, so do I move like over here and over here or something? And then they spread out, they're ghosts, but we're maintaining a distance. Wait, what? Oh, crap! We can also damage each other? Crap, I didn't realize. I thought we were like, I thought we were both immune from it. Okay, so I need to maintain a distance not only from... Jeez, that's kind of rough. So maybe move one here and that'll be fine because that will stop. And then when we spread out, it'll stop right before us. Okay. Now, of course, he's going to come close. Crap, I might have just got myself killed. Is this still a safe spot? One, two, three. One, two, three. But I got to look out for... I kind of wish that when I hover over this guy, I feel like there should be a red tile over this guy to let me know, because one, two, three, he's going to die. And yet when I hover over this guy, it almost looks like he's safe. I feel like that's kind of bad design. Uh, I need to move over like this, right? And now we're all fine. This guy's being chased to hell. Because these guys are really close to this guy. Alright. He can just stay there. I don't know if this is going to be sufficient. One, two, three. One, two, three. That'll be fine. Do I have to move this guy? I guess I can just move him one space. Alright, that's fine. This might be bad. If they split up and try to box me in, I'm really in a world of hurt. Okay, good, they're just chasing me. I was kind of hoping this guy would go over there, but actually I guess this is fine. It, oh wait, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I think I'm fine. Yeah, this guy just... You can just stay in the corner, buddy. Oh man, that's a lot of turns I gotta get through. Uh, Alright, is this guy... Oh, now this guy's splitting off. Okay, this is gonna get annoying. Uh, again, like, I find myself hitting WASD because I want to move the camera closer to this guy because he's just so close to the edge of the screen. I know when you click on him, the camera moves, but I wish I kind of could move the camera myself as well. Okay, one, two, three. Maybe I should try to lure this guy... Because I don't want these guys bunching up and then we collide into each other, so I should try to lure them around, I suppose. Two, three. Okay. Where are you gonna go? Okay, so you're chasing him. So this unit will run upwards, and this unit will run downwards. That's fine. This is a lot of turns to get through. I feel like for just level two, I would much prefer it if we only had like a few turns to do this, especially because it is kind of slow. I need to move my guys, and then I need to move them, and then I need to watch as it slowly plays that out, and then slowly shrinks, and then slowly plays it out, and then slowly shrinks. It's kind of, it's kind of tedious, especially for a level this early. Like, I, I love a lot about this game, like. I love the presentation, I love the concept and stuff, but like, I feel this like this might be a case where, like, you tried to make only a few levels, but make them really hard. I think in this case, maybe like, it would have been fine to, I think you started out a little bit too hard and tedious. Also, it might be nice if maybe there was some sort of, oh. What is this? Can move any number of open spaces up, down, left, or right. So she moves like a, 
what, like a bishop or something like that? Is that what the playing piece is, where it just can move a complete row? Okay, so she moved one, two, three, so I need to go, like, over here, and then that's safe, right? Okay. Ah, oh, crap. One, two, three. That's fine. Okay. Oh, crap. The chairs block. Oh, boy. I didn't realize. Oh, maybe you can go over a chair, but it costs a lot. Did it say, like, it costs three points? Does that mean I can go onto a chair, but it would be just that expensive? Let's see. Let's keep going. Like, right now, this is being a bit, like, boring. It's just, it keeps chasing me, keeps going right there, and I just move three away. And it's fine. I mean, now, however, I see that, just as I said, it's getting a little bit easy. I suppose I did just screw myself, because now I'm locked in and I'm going to get poisoned and stuff. So... And bam. Jeez. <laughs> I like that it lets you know you've done a game over, but jeez, it gets intense. Alright. I'll quit for now. Okay. I like the, uh... I like the concept. The mechanics are alright. But I feel that I would prefer... Now, maybe a lot of people do like it, and it's totally fine, but at least for my style, I would prefer much shorter brain teasery puzzles than these kind of long drawn out kind of tedious puzzles now to be fair that puzzle i did even though i said it was easy and tedious it wasn't i got myself locked in and that was annoying but i would just kind of prefer i don't know like more rapid fire stuff because like i said like you have so many turns to get through and then each action is so slow because they move and then the spirits expand and the spirits de-expand. Even though I do like how the spirits expand and stuff, it's just, it's a lot of just steps you need to go through. And then when I died right there, my enthusiasm to continue knowing that I'd have to just move, wait, move, wait, move, wait, move, wait. I was just, it really waned, because I'm like, uh, I'm gonna have to wait through all of that every time I make a mistake or something for a tons of turns. Yeah, I just feel like, I like the design, everything's fine about it. I just think for my impatient ADD self that I think a lot of audience can probably share, it probably just needs to be a bit faster paced. But I do think it was very cleverly designed. Art, sounds, everything seems pretty cool. I quite liked it. Alrighty, next up is Interstate Drifter 1999 by Ultimo Games. Oh, is this, is this like a sequel to a previous Interstate Drifter? Because I think I've played Interstate Interstate Drifter by Ultimo Games before. I wonder if this is like a remake or something or... Anyway. Drift between the states, collect bits, beat rivals, and get a high score. Sounds like a good recipe for a good arcade game. Let's crack on. Alright, Newgrounds versions of Interstate Drifter. Playable with keyboard or touchscreen. Well, I guess I'll use the keyboard. Alright, do I click? Okay. <laughs> Sound. <laughs> Quite nice. Alright, select. Oh, I like it. So you get a little kind of like free tutorial space that kind of teaches you the stuff. That's cool. Did I play Interstate 2000 maybe before? Is that what it's talking about? Well, anyway, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll start. Okay. Alright, so I guess there's separate cars you can get. I'll just stick with my Toyota Electro. 60 Volkswagen, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have a horn? Okay, steer type A. I guess that can... Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's weird. I thought steer type A would make it so you can just immediately point in a certain direction. But no, you still need to turn manually. And then steer type B. Both of them are pretty tempting. I guess I'll just stick with uh, the arrows. I think that makes a bit more sense for me. But I can see WASD making sense for other people, so uh, good to have an alternative like that. Uh, we'll hit enter. All right. All right, cool. 
Whoop! Oh jeez, oh jeez. Now I feel a little bit cheating because... Ah! Like, uh, I feel like my feedback on this game might not be as good as it could be because I have some experience with Interstate Drifter, so I'm already kind of, like, familiar with the controls. But I do like the uh, feel of it, I suppose. And it does get a little bit of a bummer. Come on. Oh boy, oh boy. Running out of energy. Are those energy? Oh, okay. Easy, hard. Well, hard, obviously. Eh, maybe I should start. Nah, I gotta go hard. Do it. Level complete. Alright. Going well so far. Ooh, we got a G. Rip. Oh, I see. It's a power up. Like, I don't drift as much now. I actually turn quite solidly. Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. Losing that grip is rough. Gotta get a grip. Alright. Oh, now I got grip again. Okay. Whoa, what the heck? That was weird. I don't know why I slipped and slided like that. Don't I have grip on? I'm still gray. Why was I slipping and sliding like that? Like I didn't have grip. That's weird. It seems to be working now. Is that a glitch? Uh oh, running out of energy. Is that energy? Oh. Ah! Yeah, great, Overdrive. Aw, oh, did I lose already? That's rough. Well, I did pick hard, I think about it. <laughs> so I guess that's egg on my face. All right, let's try that again. I quite like it. I just gotta get used to the thing. Because a lot of the times you would think for a turn, it would be sufficient just to go er, to turn. But a lot of the times it's kind of like you need to like turn and then turn a little bit like that to kill your momentum. And then you can go back, which is pretty cool. I like it. Get some good skillful play to it. So let's try that again. This is fun. Shift lanes. It was being a little glitchy there. I'm not sure what happened. When I, when I was still gray, indicated- Ah, oh, mint. God, once you bump into a wall, it's so difficult to recover because it really bounces you like crazy. Oh, come on. Jeez. Just, okay, God. That is rough. Yeah, recovery from a bump is hard. Okay, now I'm getting it. I just gotta turn a lot earlier. All right. I'll try doing easy, just so we can see, I suppose, more of the game on offer. But I'm definitely coming back to do hard. Alright. Okay, under the bridge. Drifting, drifting. Is this overdrive? Oh boy, I'm kind of scared of overdrive. Okay, kind of worked out. Oh, let's get the energy. Nice. I really like this gameplay of drifting about. It's really cool. I could see a lot of people kind of having difficulty with it because it is kind of tricky to get used to the way you kind of have to like over drift like I'm doing there in order not to go off the sides. But uh, I like it because it's like uh, I kind of like wrestling with the controls like that. It feels like I'm kind of being rewarded for a skillful play. I like it. Because it feels like you can either be like a very good predictor and just do a solid smooth turn like that or you can try to compensate for like a late prediction by turning even harder, I suppose, like that. Whoop, nice. Alright, so maybe are we a bit slippery now that it's raining? It doesn't feel that much different, but I'm not sure. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nice. Oh, I like that feeling when you frickin' when a, a drift looks like it's about to go wrong, but you pull out. Oh, rival. Alright, am I supposed to smash into him? Oh boy. Oh, we got this, baby. I can't seem to catch up to him, though. Oh, never mind. Got overdrive. Uh, I'm gonna need to maybe get another overdrive in order to catch up to this guy. Oh, ah, I missed it. Uh oh, this is like, is the purple like oil or something like that? Crap, I'm running out of energy. Some energy. Nice. Ah. That was rough trying to catch up to that rival. Hopefully it was just a bonus thing. If it says game over. Okay. 
Welcome in state A. Oh, okay. So it's just the diverge and then another branch diverge and then I guess it kind of ends there. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I really like this. I keep trying to press LGF, but I keep doing, I select it and then I hit enter thinking that'll proceed to the next letter, but uh, instead it just, uh, it confirms it. I would kind of prefer that you have to either hit enter twice or I assume you would hit right to go to the next uh, key and then select, but yeah. All right, let's try one more time. I want to go for the hard course. This is fun. I really like this. <laughs> if I haven't said that enough. I'm not sure how to unlock the other stuff. I wonder if that is there, or maybe it's just a placeholder? Oh yeah, I forgot about my horn. How could I forget the important horn? <laughs> oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, starting to get it now. Oh, nice, good recovery. Drifting. Yeah, baby. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, nice. All right, hard, baby. I think we've showed our skill. <laughs> All right, let's try going for C. Turn, turn. Gotta get a grip. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, we took some damage. There. Oh, jeez. Threw myself off. All right, go. Get the grip. Turn, turn, turn. Ah, jeez. I'm so used to driving without grip that it kind of throws me off. <laughs> oh, jeez. I kind of wish I had a bit of more of a warning when I was about to lose my grip. I wish, like, I started blinking or some sort of sound would play or something. Oh, was that it right there? Didn't hear it last time. Ah! That overdrive is such a bloody trap. That feels really annoying. Man. Okay, now I'll go up to L. And then I hit right. Yes. And I hit G. And then hit F. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. I just usually think I would hit enter. Okay. Oh, man. As much as I want to keep playing this, I feel like I should probably stop for now and move on. I'm trying to just give every game 10 minutes. But I definitely want to come back to this later. This is, this is a lot of fun. I like the feeling of drifting. And I like, it reminds me of those old, like, arcade games like Marble Madness and type stuff. Where, uh... It's just like, you know, skillfully getting used to the physics of the marble and like getting through the really crazy courses. Um, yeah, solid game. Uh, I could see it potentially being like, like I said, the game does kind of have this thing where it feels like it could be a bit difficult to parse it at first, although I do think this kind of tutorial zone being able to use initially helps you out at the first of being able to determine how the game works. But, uh, I feel like it might be a little bit frustrating at first, especially when you bump into a wall. Even someone as skilled as me, when you bump into a wall, it's just, you're, you're all of a sudden thrust forward so much, you just fall off and it can get real frustrating. I feel like the game, like, might already be hard enough as it is that maybe it doesn't even need, like, the energy meter. Maybe, like, the energy meters would only be there for, like, hard mode or something like that. I feel like... I would prefer, like, maybe having, like, three lives, like, you know, either take too much damage or fall off, and then you get a game over. Running out of energy feels like, ah, like a lame way to die. Like, I, I never like time over defeats. They're kind of, like, lame. Like, uh, so yeah. That might be, like, my only change. Like, get rid of the whole energy mechanic, and instead just make it a life mechanic, which I think is a bit more straightforward and easier to understand. Running out of gas is kind of annoying. Maybe keep the running out of gas or slash energy, but keep it constrained to hard mode or an alternate mode or something like that. Like pro mode or something. I don't know. Anyway, really cool. Alright, next up is Together Alone, the RPG by Drayland, a classic JRPG that let you be together, but alone. Alright, interesting. Unfortunately, we only got 10 minutes, so I doubt I can beat this RPG, but let's check it out nonetheless, and hopefully we can provide some nice feedback. Alright, Together Alone. Not quite sure how to parse this uh, screen. It's a little dude staring off into the stars. Is this like a monitor, a flag, is he just a person? I'm not sure what the structure is. Well, let's hit enter and 
See if it explains it. Oh, okay. Ah, finally. My day of work is finished for today. I can return back to my village. <laughs> You look like you live in an urban environment. Is a village really the right word? Oh, well, maybe he does live in a rural village. I don't know. All right, I hit enter. I must hurry. My sister is waiting for me at home. It's her birthday today. Okay. All right, move with arrow keys. Okay, can't go back. Uh, what the hell? Can't proceed. Oh, that gray is not floor. It's okay. I guess I go down like that. Well, where am I supposed to go? Dream developer. Okay, I guess I gotta go to the... Where the heck do I go? Whoa! Hello, my dear people. I have an important message to announce <laughs> to all of you. It concerns everybody, so listen carefully. Ooh, just got grim. I am the General Palatin, the general in charge of protecting our nation. A very strange disease appears some times ago, and we are forced to close the city. Really weird text. I'm getting a lot of typos and stuff. Since now, nobody will be able to enter nor exit the city. At least until the disease will be over. Some little towns has are, have already been to touch, touched by the virus, taken by the virus, and we want to protect our people. We want to avoid it to reach us. So don't worry. Stay happy. Life is going on. You are not alone in your case. Just simply think your world is as far as this city for now. If I catch someone out, I will kill without any hesitation. Damn! I'll do it to protect all of us! I can't take the risk to let alive someone with the disease. Yeah. Was this, like, written by someone like English Second Language or something like that? It's fine, but it's just... It can kind of kill the mood. Like, this is kind of like a dire message, but now it's getting all kind of goofy just because the the grammar and there's typos and it just isn't structured well anyway if everything is clear you can return back to your daily simple life <laughs> so that me <laughs> well that's a big bug i can't even read the text because my character is clipping over it you gotta have you gotta make sure all hud elements including the text boxes are on a layer that overlaps everything including the player sprite <laughs> okay I have to go home by any way. Didn't you just hear the man? I can't let my sister alone there. But how will I be able to escape from the city? I must find someone who can help me to find an exit. Okay. Um, maybe we can talk to this person. No need for grinding. Oh, is it trying to say that I don't need, like, to get any more levels? How do I talk with someone? Is it ZXC, maybe? Oh, X. Have you seen the huge building right there? Dream Veloper Studio. Those guys have finally succeeded in their dreams. They have never give up, given up, even with all the bad lucks they've got during all those years. I hope they'll continue to live their dreams. That's all I wish for them. Okay, that's very nice. <laughs> hey, I'd love to come to this area of the city when I'm bored. It's not crowded by people and it's quite refreshing thanks to all of these rare trees we have here. The trees all look the same, buddy. They're our biggest chance for you to stay alive if you just keep waiting here instead of taking the passage into the sewer. At least do not go alone there. Ah, man, other sprites can also go over the uh, HUD element as well, not just the player. Come on. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing here? Go back to the main part of the city. You have nothing to do here. Next time my green slimes will kick your ass. Yeah, see, ah, oh, I can't actually get past them. Crap. What happens if I talk to him again? What are you doing? Go back. You have nothing to do here. Okay, so I can't... I thought maybe if I talked to him again, he would, uh, we would get into a battle. I'd defeat him, then I could go into the sewer. Do I need to talk to someone else? Heard there's a secret passage. Enter into the sewer. It will definitely never enter. I'm sure it's crowded by monsters. Okay. Oh, so is that where we work? I pair? It's nice. Can we enter by... Ugh. Got kind of stuck on the walls there. What about you? What did you say? You want to go to the next city? This is insane, man. You'll be killed if you do something like that. But I love when people are taking risks. All right, let's go. I know a secret passes by traveling through the sewer. It's just in the northeast. We'll have to fight those guards before enter there. But together, we're strong enough to kick them easy. I have to travel to the next city, too. My wife is there. Hurry up. Let's go. All right, I'm not alone anymore. That's nice. <laughs> Is there any other NPCs that are different from the standard NPCs? Maybe I can get another partner? Maybe not. 
Maybe I should talk to the general. Just be like, hey, we're leaving. Everyone has to stay in the city. No one are allowed to go out. I'm the ruler here, I give the order. You better listen. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, definitely. I wonder why I could walk right over that guy, but I collide with all these guys. A little bit odd. Hey, guard. All right, get out of the way, damn it. Guess I gotta talk to him. Go back, you have nothing to do here. Next time. Oh, now we fight, okay. Oh, cool transition. Cool, like, uh, kind of 3D battle screen. I like it. Uh, let's see. What kind of abilities do I have? Nothing yet. What the? I press Z and it goes up like that. I don't know what that's all about. Is it C? Okay, C goes back. Items. Oh, it starts me with a lot of stuff. I don't know what any of them do. I kind of wish a description would pop up for them. Uh, we'll just try attacking. Green slime. What the? What happened? Did I hit them? Oh, I did. But no numbers popped up or something. That all happened... It was kind of good that it went by fast, but... Uh, it would have been nice. Everything happened so fast, I wasn't even able to tell who got hurt. It looked like Barrett, I guess, got hurt. It took half his bloody health, jeez. Um, attack the green slime. Okay, the death animation was alright, but why do no numbers pop up? Let me know how much damage I did. Or, like, at least the health bar should go like... Do you... You know, the health bar should, like, decrease or something visually. It just happened so fast. Okay, now I have a lot of RP. Is that, like, my limit break gauge? I don't see anything at the moment, though. Although, Barrett's pretty hurt. Maybe I should give tacos to him? I don't know if that helped. Uh, okay, his health went up, but it didn't display like a green number or something, so I wasn't able to tell how much I did. We'll try attacking. Now I need to heal myself, because these guys really hurt. More tacos. Attack. Attack that. Alright, good. Got him! Alright. Oh, we didn't get any XP. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I guess it said no need for grinding. I suppose we start, uh, you know, as high as we're gonna get. Do we not have any abilities? Okay, I guess we don't. What about the items? Store 2 HP, 100 mana. I wish this description box also appeared during battle. That would also be very good. Store MP. It's kind of weird because we used tacos, but it didn't seem to deplete. Like, uh, no, 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 go back. How, how do I? No! Go back! How the hell do I go back? I'm pressing C, I'm pressing Esk, I'm pressing. X no go back oh what the hell ah I'm using up all my items because I can't bloody leave the screen <sighs> hang on is there something here use backspace to go back okay that was red down there what the hell why backspace it should be C shouldn't it that's what everything else has been to go back that's really confusing what the hell all right anyway into the sewer we go We'll get a little bit further, see if things change up a bit. Hey, buddy. What are you doing down here? What are you doing here? You don't see it's not safe. Maybe you're here for the same reason. If you're near the next city, you're on the right place. As far as I'm concerned, I'm too scared. I think I'll go back home. Okay. Can we go up these things? No, I guess not. Whoa, purple slime. Can we get past it? Nope. I guess it blocks the way. Ah, oh, man, there's three of them? Oh, I think we're freaking toast. Oh, jeez, we barely heard it. Just keep hitting it. We'll get through it. Just keep attacking. Just mash X. Ah, <laughs> uh, so close. Barrett, come on, you gotta hit harder. Oh, boy. Hit him, hit him. Oh, no, Barrett! Is Barrett dead? I couldn't tell who got hit right there. Open the chest. You found multi potion. That's very nice, I guess. Uh, do we not need to heal? Do we heal up? Uh, no. Uh, how the hell do I go back? All oh, right, backspace. Oh, that's so confusing. All right. Um, let's try fighting this thing. All right, Stone Man. Ah, uh, do they always need to come in threes? What the hell? They just kicked our ass. I'm fleeing. Jeez. But it looks like our health bars are full, though. D okay, I think I need to use these things. Okay, backspace. It, 
When I go to the menu, yeah, it looks like our health is full, yet when we went to battle, we were clearly still damaged. This game feels a little bit... Can we get past? Ah, come on! It looked like we can get past. Guess we gotta take care of these blue slimes. Alright, keep hitting. Just keep mashing attack. We can get through this by sheer attrition. Nice. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, I guess this goes for a while. Alright. Potion, that's nice. Although, we don't have any abilities or anything like that, so who cares about MP? Give me some tacos or something. Oh, why does it keep giving me MP? I want health items, not MP. Uh. Alright, keep moving to the right. Uh, okay. Alright. We're already almost at about 10 minutes, so I'll stop it there for now, I suppose. Think I've seen enough. Like, it's a nice little idea for an RPG, but it's really kind of like dire at the moment. One, it's flooded with typos, which kind of kill, like, the mood and everything. Like, you know, it's about a serious type thing. It's about, like, a city being locked down and, you know, if you leave, you'll be, like, killed and stuff. And yet, when everybody keeps talking and, you know, there's tons of grammatical and typos and stuff, it kind of kills the mood. Uh, the battle system, like... It's fancy graphically, like I like the kind of like cool perspective shift it does, but everything moves so fast, there's no HP, like, uh, you know, numbers popping up letting me know how much damage I've done and how much damage the enemy has done. Uh, like I said, the item descriptions, they aren't present during the battle, so it's annoying to read. Um, the menus, like, they don't actually display your true HP. And, um, having to hit backspace instead of X or C is just really confusing. And to top it all off, your first level is a sewer level, which is like a cardinal sin. Sewer levels should be avoided at all costs. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. It's an alright idea, but it needs a lot, a lot of help but it could be but it's got a decent core so far i think a lot of the stuff that i've commented on can be added it can help it out so i wish you the best of luck Bloop. okay next up is skim that profile by nikki boy 602 made for Haxel flixel jam well i kind of wish it the description said something about the game but that's fine <laughs> just read the description down here, I suppose. Keep a lonely green worm alive by swiping right on as many cuties as you can. Just be sure to swipe left on those murdery spam bots. Uh, okay. I've never used uh, Tinder or Finder or whatever and stuff, so this is new to me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm an old man. Act 1. My name is Peppy. I've been forever alone my entire life. In fact, I only have 30 seconds left to live before I die of loneliness. Jeez. I think loneliness is a... I think it's not a Y, but an I there, I think. Luckily, I've discovered Finder, the dating app guaranteed to find true love within two minutes. Even better, my life is prolonged 15 seconds every time I swipe right on a cute guy or gal. There's a catch. The app is overrun with murderous bots. If I swipe right on a bot, I'm a goner for sure. Got to read their profiles carefully. I'm sure if they're a bot murder or some other synonym will be on their list of interests oh so it's not just gonna be i thought it was just gonna be like pictures at first but i guess you got to read their profile to see if they say like i enjoy long walks on the murder what was that <laughs> long walks on the beach that's what i meant uh-huh swipe left <laughs> uh okay press space to begin so we got two minutes or okay we got 30 seconds but every time we match, we'll get up to potentially two minutes, which is what we want. Okay, sounds good. Um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, these are like chapters. Okay, so I need to start this and I hit, need to hit space to begin. Sorry. Hit space to begin is, it, it kind of gets lost in all of the other font. Whereas this looks kind of important and stuff. So I thought this was actually how I start the game, not this. Okay, space. Okay, biking, fishing for krill, experiencing life, ending your life. Whoa, that's bad. 
Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That looks good, yeah? Homonyms, murder mystery movies. Well, that's fine, because it's just a murder mystery movie, yeah? Is that good? Oh, no, was that bad? I know it had murder in it, but... Yeah, but it's a murder mystery movie. That's fine. Shouldn't it be? All right. I thought that was actually going to be, like, a nice catch. Like, why did you swipe left on that? It was perfectly normal. Like, if it was just, like murder it would be like whoa swipe left but if it's like murder mystery movies i thought that was supposed to be like a gotcha or something okay okay i guess i need to take it quite literally that's fine uh let's try that again poker swimming hiking playing soccer running removing you from existence nope grilling food dancing playing tennis dancing having essential crises mm -hmm. that looks fine Raisins, playing piano, killing, no. Skating, having a session, blah, blah, blah. working hard, living life. Okay. That looks good. Staying home, I see a murder, nope. Working hard, having a social crisis, is swimming, living life. Whoop, I see a murder. Murder, uh, nope. Living life, blah, 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 blah. Assassin's Creed, eating food, murder, no. Ah, oh, man, there's so many bad people. Eating food, killing the mood. That's fine, right? Okay. Okay, see? That kind of worked as the gotcha. Why didn't murder mystery movies work? Uh, I gotta, I'm on the clock. I gotta keep going. Working hard, experiencing life, killing. No. Murder mystery movies? No. Uh, so blah, 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 murder mystery movies? No. Spending, hiking, horoscopes, murder mystery movies. Wait, let me double check. Maybe... Oh, maybe it did work. Okay, so maybe there was something else on that besides murder mystery movies that was confusing me? That's not it. I see killing you. I see killing you again. Running, eating food, ending your life. No. Playing piano, working hard, Assassin's Creed, crazy, and biking. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Climbing mountains, hiking, skating, biking, killing you. No. Uh, dancing in the club, swimming, killing you. No. Uh, crazy, and reading books, having essential crisis. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I did it. Nice. Okay. It looks like when I did that murder mystery thing trick, there must have been something else there, so apologies for my confusion there. I suppose the murder mystery movies was not the thing that caught me. It was something else. That's really cute. I like that. It kind of, it's like the speed dating version of Papers, Please. Pretty cute. The only, the only problem I have is that I kind of wish that not only did you have to read their bio, I wish you had to like look at their picture as well to see if they're just like, I am robot or something. Like maybe their description is good, but they can still be a robot or something. Because it felt like I was only reading text and I didn't have to look at the cute pictures. I feel like it would be cool if the pictures also factored into it. Anyway, that was really cute. Uh, let's try, I guess, the next chapter, which is Stumble. Okay, I successfully found a partner, but the hell isn't over. They broke up with me a day later. I'm so heartbroken I could die any second. Now my death clock runs even shorter. Right swipe on a cutie gives me only half the energy. Ah, okay. So same thing, but it's just a lot harder now. Let's give it a go. Reading, playing piano, homicide. No. Uh, staying home, slaying humans. No. Watching birds running, okay. that's fine. Playing tennis, biking, slaying humans, no. Murder, mystery, blah, 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 blah. Okay. that looks fine. Dancing in the club, killing the mood, staying home, horoscopes. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Homicide, no. Assassination, no. Homonyms, playing poker, blah, blah, blah. killing okay. the mood, that's fine. Blah, 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 blah. Dancing, kill, killing you, no. Assassination, no. Removing you from me, no. Staying home, biking, okay. eating food, that looks good. Blah, 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 blah. Assassination, no. Blah, 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 blah. Working hard, murder, nope. Blah, 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 murder, nope. Blah, 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 blah. Working hard, murder, okay. mystery, that's fine. Eating, ending your life, homonyms, nope. Uh, skating, piano, blah, 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 killing the mood, okay. that's fine. Uh, hiking, swimming, okay. grilling food, that's fine. Running, killing, no. How many paths be watching movies, horoscopes, chilling, okay. playing poker, nice. Kill pasta sandwiches, swimming, living life, fishing for krill, okay. that's fine. Slaying humans, no. Netflix and chill, staying home, homicide, no. Grilling food, reading, removing you, no. Hiking, watching birds, chilling, killing okay. the mood, that's fine. Viking, swimming, hey, we did it. Okay, that was really nice. Okay, so like I said before, Many apologies that I complained about the, oh, murder mystery novels, what the hell? Because I like it because it was what I thought. You put, like, murder mystery novels, killing the mood. I like those little gotchas. Very, very cute. <laughs> I feel so bad for being, like, God, I got, like, what do they call it? Like, a reverse Uno or something like that. I totally got switched up there in the beginning. Uh, I didn't realize that. I just, like, fooled myself, I suppose. Is there a third level or something? Okay. Well, that was that was really charming and wonderful. I like that a lot. Like I said, it was like a rapid fire, like papers, please. That was really cool. And I like the little gotchas, even though I 
totally misinterpret them at first because of my own foolishness. Uh, yeah, nice work. <laughs> Alrighty, next up is Okay Dumb Children, Where's the Cheat? by Ryan Silberman. Wow, happy 20th birthday, Homestar Runner. That's pretty cool. I was just watching Homestar Runner stuff earlier, so yeah, let's check it out. I like how he's kind of like in his Atari 8-bit type style, where the pixels are big as hands. All right, I'm just trying to show off my references now. Uh, watch out for the watch out for the wet walnuts. Ah, your James over. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, dumb children, where's the cheat? All right, let's do this. Ah, uh, it's bit electrics as well. Okay. Whoa, it starts so fast. Okay. Do we click on this with the mouse or do we hit the arrow keys? Um, hang on. I want to see that intro again. Where's the cheat? I like it how it seems to be doing like a uh, Atari ET type of art style there in the font. I quite like that. Although it's kind of weird. Um, that music that is playing. Do, 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 do. I feel like I recognize that from Homestar Runner, but I was expecting the Vid Electrics theme, the bum, 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 bum. <laughs> it was a little bit weird. I feel like that theme is still a Homestar Runner theme. Anyway, for use with touchscreen. Okay. So do we use the mouse? Uh, move right. Okay, move right again. Oh! Got a key. Okay, cool. Move right. Oh, that's kind of weird. When I see this, I feel like it should be like I'm turning around or something, but instead it moves me that... Because this is kind of confusing, because I was here, and then I selected to go left, and then it shows me moving forward, so it would almost fool me into thinking if I press up, that means I continue going forward, which means to the left, but... I imagine that's not the case. I think this means up, it would take me up. So it's a little bit confusing there with how it does it. Um, but yeah, let's uh, hit up. Okay, well that's a key door, but I guess we can, uh, do we have to touch it or, oh, I guess we just hit up. All right, we unlocked. All right, we're up here now, turn left. Whoa! Ah, somebody get this freaking duck away from me! Ah. Uh, Jeez, that jangly sound. Holy moly. Alright, let's try that again. What happens if we go up? We didn't do that last time. Oh no, strong man! Oh, okay, he just says get a key. Okay, so he was supposed to be like a tutorial or something. Alright, thank you, Brother Gromad. So here's the key. Nice. What happens if we... Oh wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. And then go this way. Ah, oh, no! I got fooled again. I did my thing where I thought I would turn right and that would send me up or something. Okay. Move like this. Go up. A little bit confusing, but yeah. Okay, let's move to the right. I assume it's not randomized, so I assume if I go to the left it would just kill me again. So let's do that. Hey, it's Bubs! Always be prepared. Alright, thanks. <laughs> I guess. Uh, oh, I did it again. I was about to... Alright, down to go down. All right. It's weird because it makes sense that down goes down, but a lot the, because of the 3D layout, down makes me think I go backwards, which would be make, sending me left on the grid. I don't know. It's just... It's kind of confusing. Anyway. Oh. Uh, down. Yes, down. Okay. Oh, a knife! A big knife. <laughs> Can we use that for that freaking duck, I suppose? Uh, nice blade, man! Thanks, bubs. <laughs> All tough guys use really cool big knives. Alright, you killed a freaking duck. Yeah! Hey! Oh, I love that Atari choo choo choo. Oh, and we're kicking the cheat! Uh, that's cute. Okay, so I guess that's it. 
All right, well, a short little thing, but uh, yeah, pretty cute. Definitely a lot of little fun references to it and stuff. I kind of wish there was more like uh, to goof around with and uh, explore, but I suppose it's a nice little, you know, a short, sweet experience. Short and sweet. That's quite nice. The, the thing about like Homes for Runner is that I would love if there was like even more references and maybe more like mazes to explore, but from what was there, that was pretty decent. So, yeah, not too shabby. Alrighty, next up is Broken Guns by Jock R, I suppose. Jack R? Jock, Jock R? I don't know. <laughs> Invasion, but our guns are broken. These will have to do. Okay, so Broken Guns will have to do, I guess. Alright. Play game, more games, quick game. So we got WADS and Z and N? What? And P to mute. And those are some really weird spread out buttons. Alright, we'll try it and play. Do we use the mouse or? Oh, I guess we use. It's just straight up keyboard. Okay. I don't know why it's Z and N. I would expect it to be Z and X. Or maybe N is an alternative and that. These are both select, but oh yeah, these are probably just like wads, just like the arrows are an alternative to wads, I guess N might be an alternative to Z. Okay, gotcha. A little bit confusing. Maybe just the, uh, maybe they need to be separated more to indicate that they're alternatives or something like that. Or maybe they just need to be like boxed in or something to show that they're separate. Anyway, let's crack on. All right, oh, fancy, okay. Z to jump, X to shoot. What the? Why are we? Oh, because they're broken guns. Gotcha. What are we supposed to do? Oh, shoot these things. Okay, so my gun shoots backwards. Got it. So we move this way. Very interesting. Alright, shoot him. Nice. Oh, keep shooting it. I guess I gotta keep pushing forward. Got it. Alright, alright. Interesting, interesting. Ah! Okay, so it's just a little score attack, see how far we can get. It is a bit of a bummer though that, well maybe it changes up, I haven't seen everything yet. Like, shooting backwards is pretty fun, but it would be kind of cool if maybe you had to like keep picking up new guns and some of them are broken in different ways or something. Because shooting backwards is nice, but Maybe there would be something else like kind of nice, like, oh, this gun, like, it shoots fine, but it only has one shot, and you need to reload by jumping or something like that. Like, all sorts of, like, crazy, weird challenges to do with the guns, instead of just pointing backwards. Whoop. All right, hang on. Shoot, 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 shoot. All right. I like the cool way that, uh, the things kind of get, like, uh, beamed down to really let you know where they're coming in. Let's give it a bit more of a go. Oh yeah, also, hang on. Something I didn't quite like is that at the beginning, I was trying to read, you know, my instructions up here. I was like trying to process it, but then I saw this counter going down. I was like, oh crap, I guess I gotta start playing. But that's a bit of a bummer because it kind of forces me to play when I'm not quite ready yet, you know? A little bit frustrating. I kind of wish that the timer only started when you first start moving or something like that, you know? Oop, gotta go to the left. Nice little, uh, arrows. Very helpful, I like it. Ah, I tried to make that jump there, but... Ah, damn it! All right, keep shooting. Nice, nice, nice. I just wanna keep playing a little bit more because I do wanna see if the game, like, switches things up a bit by making the, uh by having all sorts of broken guns that you need to try to work around. Because while this one is a nice, like, standard gun to kind of start with, you know, one of the more simpler problems a broken gun would bring, firing backwards. But I hope that there are other guns that are broken in different ways that you kind of have to finagle with. Otherwise it would be a little bit disappointing, because I think the premise is pretty cool. Alright, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. 
Come on, I, I want to see if I can also break 100,000. Ah, oh, I can't. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Kill something off screen without even trying. All right. Take care of some of these guys. Wait for them to shoot. Okay, go. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. These... All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jump, jump, jump. Shoot backwards. Nice. All right. Down like this. Shoot backwards. Okay, good. Shoot backwards. Nice. Jump. Come on. Gotta break 100,000. Gotta break 100,000. Oh, you see the way I friggin' thread the needle right there? They can't teach you that in school. It's instinct. Ah! All right. One more go. One more go. Yeah, unfortunately, it does look like it doesn't really have anything else to offer, which is a little bit of a bummer. Like, cute concept, funny design and stuff like that, but it's a little bit plain and doesn't have a lot of variety. It does have a lot of nice punch to it. I like, I like the way that things, like, warp in. I like the explosions. I like all the, like, the missiles and bullets flying around, giving it a real hectic atmosphere and stuff. But I just feel like, uh, you know, the concept is really cool, Broken Guns, but it's not as fully explored as I would like, I suppose. Anyway, I'll stop there for now, but, uh, cute little game. Not too shabby. Uh, I just kind of wish there was more meat on them bones, I suppose. Maybe, like, more levels, or, like I said, it would be kind of cool if maybe each weapon had limited ammo and then you need to pick up a new gun that's broken in a weird different way like maybe this gun needs to be reloaded by jumping or maybe you need to mash x for this gun to actually make it shoot or maybe this gun it when it fires it black it back blasts you so it sends you flying so you kind of have to like you know use that in a smart way so you don't get yourself you know flung into an enemy fire or something like that there's all sorts of things it could potentially do I'm kind of worried that maybe the game does, but I just didn't play far enough to get it. But if that is the case, then I think it still stands that a lot of people would probably have a similar impression that I have, where it's like, eh, I feel like I've seen everything, and then kind of like quit. Anyway, still kind of a neat game. C can you imagine getting high enough to get all that way? That'd be crazy. Whew. Alrighty. Next up is Life of Alex by The Farage. Alex is never on time. This is what we imagine his life is like. All right, let's see. Taking a long time to load. Didn't freeze or something, did it? Hmm. Let's try refreshing. Come on, life of Alex. What the hell? Maybe a full refresh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Life of Alex. Play, credits, and some sort of mysterious slider. I'm assuming volume? Okay, it is for volume. <laughs> Could you maybe label it? <laughs> I mean, I did guess that it was going to be volume, so maybe you could argue that you don't need to label it, but I think you should play it safe and, and label that. Anyway, let's hit play. This is our friend Alex. He regularly says he'll be there in five minutes, then shows up an hour and a half late. Oh, yeah, know a lot of those people. We can't remember an instance when he was ever on time. This is what we imagine his life must be like. Uh, do we click to proceed? Oh, do we click on this? Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay. You'd woken up at noon, but decided you'd rather start the day off with a nap. So you got back into bed. You're awakened by your phone. You dimly remember you were supposed to meet your friends for drinks. It's probably them. Uh, but if it's already like that late, nah, ignore it. You bury your head under the pillow and drift off again. Yeah, avoid the guilt. Avoid it. Just as you are pleasantly floating down a river of torpidity, your phone starts ringing again. Throw it out the window, man. I'm trying to sleep here. You check your phone at the window, then realize what you've done. You're Alex. You don't care. Yeah, get back into bed. You wake up to someone banging on your apartment door. Ugh. 
Okay, I'll freaking go and open the door. Two policemen are standing before you. Hello, sir. We have received a report that a heavy object was thrown from your window. Crap. You own a Nokia 3310. People always think you're holding because of that. What? People always think you're holding because of that? I don't really understand what that means. Do you mean that, like, is a Nokia 3310 like a big phone? And maybe it's like, it gives you like a pocket bulge and people think you're holding a pistol or something? I don't really know how to interpret that statement. I'm not familiar with a Nokia 3310 and I'm not sure what they mean, always think you're holding. Maybe always packing, if it means you're, maybe you're packing some junk in the front, if you know what I'm saying. Or if they mean you're packing some heat, like you got a gun in your pocket, I don't know. Or you're happy to see me, uh -huh. Alright, click. Someone has been hit in the head and badly injured. You're gonna have to come with us to the station. Alright, yeah, comply. We can just sleep in the jail cell. After refusing to change from your bathrobe, citing your constitutional right to comfort, you're driven to police station. You get your one phone call. You're supposed to be your friends for drugs. Call them. Uh, let's see. Let's call our grandma. Call your grandma who asks if you've been eating enough. <laughs> you say you haven't on account of being under arrest. She says it's unacceptable. And a few hours later, she brings you some dumplings. Aw, thanks, grandma. There are lockpicks hidden in the dumplings. You're impressed. Granny's hardcore. Wow, Granny. Very nice. Well, modern holding cells unlock with a magnetic card, but really it's a thought that counts. Uh, I thought it was going to be, well, it would be good if you knew how the hell to lockpick, <laughs> but yeah, that also works. After seeing your record, the police deemed it safer to hold you in arrest. What? The next day you are brought before a judge. Uh, brought before a judge. Uh, sit still, I guess. Let's relax. You're on your best behavior. This is only slightly undercut by the fact you're still wearing your bathrobe. Well, that's just like... Your opinion, man. <laughs> you're informed that the idiot who put his head between your Nokia and the ground has died during the night. You stand accused of manslaughter. Let's see. Uh... Well, I'm innocent, man. You mount a vigorous defense. You pace back and forth, still wearing your bathrobe, passionately making your case. See, Alex can put it together when it's about him, when it's about other people who gives a crap. You explain that this is the arraignment when initial facts are established and not the trial itself. <laughs> nice. Bit of an embarrassment, really. You're eventually found guilty of manslaughter and sent to jail. Eh. Nah. Well, let's see. Can we be bothered to make an escape, or should we serve our term? Eh, let's just serve it. I'm too lazy. You serve your term and come out reformed. You hear that your friends are still meeting in your old bar on the regular. You decide to surprise them next Saturday. Why? You get to the bar and they're quite happy to see you. They're your friends, after all. <laughs> wow. You apologize for running late. Everybody has a big laugh and then they slap you in the face. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was supposed to be a little gag. All right, that's cute. Okay, let's try uh, maybe one little adventure. That was uh, that was very nice. I like the little doofy type music, and I like the little jokey atmosphere. This is this is very nice. I like it. Woken up at noon, but decide. Okay, we'll try picking up the phone this time. It's your friends, and they're almost at the bar. Did you wake up just now? No. <laughs> you say you'll be there in five minutes and hang up. Well, we do need to be Alex, so let's get some brunch. What would you like to eat? Let's get some... Nah, let's be lazy. Let's order a pizza. No matter how many times you open the refrigerator door, it stubbornly remains empty. So you order pizza, and soon enough the delivery boy is standing before him. Ask the pizza boy whether he'd like to stay for a doobie. Yeah, boy! You don't want to be rude, so you invite Marty the pizza boy inside. See? You split a spliff, eat, and reminisce about life. Uh, let's see. Tell Marty... I mean, Alex shows up there eventually, so I'll tell Marty I must rush to the bar. Yeah, I gotta get going, Marty. Marty promises he'll drive you to the bar on a scooter. Oh, that's wonderful! Thank you, Marty. We became good friends. 
You grab your keys, phone, and wallet. See, it's like we're a regular Kramer or something like that. Everything's coming up. We, even though we were running late, Marty became our friend. That's cool. As you and Marty come out of your building, you notice a can opener on the ground. It says on it, to protect and conserve. What? Uh, whatever. Just roll your eyes. We're moving on. You decide it's a terrible pun worthy of canned laughter. Ho ho ho. And move on. Ah, uh, canned laughter. Ah, uh, double. All right. You jump behind Marty in a scooter and speed off. A few minutes later, you're at a red light when you notice Crazy Jimmy at the wheel of the car on your right. You owe money to Crazy Jimmy. Uh, hmm, what would Alex do? Let's see. <laughs> Let's knock on and greet him with a grin. Let's be nice. Crazy Jimmy rolls down his window and makes a very colorful love decoration. He's even less happy to see you than he'd expected. He asks about his money. Uh... I don't know, man. <laughs> We're just chill. You pretend you don't know who you are. <laughs> That's a bit much. Jimmy doesn't buy it. Maybe because he doesn't have his money. Wait, what? He doesn't have his money? You mean Alex doesn't have his money? Or Jimmy? This makes it sound like Jimmy doesn't have Alex's money. Which is like, what? Anyway, Jimmy pulls out a gun. You know he was Goongoomba, but this just got very real. The light turns green. Did this all of a sudden turn into a... Oh, God damn it! What's his name? Fuck! I should know his name. It's, uh... The guy... The guy who shows up on the Joe Rogan podcast a lot. He's like, the Goomba. Uh, like, oh, man, what's his name? Arr, it's not coming to me right now, but he does like the church of, the church of something, something. And he's got the, anyway. The light turns green, you yell at Marty to step on it. The scooter's wheels screech on the asphalt as you put some distance between you and Jimmy's car, but he's on your tail and picking up speed. Uh, let's see. Marty, there's a narrow street. Yeah, let's do that. Marty turns right harder than a Trump rally. What? <laughs> and you drift into a narrow alley between two buildings. Jimmy was going too fast and he misses it. Marty doesn't slow down as he navigates the maze of alleyways. How much money do you owe that guy? <laughs> I've lost track. As the scooter spills from an alleyway and heads down a wide street, you hear a loud bang and a bee sips by your head. I don't think that's a bee. You look behind you and see Jimmy's gun attached to Jimmy's arm protruding from Jimmy's car, hot in pursuit. In front of you, Marty screams something that's not very nice at all. Uh, let's see. Try to zigzag, but peers up ahead. Scooter cruises along in light traffic, making up in nibbleness for what it doesn't have in horsepower. A few bullets fly past harmlessly as you reach the narrow pier. You make a hard turn. It's probably reasonable to blame Newton for what happened next. A scooter is light, a car is not. Because of the aforementioned Englishman, inertia is proportional to mass. Okay, okay, yes, I get it. You can move ahead. As a result, the scooter took a turn and the car took a dive. Off the pier and into the waters below. There we go. As the scooter reaches your destination, it gives what is likely to be its final gasp. Ah! You intercept your friends just as they were leaving the bar. They are persuaded to stay for one more drink. Yeah, not least because you have a story to tell, and because you brought a new face. His name is Marty. You apologize for running late. Ah, that was wonderful! We made it through! Everything was coming up roses for Alex, and we got a new friend. That was wonderful. Alright, well this is a really cute text adventure. I like it. Like, uh... I, I am curious if maybe if I kept playing, like, it seems like it gets really varied, and that's good. Sometimes these text adventures, sometimes if you play them too long, they get, like, too predictable. You poke holes or, like, branches keep, like, seeping into each other, and you're like, ah, it wasn't any effort into this. But I think it does look like, at least, there was a lot of effort put into this. Goofy language, I like it. Really, really comical and cool adventures. Good to job. Alrighty, let's see. Next up is Remember to Forget by Josie King. What if the things that go bump in the night are just pieces of our past? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Loading, 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 loading.
This is a long time to load. <laughs> Hopefully it's worth it. Remember to forget. Ooh, stylish intro screen. Very fancy. And let's hit about, I suppose. Game by, oh, I thought it was like what the game's about or something. Okay, maybe with Adobe Photoshop, Unity with Fungus. I don't know what Fungus is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Game by Josie King. All right, let's do it. Play. Memories warm you up from the inside, but they also tear you apart. Haruki Murakami. Isn't that like a famous like author that I think a lot of people like? like to reference or something i don't know i feel like i recognize that but i'm not sure where from summer the world awakens as i do everything is as it's always been i take a deep breath in as my surroundings unfold around me i feel the same sense of calm that i've grown used to today is no different i think it's time i became a functional member of society all right you do you oh do i move around now? oh okay so i can click on things uh, let's look out the window. Looks like a pretty nice day outside. Okay, let's take a look at ourselves. Getting dressed is always a good place to start. That's good. Ever since I played, uh, what was that old game called? Return of the Dragon or something, where you can get an instant game over by leaving the apartment before getting dressed. I always remember to do that. <laughs> okay, what should I wear? Uh, let's see. Well, are we going to work or are we just doing something? Uh, and maybe when we go to work, they'll still be fine. So let's keep it cute. Low effort, but I still look cute. A win in my book. Little Animal Crossing things. All right. Feeling like a human being again. I should make some breakfast. Okay. Uh, do I click something? Ah, the camera doesn't scroll up enough to see us. What do I click on? Oh, the scrolls so slowly. Oh, do I click on the arrow? The arrow isn't really being highlighted or something. That's a bit annoying. If I do need to click on the arrow, it's a bit weird that it's not being highlighted. Anyway, okay, we look good now. Uh, map. I've always wanted to travel. Oh. There's so much out there to explore. Oh, I can click on these things multiple times. Looks like a pretty nice day. Sun in England? Who knew? Okay. The urge I have to get back into bed right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so we leave. Oh, what's down here? Is that a pet bed? Luna's cat bed. I knew the second I bought it that she'd never use it. Ah, yeah, that's how it works. Made it out of the cave. Now for breakfast. Okay, what do we got? Do we hit the fridge or... Oh, okay, I guess fruit and some cereal. Sure. Hmm, what do we fancy? Uh, let's go with some cereal. I like cereal. Some good dry cereal. Quite like a nutritious meal. Alright. Breakfast is truly the superior meal. I actually always skip breakfast. But... Oh, how could I forget Luna? I should feed her. Okay. Uh, I should grab her bowl so I can fill it up. So down here. It looks filled, but maybe it's, uh, that's odd food's still in her bowl okay i was about to say like you didn't change the art assets but no okay it's supposed to be filled food's still in her bowl from last night did she go wander off or something maybe she just wasn't hungry hmm oh that's nice click on it a little pebble falls out that's a nice little thing to see i suppose nice little bit of interactivity i kind of hate having to do this thing where i slowly scroll over to go this arrow this arrow that doesn't even like highlight to let me know i can interact with it she'll turn up i should find something else to do in the meantime oh also that's a little bit of a bug there it's going over the uh text that should never happen what do you mean she'll turn up come on you got to care for your cat well at least care for your plant plant I'll leave this here for when she comes back. No, 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 plant. I should probably water that at some point. Yeah, get on it. What's wrong with this person? She's not eaten yet. Yeah, but it's probably all like rotten. You should change the food to something fresh. Anyway. <laughs> Plates. Yes, I cook. Yes, I clean. My talent knows no bound. All right, smarmy. <laughs> uh, where do we go now? Okay, so do we just leave, I guess? Not caring for your cat, not caring for your plants. God, I should let some light in. Okay, blinds. 
click it? Did that do it? I thought maybe I would need to click on the, uh, like the pull cord or something. That's better. Uh, the view I've come to know. Nothing ever changes much around here. I've grown comfortable with the certainties each day brings. Oh, is that a knock? Oh, I wonder who that could be. Alright, alright, I'm coming. So, over here? Oh, that was weird again. I clicked on the door, but it wasn't being highlighted. So, I, I was about to say, like, I still clicked on it just in case, but it wasn't being highlighted, so I was like, oh, maybe I need to, like, click on something else. Hello, neighbor. Oh, it's you, Sky. <laughs> Rude. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm reading that with a bad connotation. I'm not quite sure if I grasp the context. What's up? I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Uh... Could always be worse. <laughs> I feel that. Big mood. Wanna hang out? Uh, am I busy? Or am I supposed to hang out? Uh, I don't know. Am I... Whatever, hang out. Sure. That'd be really great, actually. Come in. I've been meaning to call you, actually. Oh, for real? Wait, what? Was that previous text supposed to be Sky saying I've been meaning to call you? Oh, for real? Wait, because this feels like we're having a conversation with ourselves. That's kind of confusing. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me come over. Yeah, if this is Sky talking, say Sky. What the hell? Very inconsistent, not only with the highlights, but the text. Very weird. Anyway, thank you for letting me come over. Figured we needed to catch up. Yeah, that makes it looks like I'm talking. Like, thanks for letting me come over to my own house. <laughs> we talked a lot that afternoon. About all things, big and small. It was comforting to know it wasn't just me that felt a little out of it every now and then. It's good to talk about things sometimes, even if you don't really want to. Sure, sure. Whoa, it's getting dark already. Oh, now it shows Sky talking. Okay. Right you are. I better be off. Take care, Cora. Oh, that's my name, huh? Remember to call me. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Bye, Cora. Wait. Again! This is Sky talking! Why does it not... It makes it look like I'm saying bye to myself. <laughs> uh, sorry. I don't mean to sound so exacerbated, but it's just... You know, it's a visual novel. These these little things are important. So it doesn't take you out of, like, the really cool story. And I am kind of appreciating this, but those little things, like, they might seem minor, but they... It feels like, you know, stubbing your toe. Like, those are really important to get right. Anyway, wait. What's that on the doorstep? Alright. Click it. Huh? Did Sky drop something? Let's take a look. Cora and Alice. Isn't that... me? 2013. Well, I guess I'll keep it. We can maybe return it to her or something. Cora and Alice. 2013. That's odd. Feels vaguely familiar, I guess? Do we have a bad time? We forgot about it or something like that? Trauma? I don't know. I'll hold on to it just in case. Okay, do I... Oh, am I supposed to go to the arrow or something? Alright. Oh wait, maybe there's something else to interact with there? Ah. Damn, it's getting late already. It was nice. We ended up talking for... hours. Alright, so where the hell's Luna? Oh, is this a menu or something like that? That's kind of weird that the, the menu... The menu should always be in the upper right corner, like, absolute positioning. It shouldn't be something that you have to scroll up to. It should, it should be moving with the screen or something. Anyway. Uh, let's check the bag. Is it just because, like, I'm not playing it in full screen or something? No, it has the same issue even when I play it in full screen. Okay, just wanted to know if there was some sort of weird aspect ratio going on. Alright, there's me. Looking whatever. As it melts into the horizon, so do the day's worries. Sometimes I wish I could watch it disappear from view entirely. Just sometimes. Uh, bolt window? What do you mean, bolt? You make it sound like it's some sort of, like, zombie infestation. You're putting up metal bars and bolting it. Uh, leave open. Just for once, I'd like to watch the sunset. Is that such a crime? I'm just one person. The universe won't fall apart because of me, right? I guess not. Right? 
Whoa, what the f- What the hell's going on? Wait, what? What just happened? Game over? W was that supposed to be something bad that I did? What? I- Well... I'm kind of intrigued by why I die, and that kind of makes me want to go back to play it, I suppose. I'll leave it here for now, because I feel like I've gotten my fill and I only have give like 10 minutes to each game. Kind of a weird one, like, uh, I want to like the game, it's very stylish, I like the moody atmosphere of music, I really like the art, kind of like the text and stuff, um, but there's a lot of real, like, confusion with the gameplay, like, one, the highlights are kind of, like, inconsistent, sometimes highlightable objects aren't highlighted, also there's certain elements like the menu and the go back button you have to actually scroll to get them when they should just be on the screen at all times uh like this like this right here this menu return to checkpoint and main menu it, it's staying it's absolutely positioned on the screen no matter when i'm scrolling all of the other elements like the go back arrow the menu in the top right corner those should also be have absolute positioning and i don't know why they do it's very odd um Anyway, yeah, like I said, really cool moody game, but um, the highlights are inconsistent, the text is inconsistent, because when someone's talking, sometimes it made it look like we were talking to ourselves or something like that, unless that's done on purpose or something, and I have no idea what that end thing was. Do we die for some reason? There, there's probably something deep going on, I suppose, but I don't... I don't... Anyway... <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened there. We were just like, yeah, let's just watch the sunset. A really cool thing to happen. And then all of a sudden we're toast, I guess. I don't freaking know. Maybe it's... Maybe it's that that was supposed to be like an allegory for... Or a metaphor for suicide or something like that. I have no freaking idea. Maybe I'll come back and check this out. That was really, really confusing. Anyway. Intriguing, though. I'll come back and check it out. Alright, next up is Bounce Back by Killed by a Pixel, a boomerang adventure inspired by Zelda. Alright, let's check it out. A game by Killed by a Pixel, Bounce Back. WASD move, mouse aim, click throw, space dash. Okay, can we move like this or... I guess we can't move right now. Uh, click to throw. Okay. We only got one boomerang, and then spaces to dash. Oh, now we can move. Okay. It was kind of weird because I was hitting WASD at the beginning, but we were frozen. I guess it wasn't until I tried throwing the boomerang that it allowed us to uh, move. Hang on, can I like intentionally move away from... Oh, my boomerang keeps trying to home to me. Oh, but eventually it does fall onto the ground. Okay. Interesting. Can I cut down these uh, leaves? Okay, that's neat. Oh, get back here. I don't know what the donut looking thing is. Is that like another special arrow or something? Alright, well it's pretty cute so far. I like cutting down the boomer the bushes down with the boomerang more than I like cutting down a uh... Oh, are those coins? Jeez, I only have two coins, buddy. Jeez. Alright, creepazoid. Oh goodness! Aw, oh, man, I didn't actually mean to do that. I was just curious because Zelda Link's Awakening is all about stealing stuff from the shopkeeper. Well, I guess I screwed myself. Not like I was going get, to get enough coins to be able to get anything from that guy anyway. Let's go in the portal. Let's see what else we got. Okay, level one. All right. Whoa, now I'm moving so slow. Oh, is it because I'm in some sort of sand or something? Okay, I see the footprints kind of indicate that. Okay, interesting. Oh, cool. I like that I I like that I can hit them when it's coming back, and I also like that I can uh, hook items with the boomerang. That's a uh, that's very nice. It's multi-purpose. All right. Am I supposed to kill these guys, or can I just leave them well enough alone? Hmm. I'm not seeing any obvious exits, so maybe I'm supposed to kill all of them. Let's see. Hiya. Yep. I guess I was supposed to kill all of them. 
Come to me, my boomerang. Now these things... So these things can also be destroyed, but they're a bit tougher. They make my boomerang recoil like that. All right. A little bit... Ah, oh, man, I gotta freaking hit through all these rocks. It's kind of annoying because the boomerang gets stunned whenever you hit a rock, so you gotta wait all that time for it to come back. Uh-oh, Paul's voice. Get him, get him. We don't have the microphone. Well, I do have a microphone in front of me, so you'd think I'd be able to kill Paul's voice by yelling! But this, it doesn't work like that. This is all boomerang. Just think of it as the American version of Zelda, which didn't have the microphone. <laughs> all right. Get him, get him, get him. Ah, it's annoying that they can jump over it. Annoying in a good way, of course. It's nice that uh, the enemy variety is there. Ah, oh, man, didn't this game have music initially? It's so quiet now. Kind of wish there was some cool tunes. I mean, Zelda always has some cool tunes, yeah? All right, next level, I suppose. But hang on, let me check up here. We didn't check out this square. Oh, another one of these guys. It's still too expensive! What are you, crazy? <laughs> Alright, moving on. Well, it seems like a pretty decent game so far. I'd say my only complaint with it right now is that it's pretty good, but I feel like right now I'm playing more more of like a demo or like a proof of concept than I am like a full game, I suppose. Oh my god, these guys are really annoying because they can just turn around so fast. Ah, come on! They should have a little bit of time where they keep going in a certain direction. So I can... Oh, but they turn around instantly! Jeez. Ah, oh, come on. Just... Yes, keep... Ah, oh. oh, they turn around way too fast! What the hell? I'm trying to bullfight them by, like, having that... Ah, oh, damn you. Alright, let's try restarting. So am I chasing that guy? Is that the main objective or something? Oh, warps! That's, a uh, very nice. Thank you for that. Alright, use a warp zone. That's cool. It looks like the worlds... Are they randomized, I guess? I can't quite tell. Or did we just start on a different spot? Oh, I think it is that we just started on a different spot. Oh, no, 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 no. I think they are randomized. Okay, come on. Ah! How am I supposed to fight these guys? These guys are really friggin' frustrating to fight. Oh, now I was able to hit them, but... Ugh. I guess I need to wait for them to do a big charge. That's the only time they have enough leeway. I really... I keep trying to, like, click, hoping that I can kind of, like, force pull my, uh, boomerang towards me, but unfortunately it seems like it is not the case. No! He stole my heart piece or something. Alright, moving on. Come back, my boomerang. Where are the enemy? Wait, what was that? There was like a... There was a red thing in there. I'm not sure what that was. Alright, let's see if we can take out the slant. Jeez! So many. Like, these enemies, I think, are really tough. Having to face four of them almost immediately, I feel like it's enough of a challenge just facing one of them. Facing all of these guys immediately, the difficulty, I feel, it spiked way too high all of a sudden. It was, like, pretty easy and doing a nice gradual curve, and now all of a sudden, boom! Difficulty has spiked crazy upwards all of a sudden. Little bit of an annoyance. All right. Like, I feel like we, sh we should be dealing maybe with one shield guy, but I should still just be dealing with, like, these slimes and stuff like that, because at least those are kind of fun to fight. The shield guys are just annoying, because it feels like it's just an exercise in patience more than it is skill. Just waiting for them to goddamn turn around so I can take a hit at them. All right, turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That turn. Ah, oh, God. Am I supposed to, like, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I should, like, throw it past them, and then... Okay, maybe, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Throw it over them, and then hit them on the way back. Maybe that's what it kind of wants. Bit awkward, but it works. Okay. Okay, that kind of works. If if that's what was intended, that, that kind of works. 
Again, I would kind of prefer not having to deal with so many of these guys, because that is a big, still a big difficulty spike. Even if I did figure out that I'm supposed to throw it past them and hit them with the retraction, because that's still pretty difficult to pull off, especially when I'm dealing with all this mud and stuff in the way. I, ah, damn it! All right, one more try. One last try, we'll see if we can get past these guys. It's really, really rough, though. We almost have enough money, though. Ah, damn it! Throw it past him, and hit him on the rebound. Okay. Whoops. Throw it. Okay, throw it past, hit him on the rebound. Ah. Throw it past, hit him on the rebound. Throw it past, hit him on the rebound. I really wish these guys only had like one health point or something. Ah! That is just so annoying to deal with. Okay, I'll stop there for now. Um, it's not too shabby. Nice little, uh, nice little game. Like, uh, I like the boomerang mechanics, and I do like if that was the intention to deal with the shield guys to kind of throw it past them and hit them retraction. So it does feel quite satisfying. I feel like it still is lacking a little bit. I feel like it has a really good core. I feel like this has a solid engine, but it's just kind of lacking a little bit. Like, it's so silent, there's no, like, music except for this intro part. Um, I feel the difficulty spikes a bit too early. I feel like the story isn't quite fully explained. I can see that it's that thief and he's running off with something, I suppose, but uh, actually, Actually, that kind of worked. Never mind. I thought maybe if I took too long reading this, I there was a chance that the player wouldn't even see the thief. He would be going too fast. But actually, it looks like he waits for you until you get here, then he runs off, letting you know that I guess you're chasing after him, I suppose. So actually, that's pretty good. So I stopped myself from that complaint. But uh, still, I feel like it's a solid core, but it might need a little bit more to it to make it a little bit less frustrating. And it might just need a little bit of extra pizzazz to it. Music, maybe more sound effects, maybe more uh, effects, I don't know. But uh, it does seem quite nice. And if you do keep building on it, I feel like it could become something pretty big. So yeah, nice job. All right, next up is Dark Soil by Overboy. Winner of Ludlum Dare 41 out of 3,000 plus entries, Dark Souls meets a garden game. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's check it out. Broken Arms Incorporated. I used to be a warrior, fighting and beating huge mosquitoes, giant five it looks like, it's, the font's kind of weird, it's throwing me off, giant skeletons and other odd monsters, slowly dodging enemies, <laughs> but I'm tired of constantly being a hero, I just want to retire, enjoy a, enjoying a simple life, being a simple person, like a gardener, hey, don't insult gardeners, <laughs> replace my sword with a fork, my shield with a watering can, this is my life now, okay, okay. Dark, the dark soil, alright, cool, and there's our guy roaming about with his little watering can. He said he gave up his sword for the plowshare, but it looks like he hasn't given up his armor. <laughs> well, let's see. Alright, select a seed with the inventory key or the mouse wheel. Okay, so I can scroll. Plant the seed on the dirt. What do you mean by dirt? I guess this is dirt, but... That's more of a path. Is it more this stuff? Is this dirt? Wait, what? The text is overlapping. I can't read what it says. You cannot... Uh, I assume it says you cannot plant here. Okay, um... Here? On the path? No. Uh... Here? Oh! Okay, that was weird. Oh, I guess I, even though I can aim at another spot, I guess I can only plant it 
where I actually am or something. Okay, what are the plants that make it grow? Select watering can, two. Okay, take it. Oh, now I can aim, okay. Like that, right? All right, just keep sprinkling it, very nice. All right, plants give souls you can use to level up. Be careful they spawn deadly mobs. Yeah, it would be kind of nice if the game kind of paused so I could read that before I need to smite them. Hey, not bad. You just picked up a new seed. Let's grow your garden. Now, am I supposed to kill? No, I guess I'm not supposed to kill this thing. I guess that stays there. All right, I'm still getting used to that whole fact that I can't plant where I click, but I can water where I click, I guess. Well, actually, I guess I can't water where I click. I don't know why I have this mouse... Mouse cursor is kind of confusing me, because I can't really... I'm limited by this range, and the mouse cursor doesn't really reflect that. And we've planted those seeds. We're picking up... Oh, the... Picking up the diamonds are seeds. Ooh, item up! Ah, I couldn't read it! Uh, hopefully it was just fluff text. That wasn't important. Okay, uh, plant more, I guess. Plant more, 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 more. Alright, more, 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 more. I'm trying to plant, man, hang on! Oh, I'm out of, I didn't realize. Alright, sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. That's right, use up that mana bar. Oh, jeez, was this a good idea? Maybe it wasn't. I'm not quite sure what the objective is. Whoa, I gained the chainsaw. Whoa, okay, so I guess now I do more, my melee is more damage now. I didn't even think I picked up that chest. I, w I didn't think I was close enough. Okay, let me water these things a bit more. It's just kind of weird, because we're planting these things, and if this was like a harvest moon, you would think planting it would be a good thing, but all it's doing is creating monsters that hurt me, so it's kind of... The objective is working against me. I'm kind of confused. I mean, based on what the game is saying, I assume I need to keep growing these things, but it seems kind of counterintuitive. Oh yeah, I'm leveling up, I didn't realize. Is that every time I plant a plant that I level up or something? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what my long-term goal is. I guess I'll just keep planting as much as I can to see what happens. Die, die, die. Alright, level up. Oh, and it said it granted me a gift, I think it said. Let's check that out after planting some things here. Alright. Water, 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 water. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I can just hold it down. Okay, that's very nice. Another level up. Very nice. Oh, but I can't hold down the attack button. I can hold down the watering, but not the attack button. What do we got here? You gain the rake plus two. Well, is that better than the chainsaw? Yeah, what the hell? I got downgraded. Now I'm just doing one damage instead of two. That's a bit of a bummer. Well, whatever. Okay, I guess I just need to keep planting until I take over probably this whole garden, I guess. We'll just keep trying that. All right, water, water, water. Starting to get used to the range of my weapons now. It was initially confusing. I guess the crosshair is just to be taken as, you know, an aiming advisement, but not exactly where things will be landing. <laughs> water, water, water. Thank you. Screw you, enemies. Oh man, I'm really getting hurt. Hopefully this has some health or something. Okay, the fork plus two. So that's another weapon, but doesn't seem to be particularly much better. Well, whatever. Oh, and I got my health back. Was that because... I'm not sure why I got my health back. Oh, I didn't realize. Ooh, more seeds up here that I didn't get before. Okay, water these. Real simple life. Whoop. Okay, we just need to stand in the pond to recover our water. Alright, water these. Watering while rolling about. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, come on. Nope, oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Get him, get him, get him. I can't attack the plants, can I? No, it doesn't seem like it. Let's get some water back. Oh, man. I'm gonna die. I gotta get away from my own friggin' plants. But I keep lunging at them, unfortunately. That kind of throws me into harm's way. Okay, just gotta be strategic. All right. 
careful. Ah, no. Ah. You died. Ah, uh, do I have to start all over, I suppose? Level reach, 33. Souls farm, 1051. Ah, uh, I guess I do need to start over. Okay. Well, I'll play a little bit more of it just to see if we can do things differently. But I think I got the gist of it. I wonder what the, uh, the ending for this would be, I suppose. Die. Thank you, another seed. So those... things that appear from the ground, those vines snatching at you, is that the plants doing that to me? It seems like even the plants, I guess, can fight back. Water, water, water. Die, 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 die. Alright. Alright, gotta level up. Oh, that's kinda weird. Looks like there was a little bit of a bug. I, I think this was made for Love and Dare, so it was really fast, but I saw that, um... It looks like the animations and input, despite the game world being paused, my animations were actually not paused. No, it's nothing, you know, that big. Yeah, like right there, it was paused, but when I was clicking, I could hear the sound effect for my swipe. So it's kind of like a pseudo-pause, but uh, that's fine, that's fine. It's an indie game that was made really fast, I'm not gonna <laughs> rip the game apart for something like that. Lord knows my games probably have that very same mistake as well. <laughs> and I probably took a lot more time to make them as well, so... Egg on my face. <laughs> Alright. Keep planting. Got some water. Yeah, like that. It's paused, but I could still swing it around like that, for example. And I suppose that's just because there was no, like, code on the rotation of objects based on the cursor. It doesn't freeze when time delta time freezes, because it's probably just using positioning, it probably isn't using a turn based on delta time, and blah 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 blah. Look at me trying to sound all smart. Just, hey, the chainsaw! Nice. Although it's kind of weird, it doesn't look like the weapons have a significant difference between them. I thought once I switched to something else, other than the chainsaw, I was actually being downgraded, but I just did some swipes with the chainsaw right there, and they were only hitting for one, so... Maybe it's all bad. Alright, two, three, four, three. Got it, got it. Oh, gotta find a pond. Oh man, I didn't realize I can keep going down and the map is this big? Oh, that kind of makes me feel like... Yeah, I'll just stop here for now. That is huge! I didn't think the area was this big and there was this much area to plant seeds on. That seems like it could go on for a long time. That's, that's a bigger commitment than I was ready to get to, so I'll stop here for now. A pretty cool game, like a cute little subversion and stuff like that. It's a little bit confusing, like I, I'm not... The progression, sense of progression, is a little bit weird. One, the scale, I think, is kind of maybe a bit too big for a small game like this. I didn't realize we had so much land to seed. And two, it feels like the progression is a bit weird because I'm kind of generating my own problems. I'm leveling up, but leveling up doesn't really feel that great. It doesn't really seem to change me that much. I assume it is changing my stats a little bit, but, like, uh, I don't know. It just feels kind of like defeatist in a way, or futile, which does fit with a Dark Souls type game, so, well, I can't blame you for being on brand, I suppose. Anyway, it's a pretty solid game, cute and cool. Alrighty, but we shall move on for now. Alright, next up is Mayor Outbreak by Fat Leech. You're the mayor of a city hit by a major virus outbreak. Oh, I wonder what virus they're talking about. Okay. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What we got is load times, but not too shabby. It's going fast. <laughs> mayor outbreak. You're the mayor of a city hit by a major virus outbreak. Close down buildings to slow the spread of the virus. Don't close too many buildings, though, as workers are the people bringing money in. 
Help your denizens fight the virus by giving them protective gear and they'll reward you. Invest money in the search for a cure, then distribute said cure until the virus is eradicated. Alright, a lot to take in, but I like it. Seems like it could be a fun balancing act. Let's see what we got. Okay, uh, what do we do? Um, is this the entire map or- Oh! I'm this guy? I'm moving around. I thought I was going to be in some sort of Sim City God view or something like that. I'm this character moving about. Okay. What do these pills do? I'm walking over them. They don't seem to do anything. E to close the building. Okay, do I do that? Who are all these guys? Why are they just running at the trees? I'm not quite sure what to do. I'm picking up this money. Now these things, is this like plague or something? If I touch this, do I get infected or something? Oh dear. Yeah, it looks like I've been infected and I guess I'm dying now. Oh, do I touch one of these pills? I see. Ah, but what the hell, I just... Dang it. Or maybe the pills aren't good enough? Maybe I need to touch the soap? Oh man, I'm screwed. What the hell? I'm not having any friggin... Now that I'm infected, I guess, am I just friggin' dead or something? Well, everybody's dying. Uh, press four. Keep donating bloody coins. I need a cure. Oh, gee. Ah, I just, I feel like I just got cured for a moment. I stopped dying, but okay. Well, this sucks. Um, I guess I just need to keep picking up coins. This seems like a lot to take care of. Like, like I said, I was kind of really thrown off. I was really expecting some sort of... Uh, oh, when I pick up the pills, it doesn't cure my ailment, it just gives me HP. Okay. Yeah, I was really expecting like a more strategy-based games, but having to walk around and interact with all these things, I guess it's kind of nice, but it's also kind of annoying because I, I would kind of prefer a bird's eye view so I can kind of monitor the whole situation, I guess. What are these hand symbols? I don't know what that's all about. Okay, we got masks. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to walk up and give this person like a mask or something? Hey you, stop moving. Ah, well, it's... Hey, hey, ah, whatever. Okay, buy medical supplies. Uh, gloves? Oh, that's what those are, gloves? Okay, I thought it was like a pickup symbol or something. Well, I have all these things. I have a glove, a mask, and... What should we call it? I, oh, jeez. Am I just gonna get infected here? Yeah, of course I am. God damn it. Oop, sorry. Oh, man, do we have a fatality right there? Wait, did I just give someone something? He said thanks, but... How do I... How do I do things? I feel like I'm just dying. I don't really know what to do. Should I just keep wandering around and closing buildings? Alright, I'm just gonna keep picking up coins and taking them back to the cure place. Maybe that's what I need to be doing? I really don't know. I just feel so lost and so helpless. I mean, there's virus clouds everywhere and I don't know how to interact with people when I only have a limited view. Feels very, and I think I'm just gonna die right now, yeah. As I'm so confused, I don't know what to do. And there was no tutorial or anything like that. I'm, I'm freaking lost. Oh, what the hell? And can I not restart? I'm hitting buttons and it's not doing anything. All right, let me try refreshing the game maybe. Let me try reading the description to see if we can find something. Okay, wads to move, hold shift to run, JKL to throw items? What? I never even thought of that. Comma period to zoom in out. Oh, one, two, three, four, E for building interaction. Okay, let's try this again. All right, and now I know about throwing stuff. Well, cure, have all of my money. Oh, I need two coins, okay. So I picked up that, do I hit, what was it, JKL to throw, what, do I like throw, oh, okay, that, 
That would have helped. I was trying to walk up to people to give them items to help them. But, uh, oh, uh, well, I guess I did it there. Did I? I don't know. Also, I can't really see the ramifications of... It's all like, make sure you don't close buildings because, you know, they need to make money from you, but... Money just seems to be found on the street, so I'm not quite sure what to do here. Alright. Keep picking up these pills. Hopefully the virus wears off on me shortly. Let's keep looking for money. I guess that's my main objective. Keep looking for money. And while we're at it, I'll try to maybe pass items to people that I pass by. Oh, this is friggin' hopeless. This whole place is super infested. Hey, this just... Uh, here, throw the mask at you. God damn it. You, take the mask. Okay. Well, now I die, because I had to walk through that friggin' hellish cloud. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have. I guess I was being stupid, but I'm just kind of frustrated because I'm just blocked in by everything. I feel like I need to just plow through the middle, but... Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, there goes somebody, unfortunately. You over there, take this mask. God damn it, I miss. Oh, and now I'm infected again, and well, just, that's weird. My HP zero, but I didn't die. I guess it's uh, incorrectly coded that you die once you're a negative number or something. And I can't restart or anything. Jeez. This is... Alright, one more try. I think it has, like, a good idea to it and everything. It's just... With no tutorial and... It just feels so helpless. I don't know... How the heck to make through this. Thanks, mate. Thank you. I guess I'll try to be more careful now, or something. I mean, it's a very ambitious, kind of impressive game, but it's just like... Man, I don't know what to do. God damn it, will you people stop moving? I'm trying to give you masks! And sometimes they just pick up masks without my intervention, and they still thank me for some reason. Alright, you, over there, take a map. God damn it, I really wish the hitboxes when I threw things were a bit more forgiving. Alright, uh, dang it. Yeah, oh, how did I get infected? I didn't want this. Who are you, Adam Jensen? Screw you. Take the goddamn soap. I only died. Oh, give me your stuff then, I'm giving it to someone else. You, take all this stuff. Alright, very nice. Well, I'm dead, because I've contracted it again, because everything's goddamn hopeless. <laughs> Sheesh. You, pick up that mask. Thank you. Alright, give me money, because I'm being such a good guy to you. Okay, good. We got 30 coins. Let's just try to be careful, avoid the clouds. Oh, what the hell? I didn't hit a cloud, did I? Why am I infected now? Ah. Uh. Oh, and even if I have 30 yeah. coins, that's nothing. Well, I guess I'm dead. Ah. Uh, an interesting game. Just seems a bit, I don't know, overly complex, and the way those people are just crashing down in there seems a little bit buggy, and just too much going on to take in. It's just, I don't know. It's really confusing. I think... There's a good idea and design in there, though. It's just, uh... I don't know. I I'm too confused to make it through at the moment. <laughs> Alright. Next up is Untamia's Fantasy by Levi Ramirez. An open-world adventure game that fits right in your browser. Alright. Been looking forward to this one. Let's check it out. All right, we got the old Game Boy scroll. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
A guardian spirit once watched over Untamia in order to keep peace. Untamia? Untamia? I don't know. However, a terrible entity fueled by malice was making its way onto the land. In an attempt, in a at in an attempt to protect Untamia and its people, the spirit lashed back at the evil. The evil ones split the spirit into four and plunged the land into chaos. The three lesser souls would wander the land. I gotta speed up. Looking for an artifact to attach itself to. The other, the other would wait for many years in order to manifest itself into something far greater. Now many years have passed and a hero will awaken under a patch of flowers. He must find the, the rip off Undertale. Sorry, I can just play. He must find the final three artifacts of the. I wasn't done reading. Eh, whatever. Okay, so how do I play? K to start, so I'm assuming because of that, it's probably not wads. It's probably arrow keys. Okay. Let's check the settings really fast. Okay. L to return. Okay, so it must be K and L are the two buttons, I guess. Uh, let's hit it. Alright, wander about. Well, if I know my Zelda, I probably need to enter the first cave I see. No. Oh. No friendly old man yet. Maybe I was wrong. Hmm, can't go into the water. Oh, sword in the ground. Okay, I guess my Zelda instincts did pull off. So what's K do? Okay, a nice little swipe. That's good. Although it's kind of funny. The, the blur of the swipe looks a bit like, I don't know, polygony and blocky. It doesn't really look like I'm swiping. It looks like I'm like holding up like a shield or something like that momentarily. I don't know, I feel like that sprite, the the blur sprite right there looks a little bit like bleh, but eh, it's fine, it's fine. I, I get the general gist. I feel like it just needs to be curved a bit and it doesn't seem to go to where the sword ends. It's just kind of a weird sort of uh, art thing. Okay, where do we go now? My Zelda instincts fail me here. I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Let's try up. Okay, acorn people. We'll just, you know, no need to kill them. Okay, we probably need to kill them, I suppose. The Saint Undertale. This... All right, a little heart. Okay, what do we got over here? Some coinage, I guess. Something over here. Oh, looks like a merchant. 12 and four, and I have one, sorry. And something else over here. Ah, oh, that's kind of annoying that this that the swing seems to It's really weird why it does that the swing seems to like uh, Favor a side instead of being like oh geez. I was a lot lower on health than I thought <laughs> Save and quit cute Yeah, like this I'm swiping down, but it's only covering a 90 degree angle. Usually you would think it would cover a 180 degree angle. That's kind of weird. Like, if I, oh, that's weird. I was able to, hang on. How did I do it? I was making him look down, but also swiping on the opposite side. Oh, how did I do that? Did I glitch it? Anyway, I guess, all right. I guess that's kind of all right, like, it's just a little bit confusing. Like I said, it was really annoying when I was trying to swipe this baddie. Whoa! Now he's- wait, why did he- why did he do it there for a moment? He was all of a sudden swiping to the right! See, like that. That was kind of annoying where I was swiping, but I wasn't able to hit the acorn. Uh, but that was really weird. Why did he- This 90 degree sword arc thing is, yeah, kind of- kind of annoying. I'll get used to it. At least I'll try to. But it's just a little bit odd. Were the old Zeldas like that? I don't feel like they were. Maybe they were? Dear Traveler, do you seek help from me? What? Sat did the text get cut off? Satamias and I'll speak? Is it like, it's Tamias and- Oh! Is that supposed to be five? And maybe Tamias is the currency? That's really- that doesn't look like a five at all. Uh, yes? You bring what I desire. Go southeast to find a cave. A large beast is guarding an artifact. Oh, okay. Thank you. Alright, southeast we go then. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Ooh, thanks for the heart. Yeah, I'm trying to refill a little bit. Let's see if we can get it. Thank you. 
Ah, I want to swipe to the right, but that's also kind of weird. A lot of the time, I'll press down and then right to swipe, and you can see right there, I'll press down, right, swipe, and yet I swipe downwards, even though I pressed right, like down, right, swipe, down, right, swipe. Yeah, if I do it, it the, the movement seems to kind of lag behind a little bit. I'll press like down, right, swipe, but if I press it fast, down, right, swipe, down, right, swipe. Sometimes it'll, whoa! Sometimes they'll just get totally stuck like that. Yeah, there's there's something going on. It was happening a lot in my other swipes, where it was kind of lagging behind my inputs. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit weird, a little clunky. Okay, this must be the big bad cave. Narrow Path Cavern. Yeah, well, how did it get that name? <laughs> okay, ow! Well, I guess that was an enemy. Oh, well. Damn it. <laughs> Let's conti- mm, I think continue is spelled wrong there. I went by it so fast I wasn't able to quite catch it. Take it down, nice. Alright, that must be the boss room. Oh, looks like maybe we need some firepower or something to light that. Alright, slimies. Alright, cool, cool. Hey buddy, what's up with you? The northern wall hides the secret where old bones rattle. Okay. Well, I guess I, I thought maybe he was talking about himself. Old man, old bones, but I guess not. Okay. So I guess that means we need to either blow up or poke at. Ah, again. I hate that when I point down, sometimes he favors the left side, sometimes he favors the right side. That's so annoying when dealing with these guys. All right, um, what should we call it? Yeah, we probably need to find a northern wall where there's skeletons or something decorating the area. Or maybe skeleton warriors, I don't know. <laughs> skeleton warriors, da na 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 No luck yet. Here's another room with some to- Oh yeah, that's kind of weird too. Right here, I'm pressing left, but, like, he won't turn left, I guess because he's against a wall, but that feels kind of weird that it's limiting like that. I feel like even if I'm pressed against a wall, if I press left, I want him to, you know, turn left like this. Like, left, left, yeah. Kind of, kind of weird. Very, very odd. Ah, I pressed left right there, I swear I was aiming left! Again, that kind of delays bugger- I'm sorry that I keep harping on about that, I don't mean to be like, you know, overly harsh, but it is what it is, like... I really wish, like, the controls, like, flowed a little bit better. Oh, skeleton. Okay, we might be in that room. Let me just clean it out. Ah, I was holding left! Right, take care of it. Okay, world bones rattle. Hmm, so I guess maybe we need a bomb or something. I guess it isn't enough just to have our sword. Unless maybe we just need to totally kill this guy. No, it looks like he keeps reviving. Oh, jeez. Okay, hang on. Oh, I didn't expect the, uh, that slime to stay dead. Oh, man. Trying to hit you guys. <laughs> Alright, we are. Ah, uh, I was hoping. I was hoping for a treasure chest by killing all those. Ooh, bams! Okay. Uh... Do I need to press, like, maybe, like, enter? Oh, there we go. I thought it was gonna open up an inventory screen, but I guess that works as well. I guess when you press enter, it just cycles through potential items. Ooh, what do we have here? A bag. I don't know what that does. I'm kind of afraid to hit L, but I guess I should. Oh, I bet it's, like, a fire powder or something, maybe? I was right. I guess that because we're, I just realized I'm locked in and the only potential clue I can see is these lanterns. So yeah, nice one. Not bad. Nice little puzzle to think through. Okay, let's try BAM. Hey, that old fart was right after all. What do we got here? Something? I don't know. Oh, it's just a bunch of money? I thought that was actually going to be important. Well, I guess money is important, but still, you know what I mean. 
Uh, well, I guess I'll try the powder here. Hopefully the powder is unlimited. Hey, now we're cooking. All right, is that 10 for 10 coins? Okay. Oh, in the last bag, maybe that was trying... Oh, are you a friendly thing? Hey, cutie, looks like you could use a hand. I don't know what this thing is. I can't really parse what I'm looking at. Is, like, are these the eyes and these the ears and he's got like a vegetable on his head? Oh wait, maybe this is the face and this is the chest? Is it a dude? Is it a lady? Is it a, uh, I'm trying to parse this, the face or the head or whatever it is. I don't know, it looks like some sort of like, like an eggplant crossed with a teapot or something? I, I really don't know. Anyway. Hey <laughs> there, feeling better? Yeah, I guess. What the hell are you? In the world in the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, what the hell are you? <laughs> I've been able to parse all the other sprite work in this game, but that one confuses me. Have we cleared everything else out in this place? I just want to check with the old man to see if he says something different. Northern Wall... No, he says the same stuff. It would be kind of cool if you changed to be like, I see you found it. Nice work. Or something. Alright, I guess this is boss time. Hey, Sandworm, maybe? Wait. Why is that moving when I'm pressing the arrow keys? Why am I able to control the boss? What the hell? <laughs> Why did my control scheme change where the boss was suddenly under my control? I mean, now I'm back to me, but that was really weird. Okay, so is this like a sandworm or a slime or something? I'm not quite sure. Is that a crown on top of its head, or is that like a mouth? Ow, son of a... Ah! Alright, there we go. Ow! This is kind of dangerous. He moves so erratically, it's kind of... It's very difficult to close the distance and fight this guy. My invulnerability doesn't last for very long. I might die from this. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh, is he picking up speed? Ah! Woo, 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 woo. Let's see if I can continue. Or continue. <laughs> However it was spelled. Ah, I just wasted some life right there by that stupid friggin' turret. Yeah, once again, left, right, up, down. Why am I able to do that? Really weird. I like the music, though. If I haven't already competed on the music. Very nice. Gives it that real... Feels like it's really captured that Game Boy aesthetic. Along with the graphics and everything, of course. Oh, I just get so frustrated with this guy. Because it's so kind of difficult to tell when I can hit him. And then he just turns around and runs into me. Because it should be that when I hit him, he gets like stunned or something so I'm free to retreat but it looks like stunning him sometimes it's just he just runs right into you and whoa geez let me just dodge that move along hey I can do a little jig I'll make him shake about just up down up down left right left right all right maybe I'm just hitting him too much all right it does seem to recoil when I hit him okay Maybe it's just if I hit him too much, or maybe I just shouldn't be attacking him near a wall, because then he won't get hit back far enough where I can retreat safely. I kind of wish I could tell when he was about to uh, fire a bullet. It's kind of... we're not able to see him actually charging up. Oh, actually, he does seem to kind of uh, munch his uh, hat in or whatever a little bit. It's a very short tell. But it does have a tell, so okay. Oh, jeez, I, I didn't even see the tell that time. It goes by way too fast, I think. Come on, come on, come on. God damn it, moves so radically. This is tough for a first boss. I know it does seem kind of like a simple boss. It's just a slime, but he just moves so quickly and so... Oh my god, this is rough. All right, I'll give this one more shot, because I really do want to beat at least one dungeon in this game. Just because I'm probably, you know, and I'll come back and probably try out the rest of them. Okay, I'm just going to move them all the way to the top. Maybe I can move them off the screen. Will that glitch it? Oh no, did I just freaking softlock myself? Oh, I'm an idiot. 
Why did I do that? Oh, at least it looks like I can commit suicide by uh, powdering myself. <laughs> well, I hope you appreciate the bug reporting. All right, continue. Or contain, maybe? Okay. This time, I will not force him out. I'll just push him up a little bit like that. Alright. Uh, get away from me! God, what was I supposed to do? This is... Ah, god damn it. Yep. Uh, come on. I just gotta be patient. I'm just trying to rush this because, you know, I want to review more stuff and potentially get more, but... Oh. It's like he keeps running away from me when I want him to approach me, and then when I want him to approach me, he just keeps running... Uh. Get over here! God damn it. There we go. No, 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 he's too close to the wall. I gotta be careful there. All right, go. Jeez! Come on. Oh, jeez! No, 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 don't get, don't get closer. All right, is he speeding up? He definitely seems to be speeding up. Hopefully that means we're getting real close. Come on. Ah, uh, this is just kind of frustrating. I wish he kind of moved in a more discernible pattern. This. Maybe he does have a pattern or something, but I just can't really grasp it right now. Get... Uh. Damn it! No, no, no! Come on, come on. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Pl ah, God, please! Damn it! Uh, I'll just save and quit for that. God damn it, that's annoying. I really wanted to beat that, but... My time is up, and I gotta move on to some of the other games, so I'll leave it there for now. But I will come back and probably check out this game. However, it is a little bit like, uh... I've liked a lot of the other Levi Ramirez games, you know, Gappy, for instance, but this one... It seems pretty cool at capturing the art, and the music, and the sounds and stuff. Its presentation is solid, but it's very kind of glitchy and frustrating to play. Like I said, like, the inputs are kind of slow to register. I don't like the kind of 90 degree sword arc instead of a 180 degree sword arc. And the fact that it's kind of, and yeah, the inputs are a bit delayed. That first boss was kind of a bit frustrating to fight. The, the first boss probably suffered from that thing where when you try to make a quick short game and you're your only playtester, you get used to the patterns and you know how to do it. So you're like, oh, this is so easy, I should make it even harder. But then you make it too hard, and then people like me get their ass kicked, I suppose, and... Eh, whatever. <sighs> game development. It's a crazy journey. Anyway, um... I'd love it if you would potentially polish up those bugs that I said. The weird thing about being able to control the boss, uh... You know, I'm not necessarily asking you to fix the sword arc, I wish you would, that would be great, but uh, being able to control the boss, the weird input delay, and some of those other bugs, that would be great if those could be fixed. And some of the typos, of course. Anyway, moving on. Alrighty, next up is Hugh Rage by Taikua. Is that it? Taikua. Love to see your high scores. Alright, is that like... Is that a description of the game? As in, it's about high scores and love? Or is that like a message from the author saying, I would love to see you play my game and see you get a high score or something? Anyway. Let's find out. Okay, what do we got? We got load times, but I will wait. Mm -hmm. A doozy. Wait, what? <laughs> well, that's one way to friggin' throw you into the lion's den. What the hell was I supposed to do? Okay, I think I saw that the mouse was registering some rotation, so hopefully a mouse does something. 
Okay, WASD seems to move me. It's kind of weird because uh, you're shaped like a triangle. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, it must be like an Asteroids game. So W must mean like go forward where like your jets are on like, you know, the bottom of the triangle or something. So it's like, and you like rotate around. But actually it seems just WASD, up, down, left, right, just directly. A little bit confusing, but I suppose that's a bit more simple for most people to get used to. Okay, I'm assuming mouse click shoots or something? Wait, really? I don't have a shoot? What about right click? Right click didn't do anything either. Okay, what about the arrow keys? Okay, arrow keys work as well. Z, X, C, spacebar, control, uh, enter, anything? Is this all I do? Just move around? I guess it's all right, but I mean, hate to break it to you, but I've already found the strategy. Just keep going in a circle. <laughs> well, okay, it'll probably mix things up for me, right? Feels like it's getting a little bit more difficult. Things are getting maybe faster. I'm not sure what the green blocks do. They seem to be neutral. They don't seem to hurt me. Oh, it seems to just be the orange. Orange hurts. Green doesn't do anything, but I guess they push you about. I guess that's their objective, to impede you. Red seems to hurt. I haven't checked orange. I think I was killed by an orange, but I'm not sure. So do I just keep moving like this? It's kind of weird because the uh, the screenshot for this had like a trail effect on it, and yet I'm not really having a trail right now. Maybe it builds up as I make progress, like snake or something? Okay, I did change color. Oh, and it does look like I do have a bit of a different trail now. Okay. I'm not quite sure what the mouse is for, because it is... The, the triangle is looking where my mouse is, but when I click, he doesn't seem to be, like, firing anything. Oh, I thought we were going to shift another color because the music shifted. That's weird. All right, well, I'll just keep moving in circles. Okay, we've shifted to white. Now we've got a significantly longer tail. It's cool, I guess. I, I wish there was a little bit more fanfare and pizzazz to this game. Like... While the music is nice, the gameplay is very... dry. <laughs> hmm. Is there something I'm missing? Let's look in the description, I suppose. Okay. Wads to move or arrow keys. Press escape to pause. Try to go between them. Go in a circle. The yellow guys destroy the other enemies. Oh, I didn't realize that. So the yellow guys are kind of on my side? Huh. I didn't realize. Okay, well, I guess it's kind of an alright game, like, you know, it's very simple, like, that isn't necessarily a bad thing, there, there are some very good, like, simple type games and stuff, like, you could say Tetris was a very simple game, but it's still incredible and everything, but this game, uh, I don't know, I kind of wish it had a bit more pizzazz to it, like, I wish there was, like, a cool effect, uh, when an enemy spawns in or something, like a little, like, poof, or like a portal effect or something like that. Um, I wish, like, maybe the game was, like, pulsing to the beat or something. Like, it's strongest, the strongest thing that the game seems to have to it is, uh, music right now. And you do seem to, like, shift colors in tune with the music, which is a nice little thing. But if the game, ah is all about the music. I wish there was more elements in tune with the music. Like I said, like, maybe, like, having the background, like, pulse, maybe having, like, all of, like, the enemies in your character, like, pulse to the beat, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. It just feels kind of like I'm just going in circles, and it's like, I guess that's kind of all right. Like, I'm just saying, like, if the music wasn't present, the game would not really have much to it. This... It feels like the music is kind of doing all the heavy lifting and nothing is really, you know, nothing else is doing. All the graphics are very dry, there's no real pizzazz to it. The most we get is this kind of trail effect. It is 
kind of addicting though, like it's not, you know, too shabby. Like, like I said, it's simple gameplay, but that isn't necessarily bad. It's kind of nice for this chase type thing, like, like when something appears right there, you gotta make like a quick reflex to dodge around it. I do feel like the way they spawn in instantaneously is kind of annoying and unfair. I would, I would like it if there was a bit more of like, you know, some sort of like FX that lets you know something's about to teleport into that spot. Like maybe like some little like particles like converge on the spot where the enemies are going to be or something. I don't know. And like I said, the music is strong. I would just love it if like, like games like Helltaker, Crypt of the Necrodancer, Super Hexagon, they're very like simple games and stuff, like particularly like Super Hexagon, but it, the visuals are really cool and it all helps it. It's kind of like a really cool like Winamp skin or something like that. This thing is just kind of very dull and I'm not really getting any significant progression. I, I like how, uh, we're getting like more and more quote unquote powerful as the music. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, excuse my language, but that spawn was really unfair. He spawned right on top of me. There was no way I could have anticipated that. Um, da -da. and like I said, it's really weird that he looks at where the mouse cursor is, but that has no effect on gameplay. Usually if he faces the mouse, you would think it's like, oh, he's going to shoot in that direction, or he's going to dash in that direction, or, but nothing. There's nothing. Anyway, I'll give it one more go. See how far I can get. Just go in circles. Well, I tried to weave through right there. Okay, that was really short. I'll give it one more college try. Ah, oh, jeez spawned real fast. Like, in the interest of fairness, I know I am saying that the spawns are really unfair, but it does look like you kind of recognized that limitation in that it seems like they only start to track you after like about like one second has gone by. Like they kind of stand still for a full second then go after you after spawning. But still I wish it was a little bit more than that, I guess. Also, it's kind of weird. You tran you transition from green to blue, but transition into white takes a long time. I'm kind of stuck in this blue phase for ah fucking. Uh. Like I said, like the music transitioned just like a few seconds ago there, and it's like that's when it should have went to white, and then when it usually transitions to white, that should have been transitioning to another color, and so on and so forth. Anyway. I'll stop there for now. Um, it's not a bad idea, and it seems like it could be kind of cool, but right now I'd just say it's a little bit too plain. Like, not too, not too shabby, but right now it's just very, very plain. I think, like, uh, this is one of those games where it's very simple, and I think if you, like... Hang on, there's like a YouTube video about this. It's called like, Juice It or Lose It. A talk by Martin Johansson and Petri Perho. I'm probably pronounced their names completely wrong, but Juice It or Lose It. I recommend looking at a video like that because I think that would really help. That's essentially what I'm talking about, where a simple game like this isn't necessarily bad. But right now, it's looking very low effort. It's looking very dry. But if you were to just add a lot of fanfare to it, you know, like explosions when things spawns in, um, more cool effects, more cool like powers to dash about, more like uh, everything, like all of the elements of the game pulse to the beat. Maybe there's a more exciting background instead of this blank black background, maybe more elements, maybe more enemies start spawning in as you get further, um, so on and so forth. It's not a bad idea, it's just, uh, I think it needs a little bit more work, but not a bad starting point, I would say. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me get back, okay. Uh, brunk. All right, moving on. Okay, next up is Josh Dumb by Catalyst. Wait, is that what it is? Oh no, it's Catalystal. 
Okay, I thought that was an exclamation point. <laughs> a strange top-down strategy game with puzzle elements. Alright, let's check it. Cat page. Okay. What the hell am I looking at? Alright, I'm in for some sort of weird trip. Okay, that's Josh. Josh Dumb. Is he pointing at the volcano or is he pointing at Josh Dumb? Game by Catalyst 1 or Catalystal? Click anywhere to start. F10 for full screen. We'll just stick Hi, with my name this. Is Josh? Haha. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Josh, can what? you get me some milk from the fridge? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, thanks Josh. Step, 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 step. What? Into the hole. What am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to like, uh, oh. Oh, there's an arrow pointing right on the ground? Okay, okay, I gotta go right. Oh, hey look, it's the fridge, gonna open it, oh. oh. Can I play? <laughs> uh, Josh? Alright, I guess this is just doing an intro cutscene. Our house. That was really bad. Again. Yeah, okay, what? but we did. Gotta act with the Josh defense system now. Huh? <laughs> Josh will keep running and turn around when he hits an arrow. He'll stop running when he falls in the hole. Oh, okay. So that whole thing about the arrow and turning, that was kind of like a subtle... Uh, tutorial done through the cutscene. Interesting. So is this kind of like a Lemmings or Gyromite type game or something? So right click? Is that, we right click here? Does that spawn him? Okay, so that's Josh. So he'll turn and he goes into the hole. And Josh is Josh. Okay, I guess it worked. The layout above shows you supplies. Press 1 to select an object to place. Well, I assume you mean press 1 to select this object, whereas you'd hit 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I assume. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Press 1 to select an object. Well, he's gonna start there, and I presume he goes to the right, so we want to do that. Wait, what? I'm clicking. Did I not do it? 1. Do I right-click? Wait, no! Well, he's dead. <laughs> Ow, pain. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, what the hell? I'm not done placing things. Oh, now it's working. What the hell? Wait, why did... Josh did not win. Wait, I'm not quite sure how I did that. Right click to continue. Okay. Uh, Press E to rotate your object. Keep pressing 1 to cycle through your supplies. Oh, so I was wrong. I don't hit 2. Press 3 to switch to your finger, and click to destroy blocks? Wait, I don't understand. I'm pressing 1, but my items aren't coming up. Why can't I place my friggin' items right now? What the hell's going on? 1, I'm just stuck with this. Alright, do I right click? Oh, I have to start Josh in order to actually put down objects? That's kind of confusing. Alright, whatever. Um, so, I do this? Is that good? And then, wait, no, maybe I shouldn't do that. Three, click, wait, restart. Oh, is it just, <laughs> Josh, Josh, Josh? That's so weird. Usually a game would allow you to, oh, why does it, why when I hit restart does he immediately start running? I would think it would start me again from that kind of planning phase or something where I can put things down, but I guess this game doesn't really have a planning phase. Instead, it wants you to scramble to place the objects down immediately while Josh is running. Okay, I guess I get it, but it's kind of weird. Okay, so I think what I need to do is place a spring down. Um, oh right, I need to... Ah, damn it! Alright, uh, place a spring there. And then... Oh right, I need to rotate like that. Oh, maybe that doesn't work. Alright, R to restart. Go down, and then turn. Three, ba ba ba, spring. Okay, so I guess that's what I'm supposed to do? The shadows are really off. Did you see that when he jumped? His shadow should have been, you know, here, but his shadow for some reason was all the way down here, which didn't make any sort of geometric sense. 
I don't know, this game's kind of weird. Alright. I guess I get the gist. It's just kind of annoying that I can't place my structures down before... I don't know, whatever. Press 2 to switch to your shield. I would love it if I could do that during this planning phase! The shield won't work if it gets too close to the turret. What? Alright, I guess I'll just hit it and see what happens. Wait, why do I have a spring? We don't actually have a spring on us, do we? So why is that being selected? Also, what is he dying from? Oh, if he runs into these blocks, he gets hurt? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that there was gonna be stuff underneath it. Alright, hang on. So, we need to do this, and then we need to switch to shield? Does it do something like this? Oh, I get it. If you press the shield this close, it's like gold tempting. I, I do like how the, uh, there's a sound effect and the icon changes when you get close like that. That's a very nice little bit of UI design right there. Very nice. Okay, so three, block, ah, uh, goddammit. Okay, three, ba ba ba, block, block, one. Ah, it was a bit too late. Okay. Okay. Alright, uh, and then one, and then three. Ah, damn it! Uh, the buttons are kind of a little bit... I'm not used to them. Okay. Gotcha. Josh wins. Ah, oh, no, I didn't mean to... Oh, that was stupid. Hit the wrong goddamn button. Alright, block. That's fine. Place that down. Switch back to shield. I'm getting used to it now. It's just the buttons are a little bit confusing. I kind of wish, like, there was a one, like, one right here with, like, arrows pointing to this entire thing. And then r right below this it would say like two, and then right below this was this would say three, so I could kind of memorize it. It's kind of confusing. Shift for menu. Josh. 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 <laughs> okay, that's pretty cute. I like that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, back and forth. So we've got a spring. Mm. Right click. Can I destroy these blocks? Wait, it doesn't seem like I can. Oh, crap. Hang on. Uh, spring. Then spring, maybe? Then... Nope, maybe not. Uh, I'm not sure what to do here. Is it rotate? And then, like that? Okay, and then maybe up like this? Ah, he can run into that wall and die? Okay, I guess I need to be faster. It's a little bit confusing with the arrows. They kind of have a curve to them, but, well, actually, let me check something before I do that. Um, do that. Oh, that was really slow, hang on. All right, do that here, rotate, point it that way, get ready with the spring. Okay, now switch back to this. Ah, jeez, right. And then I needed to get the shield out. That's a lot to respond to. Like I was saying, like the arrow, it should probably just be a straight arrow instead of the whole curve arrow. Because when I place down that curve arrow right there, the way it starts on the left kind of makes me think, oh, if I place it there, he'll only go upwards if he comes at it from the left side, but that's not the case. He'll also go upwards if he comes at it from the right side. So, that's kind of confusing. It should probably just be straightforward. Alright, so I gotta do this, and then do this, and then do this, and then do this, and then we get rid of these blocks, and now we put the shield on. Nice! Alright, cool. We're making it. We'll try maybe a few more levels. It is, it is pretty fun. Initial clunkiness and weirdness was really kind of hard to get used to, but now that I'm coming to grips with it, it's actually some pretty good fun. That's ow my ears. Oh, because of the turret? Okay, am I supposed to... I can't get rid of these things. I can get rid of these things. That's kind of annoying too. It's like... Why can I not get rid of these purple blocks, but I can get rid of these purple blocks? I can now see, if I, like, squint my eyes, that these purple blocks are a bit lighter and more solid, whereas these ones are a bit darker and cracked, but it's a very subtle difference. I think it would need to be a bit more prominent in distance. Um... 
Let's see, what am I supposed to do here? Do I... I guess I put this down and then I switch to a spring like that? Ah, right. Oh god, that's a lot to prep immediately. Okay, oh, whoops, that was completely wrong. Okay. Alright. Ah, damn it, come on. Oh, crap. Oh. Ah, jeez. Okay, gotta break that stuff. This is a lot to take care of just so fast, ah. Okay. Alright, alright. I think I made the shield get too close to the guy last time. Alright, nice. Alright, one more. Just one more. This is pretty cool. Okay, so I right click, and then what? Whoops. Okay, so there's a spring in there. Okay, makes sense. Ah! I gotta take care of so much stuff so fast! Come on! Ah, oh, cheat. You gotta be real lightning fast with your freaking inputs. And then block, and then- Ah, oh, god! It's a lot to do immediately. Ah, I made him go to the left. Damn! Hang on. Right, break, 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 break. Up, block. Twist it to move right- Fuck! <laughs> what happens when I get over here? Oh, another spring? I see. Jeez. Goddamn turret. Damn it. Crap. Oh, what the hell? Come on, I did it there. Jeez. Ah. Take care of everything real fast. Oh, come on. Just, just died. Ah, tried to get to him. Damn it, restart. Oh, got him. Oh god. Oh god! God! That's... Ugh, oh, that is hard, man. Alright. I'll give this game, like, very kind of confusing start. It would kind of be nice, maybe, if you could plan things out instead of having to do it on the fly. I kind of understand why you want to make them do it on the fly. It kind of adds to the manic fun, I suppose, but something like that. I consider myself a pretty good gamer, and I cannot set up that fast. But I suppose it is nice to have that type of challenge. Anyway, I think despite my kind of grudges with it, like, I'm a bit annoyed by it. I think it's a bit kind of too hard, a bit kind of frustrating to work with it. But I will say that I still feel like I'm coming off of this quite positive. I feel, still feel like I kind of like the goofy kind of escort, like, mission type of gameplay and the weird kind of goofy atmosphere about it. I mean, it's got a Josh button in the menu. <laughs> Gotta give it credit for that. So, yeah. Kind of a weird game. I think it could use a little bit more, like, I don't know, smoothing out. But other than that, it's pretty solid and unique, and I quite like it. Alrighty, next up is Coordinator by Toady Technica. Crazy coordinating at your area. Let's check it out. Alrighty, what do we got? Doop, 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 doop. Alright. Coordinator. Okay, I see it. Move around the mouse and click. Okay, I guess that's what it wants. Uh, what? Um, oh. Do we just move from spot to spot? Wait, what's going on? Do I have to... Do I have to dodge the gray things? Or is it fine if I go into the gray things? Wait, why have the numbers all of a sudden gone up? New high score. Wait. I don't quite get it. Okay, I'm going to assume I need to go from point to point to point. 
without going into gray things. I assume that's what was happening. I guess I was being hurt, but it wasn't it wasn't immediately apparent. Um, let me try that again. Oh wait, I got hit? Ah, I got hit again! What the hell? Alright. So it seems like great things have a very short lifespan. They... they explode quite fast after spawning. Whoa! Jeez! Let's try that again. It's a simple type of game, but it's got some decent pizzazz, I'll give you that. Hmm, what determines how many points I get from going to point to point? Do I get, like, more and more points if... I am fast? Like, that was pretty slow, but it still seemed like it surged forward in points. Ah, damn it. Oh, now I'm back to just one. Oh, now I see it. There's like a bar in the lower left corner. That must be like my multiplier or something like that. It's a bit weird. A bar is typically used for things like health or something like that. A multiplier? Like, I would prefer that just to be like, you know, times two, times three, times 2.7 or something like that. A bar? That's a little bit weird. Also, the bar is hidden all the way in the corner. It'd be kind of cool if you could see the multiplier maybe at the objective you're going to or on your person. Not necessarily you have to have a number, but maybe just something that lets you know you're doing well or something. Anyway, keep it up. It's not too shabby though. It's got a lot of nice pizzazz to it. It's pretty cool. I kind of like the whole, uh, big crosshair you kind of have in the end. Wait a minute. Is that what was going on? Is that what the crosshair is from? The two beams? Is that actually killing the gray things? And I just wasn't realizing it? Oh, I think that's totally what's going on. I just didn't realize. So, the big cross beams are actually hitting the gray things. I thought the gray things were just kind of like, they just move and blow up and they don't live very long, but I guess that was just a coincidence. It was really my gray cross beams that were hurting them. I thought the gray cross beams were just there for visual, as in there's so much going on the screen, like here's a crosshair indicating where you are, so it's very easy to see where you are. Okay, well, I guess it still does serve that purpose, but now I guess it's got a double purpose. All right, all right. Moving about. Yeah, I really didn't catch that initially. Move, move, move. Ah, damn it. It's great things, come on. All right, all right, all right. Go, 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 go. Oh, what the hell? What'd I get hit by? Uh, something must have spawned like right on top of me and I didn't see it, I guess. Alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, come on, they were spawning right on top of me. I really wish I could still collect checkpoints, even though I'm, you know, temporarily invincible. It doesn't really last long enough that I feel like you need to stop people from collecting just because they're invulnerable. It's kind of annoying because then you're just left sitting there like a doofus. Yeah, like right there, I'm just, just let me collect it, man. Alright, alright. Got it. Go, 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 go. Come on, I at least want to get triple digits. That's kind of what I'm going for. I got hit by something, man. God damn it. Gotta, gotta. I really didn't think I hit that. I went down and I went like up like that. I tried to go around. I guess I got screwed. All right, last try, last try. We'll give it the old college try. It feels kind of weird because like, now I understand like, even though I said that whole thing where it's like, oh, the cross beams are destroying enemies. Like, it's almost like I still don't quite believe it because 
the game is so fast that I can't really see myself actually strategizing to use it. I'm just moving around, and for all I know, the gray blocks are just being destroyed. Like, <laughs> the game moves so fast, I can't really see myself, like, planning around that. But maybe, maybe if I just get really in tune, I can- Ah! And that one wasn't even fully spawned yet, and I got hit. I assume it did spawn right when I was there, it's just... It spawned at a very inopportune time for me, I guess. Oh jeez, oh jeez, come on guys, just make room already. I just want triple digits. Yes, triple digits! Alright, let's see how much farther we can go. Keep this multiplier up. Ah! Okay, I'll stop there for now. Not, not too shabby. Like, uh, it's a simple game. But it has a lot of nice pizzazz to it that really adds to the experience. Um, like, I like how the music, like, fades when the gameplay isn't fully started in, then when you start, the music fades back into full volume. I like just all the smoothness of it, the little effects and stuff like that. It's definitely got a lot of, like, nice juice to it. So, uh, yeah. Nice work on that. Very nice. It's... It's just good old simple arcade fun, and that's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Okay, next up is Winter Falling, Price of Life by Rarikos. Oh, strategy and battles inspired by FTL and Total War. Now, I think I've played Winter Falling before and it was kind of Game of Thrones inspired, but FTL and Total War, maybe this is a bit of a spin-off or something like that? I'm interested, let's check it out. I just say that, of course, because, again, I try to play these games as blind as possible, but since now I follow some of the developers and I'm familiar with some of their previous work, that might skew my impression a bit. Maybe I come into it, like, more knowledgeable than... Okay, whatever. Let's get on with it. <laughs> All right. I'm a big game. Please close other browser tabs. All right, well, don't worry, we cracked through it. Okay, Winter Falling, Prototype 2, Price of Life. Oh, so maybe Winter Falling is a sequ uh, was the one before, but this is like a different type of prototype, different type of gameplay. Well, let's check it out. Starto. All right, yep, I definitely recognize this HUD design, and once again, I, I really like it. Buttons are really cool, I like the way things pop and ease in and stuff. Very, very crisp and professional design. And, of course, a lovely background and such. Welcome. You must be the new commander. These are dark times. I hope you're ready. Go on. I need your help to defend the kingdom against the foul hordes of the undead. Will you stand with me? <laughs> I'm tempted to hit decline. You know what? The QA tester in me, the debugger, let, let's see what happens. Ah! <laughs> Wow, I was wondering, I was figuring it was either going to go to the end, or it was going to get that infinite, but thou must loop. Okay, well, I figured I should test it. My score, well I got one something, I guess. Alright, let's try that again. Hope you're ready. Go on. Will you stand with me? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. The undead cannot be allowed to end our world. What army will you command? Uh, go on, I guess. Let's see, royal, peasant... Outlaw? Okay. Huh. Oh, I see they have difficulties, actually. I was about to say, like, I should go with the peasants and such, but then again, it's hard difficulty, so maybe I should go with the royals? Uh, I don't know what would be the best feedback. Part of me does like usually playing games on a bit of a harder difficulty, but... Yeah, let's go with it. We gotta side with the peasants. Royals could take care of themselves. Bam. Hopefully I didn't screw myself. Cool. Okay, this is nice. Little map screen. I guess we just gotta make our way all the way to the big bad. I like it. Get a little preview of what we're getting, we're building up to. So yeah, choose battle. Okay, defeat all enemies. The bird must survive. So I guess, what, I'm the bird or the bird is the commander? All right. Don't panic, you'll learn this quickly. <laughs> Thanks. Uh... All right, so they're firing. 
okay, so yes, I should use an order. So I use it. Okay, I was about to say, yeah, I think I kind of, again, this is a little bit bad because I'm a little bit familiar with Winter Falling, so I wasn't quite sure uh, if that's the best feedback because I think I was already kind of familiar with uh, this thing where it's like I click that and now, yeah, I click and drag and that like, oh, that's pretty bad actually. Reset. Can I move these guys? Oh, geez, they don't go very far, do they? Because if I drag that, will that kill that? How many units could be killed on the way? Or is that not far enough? Hmm, and these guys should stay, right? Do we just keep maybe... Maybe we should just fall back a bit or something? Or... Oh, maybe... I should just... There we go, that's what I was looking for, that X. Because when I dragged this here, it looks like it could attack it, but I guess it doesn't. Can I drag it, like, multiple times? No, I guess not. Okay. So if we move this guy... Whoops, hang on. Ah, I really wish I could kind of retract a bit. Like I wanted to do a more sharp turn this way. Wait, is that not going to hit? Hmm, let me check that. Do it. Oh, I guess it just budges it out of the way. Alright, so they're fighting, so I can't move anything right now. Okay, so I guess I just gotta sit. I should have moved the other guys up, I guess. Okay, so they're fighting. Alright, almost got my move. Jeez, that's a long cooldown. Okay, so I need to wait for a moment like this, right? And then, bam, bam. What? That doesn't work? I thought I just needed to- Whoa! I didn't mean to totally cancel it. Why doesn't that work? Oh, is it because they have a zero sword icon? Oh, I see. So peasants, I guess, do just stand there and just body block. Uh, so I guess I need to see if I can move these guys, but they're so far away. Anyway, let's just uh, try to build up a bigger line just to block these guys. I guess they're taken care of. I don't know if that was the greatest tutorial type of map. I feel like I just got lucky. Like, uh, because I already am kind of familiar with how the game worked. If I was a newbie, I think I would have been totally lost there. I would have been like, how do I control this? And I would have been like, oh, my guys are so far away, I can only move them once every 15 seconds. It'll take ages for them to get across the field and into proper positioning and so on and so forth. All right. Reinforcements are on their way. They'll join you if you can survive another battle. Gotcha. Choose an upgrade. Okay, is this like my starting point? Or... Um, da, 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 da. Wait, is it... Do I need to choose these or can I choose these? Like this says... Wait. All the units minus one. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Well, I can't click on it. Okay. All units plus one. Okay, so I can't click on these empty spots. Which ones can I click on? Is it only these ones? Um... I guess, uh, cooldowns, maybe? Okay, so it is those ones. It was a little bit... I feel like the design of that menu could have been a bit more... explanatory. Like... I guess the idea is that it still allows you to hover over items that are farther down the skill tree so you can see what to build up to, I suppose? But, uh... I don't know, it was a little bit... It was a little bit confusing to start out with. It just seemed like a lot wasn't like, uh... I don't know, maybe make like the starter things, like pulse or something like that, letting you know like those are the only clickable ones or something like that, or make it glow green when you hover over it or something. There needs to be, I, I know they had a little diamond in there, but that's not a good indicator of something you can actually click on. It needs to like be, like when you hover over it, it needs to get like highlighted or pulse or something to draw the eye to it, I suppose. The diamond, could be seen as like, oh, that's just the beginning of the skill tree, but that's maybe not necessarily what I need to click. No, oh, whatever. I found my way through it. Why am I complaining so much? I don't know. I'm thinking about lowest common denominator. Sorry, I guess. Okay, manage army. So use the move order to gather command tokens. Okay, manage army. Choose a banner to inspect banners. Oh, okay. Um, oh man, this is a lot to, uh, take in, I guess. <laughs> Should I have picked the Royals? Would I have had a better time? Would it have given me more tutorials or something? 
kind of interested. Anyway, so we need to hire these banners, right? Can we just hire them all or something? Hire... All units are dead. Heal this banner. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize. Okay. And heal it. So we need to heal up and hire. Okay. Hire trenches first? I don't have that. When it says fire, does that mean I get three back? Okay, yeah. Alright, go. Uh, place units. Okay, interesting kind of visual indicator. I kind of feel like just hovering over this button should do what hovering over this does. I feel like, I don't know why it needs to be two separate buttons. It looks alright, but it's like, it would be fine if hovering over this did this. <laughs> alright. Uh, enemy bait. So I guess I'll place this in the back. Um, let's see. Doink. Doink. Uh, doink. Alright, and then, uh, I don't really know. <laughs> Oh, right, uh, hang on. You get cleared, okay. Like that. And then, uh, I have one more peasant to place, huh? Uh, where are they kind of stronger? They have a little bit more on this side, so you go over there. Okay, is that good? And now start battle, I guess? Okay. These are mindless undead. Tough, but not bright. Just wait and they'll come to you. So I guess I should be focusing on these ones that have the command tokens or whatever. I'm not sure what they do, but yeah. Spacebar to pause. Okay, but that's fine. Wait, what's that thing about? Retry? Oh, so I have limited retries or something? Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Would it be safe if I just keep him like that? Well, I guess that would be stupid if I don't. Because these guys do have the special ability to, uh... Oh, I can't pause him. Now I pause. These guys do have that special ability, so I guess I should make the most of it, yes? Well, hang on. You go up, yes. Um, should you, like, race through them or something? No, uh, reset that. Ah, oh, I wish I it would just reset the last person instead of resetting all of them. You move forward. You move forward. You move forward. I guess. Let's try that. Alright, back out a little bit. Oh, wait, pause. Same as order, plus one on each unit. Choose two units to deal six around them. Make two units invulnerable. Hmm... I'm not sure. What does charge do? So if I pick charge, that just does this, but now they have two swords or something, yeah. Alright. Oh, jeez, nice! <laughs> charge! Freaking slaughtered him! Didn't even need dragon breath. Alright, kind of interesting, kind of interesting. We shall continue. Choose one banner. Heavy boys are tempting, but I like the idea of passive uh, fire that I don't need to quite manage. So I'll go with some artillery. Alright, this is looking a little bit better now that I'm getting used to it. Um, all units... Maybe more range. That might be good. Now it looks like we can kind of split... Oh, does it just choose it for me? I can't, like, uh, choose a different path. I guess I just need to fight here. Okay. All right, we'll try one more fight. Move mouse over units to learn what they do. Wait a second, and a tooltip will pop up. When killed, kills linked. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, so them stars will go down. Interesting. All right, let's manage. Good, we got the reinforcements. Low on cash to spend. Oh man, we are low on cash. What the hell? I wanted to try this, but now I feel like we're toast. Spearmen. Uh, higher. 
Damn. Disband a banner. I don't know if I want to disband anything. This is rough. We've just barely started. Well, maybe I, it's because I picked peasants or something. Jeez. Um, let's try this. I'm just curious to see how it works, just because it's it sounds like it's trying to push us to do something like that. So we'll try that. Now we need to place, so we do them over there. Okay, that's what I thought might be the case. Uh, let's try to deal with these top guys first, so we'll kind of try to lure them over there. Archers there. Balliste. And then... You try to guard down here. Meanwhile, you guys will kind of spearhead. Haha, <laughs> get it. Okay. And start. Let's just try to get through this battle. Okay, so in they move. Good. They've started opening fire. Good, good. With moving, I think we can probably keep it passive for now. I want to see if I can get to that thing. Oh, did they get it? Okay, maybe they got it. Hmm, what do we do? Maybe we want to move our peasants up a little bit. Let's try to make them block a bit. And then maybe we should charge through these guys? Alright. And then, can I send them back, like, after the- no, I guess not. Okay. Charge, charge. Do we want to move up the artillery a little bit? Just a little bit, I guess. Okay. Maybe we'll try armoring up. We'll grant this and this and vulnerability. I'm just trying out all these orders to see if I can help. Oh, now those guys are moving. Wait, I thought everybody remained uh, stationary. Let's see, break free. So if I do this, I hurt things surrounding them, right? Cool, cool. And now charge the son of a bitch. This... All right, we did it. This... Cool, cool. Although I feel like I'm really running low on cash. Oh, promote banners? Sure. Is it free? All right, veterans, nice. Good, good. Yeah, good work, peasants. And longbowmen, I count on you. Very nice. They will join you if you can survive another battle. Good, good. Begin battles with- Oh, that's very nice. I would like to have a command token when we start, because those do seem to be quite useful. Oh, right, right, right. Oof. I was getting kind of addicted to it. I was pushing forward, but we're already kind of at our- Oh, going over my 10 minute time limit, so I'm gonna stop it here for now. But, that is a good sign that- I will say, I still think it's kind of, like, uh, unintuitive, like, the whole, like, usually, like, they associate move with, you know, just movement. Like, you know, every other tactics game, it's usually, like, move, like, you know, on, like, a grid, like, move, move, and then, then you choose attack, but in this game, it's, like, move is attack. It's, like... I almost want the basic command move to be relabeled like charge or something. But then again, move can be used for just movement, but then again, I don't know. That whole, I, I just feel like it needs a little bit of like a better tutorial or something like that. I feel like the first time I tried Winter Falling, I had difficulty kind of grasping it. And this time, the only reason I kind of grasped it really fast was because I was already familiar with it. I still feel like maybe it just needs a little bit of like better tutorialization because it kind of like throws you into the deep end like immediately. A lot of the system is kind of awkward. Like I say, the whole thing where moving also means attacking if the thing has a sword icon, which even I was kind of tripping over myself to realize there at the beginning. And, uh, command tokens are pretty cool. Like, it, like, uh, what am I looking for? Like, uh, yeah, the movement could be kind of confusing, and also it could be real punishing, because it's like a 15 second cooldown. 
that's kind of like rough to get used to like most people are pretty impatient and uh what other types of elements um also i was already having some difficulty where i had to disband a banner even though it felt like i was doing so good just because i was running low on cash then again i played on hard mode maybe it's way easier on the royal or something like that I do feel like the game, though, to give it credit, is that it is so, like, beautiful and professionally put together that I think, even if a lot of people are confused with it, I think it, like, the professional di design lends it enough credence that people will stick with it. And they'll be glad they do, because I think the game is pretty cool, even if it is a little bit, you know, rough around the edges at the beginning, how it kind of just dumps you in. But then again, sometimes it's refreshing to have a game that just dumps you in at the beginning. You know, not every game needs to be casual, friendly, and baby you, and sometimes it's good to just be like, you know, let the player figure it. I don't know. This is why game development is such a trip. But anyway, I had fun with this. Rarikos, I wish you the best of luck. Alright. Next up is Get to Work! By Epoch, I guess, except it's spelled in Leet Speak. <laughs> Comedic glimpse of life after the pandemic. Ah, oh, a little look into the future, huh? Alright, let's see what we got. Get to work. So it's part of the Haxel Flixel game jam, huh? Well, let's hit start. The pandemic is over, and people are going back to their normal lives. And not a moment too soon for Trixie. She's flat broke after all that time under stay-at-home orders. Help her get to work, but be careful, because she's smexy, and there are a lot of guys out there who haven't seen any real-life females other than their moms and sisters in a while. What? <laughs> okay, try to find Trixie's friends, because with their help you might be able to make it to work. Alone. Together. What? Oh, is that because the theme was alone together and you're... <laughs> yeah, it feels like you're kind of trying to sledgehammer it in there or something. Alright, uh, do I just click to continue? Okay, clicking doesn't do anything. Uh, maybe enter? Okay, enter. Uh, move with wadster arrows. Run on a flashing blue arrow to go into adjacent scene Zelda style. Don't let the dudes catch you. Dudes won't start moving on each screen until you start moving, so they have some time to think. Oh, okay. Good to know. Alright, tutorial is a little drab, like it's very text heavy. I would like it if it had like, you know, some pictures and stuff, but no problem. Okay, so once I move, they start chasing. Okay, but they're blocked in, so it's a nice little tutorial zone. Okay, I guess I'll try going down. Alright, good to know that they won't cross the screen. Oh man, that's actually- Ah, ecky! Gross. I didn't expect that guy to chase me so hard. Maybe if I... Ah, nice little puzzle. I got him locked in that little corner. That's cool. Okay, there's a guy up there. Do we want to do a similar thing here? Lock him in like that. Okay. I don't know if I can make it. No, we'll have to go down like that. Okay. This is rough. Can I get this guy trapped against the... Ah! Trying to see if I can get him trapped against the tree or something. Ah, damn it. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, All right. he is trapped against the tree, but yeah. Hmm, maybe we need to move like this and then... Oh, no! Ah! This is rough. Do we just go back up? Back to this scene? I don't know if that helps, though. No, we can't outrun that. Back down. Hmm. I think maybe if I move right and then move left. Ah, I was trying to get him stuck in the fountain plaza by some means. This is rough. Hmm. Whoop, I think this was a bad idea. I don't know how to get around this guy. Ah, jeez, the hitboxes for some things are really annoying. Like, for that little bush thing right there, it seems to have a, a deceptive hitbox. Okay. Ah, I'm so close! I'm trying to use this tree to help me out here. Alright, come on. Ah, damn it. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, damn. <laughs> alright, come on, come on. Ah! I was able to trap him before. Okay, maybe we just need to retreat? Can I do, like, ring around the rosy with this guy? No, once he get- what the heck? The hitbox is really weird. Hang on, I'm going straight left, then I go straight right, and I get blocked! 
That's really weird. The hitboxes are really awkward in this. Like, check it. Like, I'm against it. I'm pressing up, so I'm as close as I can. But I go left and I hit right, and then for a second I'm blocked. Like, that's really weird why the hitbox would work like that. I don't know. That's really, really weird. How do I work against this guy? Jeez. I feel like I'm stuck. The beginning, I could kind of get these guys stuck on things, but now I'm not having any luck. Oh! I got something there, but that just seemed like glitchy. Alright, now we got this guy. Do we do something like this? Okay, okay, this, this, this I can work with. Hi, Maxine, going to work? Do we hit enter? Hi, Trixie, you bet. I got bills to pay. There's a ton of creepy guys out thinking you can help. Since the gyms were closed, I've been out running a lot. So you think you can outrun them? No, but my sports bra keeps my girls from jumping around so much, so guys won't chase me quite as fast. Thanks for nerfing your man magnets to help us through <laughs> Take one for the team. Okay, switch players with number keys. So you're saying... Okay, so Maxine... So, wait, hang on. Oh, now I can't switch. Damn it, I gotta get back there? Okay. Oh, am I gonna have to listen to that whole spiel again? Hang on, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, this is Trixie and they chase me fast, but if I switch to this, they go more slow. Oh, jeez, but they're still fast enough. That, mm, oh wait, that was, that was bad, that was bad. Okay, do I need to trap him on that hook-like thing down below? I think that's what's going on. Switch to Maxine, go down like this, hook him in. Ah, gotcha. Okay, okay. Alright, now we got this guy, but he moves slowly enough that we can go. Okay, so we're making progress. Oh, can I? Ah, so close. Come on. Ah. Alright, maybe I can... Ah, damn it. I might need to... Let's see, loop around like this, get him caught like that, and then run, and then get him caught in the fountain. Ah, oh, so close, come on. All right, all right, get caught. All right, now run, keep running, get him caught on the fountain, nice, okay. All right, now what? This is rough. Jeez, we might just need to run down here. Oh, I barely made it. Okay, so we got another gal pal up here. Hopefully that can help. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh man, I thought he was gonna get trapped there. The hitboxes were deceptive. Damn. Damn it. This... All right, just stay right there for a second. You fucking creeper. All right, run like this. Okay. Hi, bat shit. What? <laughs> Hey Trixie and Maxine. Damn, you sure let the grass grow out. What? That's some real serious bush action there. At least the carpet matches the trape, so to speak. No one's gonna come by during the lockdown, so I kinda didn't give a crap. I hear that. Well, there are a lot of dudes out there now. I'm growing a beard myself. Just think you can help us get past them, Batchet? Although I did shave it. and shaved my head as well. Just think you can help us get past them? Oh yeah, guys tend to stop chasing you when you slice their head off. Wow. Hey! Switch to bat shit, swing your sword to space. Okay. So, uh, well, okay, this got a lot more fun, I guess. And fuck you. <laughs> we going here? No way am I going in there. There's no telling what's inside. Oh, I thought that was the end. Okay, so where do we go now? Well, now that we have bat shit, I guess we can just fucking, ah, I guess we need to attack them from the side or something. Damn, come on. Ah, come on. Slice them. There we go. Okay. Skipping along, chopping up dudes, everything's good. Are we supposed to go backwards now or something? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, because now I guess we can go back. I see, it's kind of like Blaster Master or Metroidvania. There was no way we were going to get this way back in the day, but now that we have the powers, we can. Oh, this is a weird one. Alright. A little bit of a maze-like thing. I guess we gotta be careful, cause ah, ah, now I gotta make it all the way through here. Hang on, cause yeah, it comes directly above if we're not careful. And we need to attack from the side. There we go. That's using your noggin. 
Oh my god, batshit, did you just murder that guy? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Rox, are you wearing a miner's helmet? Yeah, there hasn't been much to do since the pandemic other to go down my man shit. Mine shaft. <laughs> Not man shaft. I've been going way deep and it gets really dark in there. Mine shaft? I thought that was a well. Nah, it is wet though. Think you can help us get to work? I don't know, but let's get the fuck out of here. Switch to Roxy with four. So she can go down this or something? Wait, what's going on? Oh, I see. We're, we're, we need to go back to that cave I was at before. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, these guys respawn? Screw you. Alright, off we go. Let's see if we can make it back to that cave. Uh, this guy's annoying. Ah, oh, come on! He ran into my sword! Ah, oh, it didn't turn around fast enough. Do I need to switch to her real fast? And then... Damn, I hit four instead of three! That was stupid. Alright. Ah, damn it! Sometimes they get caught on hitboxes, and it's awkward. Alright, now go. Alright, screw you, buddy. Alright, and screw you. Ah, oh, come on! This... Gotcha. Alright, away we go. And F up. Ah! Said F up. I said F. I said F off. There we go. Alright, switch. I think we can get to work this way. Through this crack? Can you even see anything there? With this helmet, probably. Stick your head in the crack. Stick it in there. Uh huh. -huh. That's a really tight crack. I don't know if it'll fit. Alright, alright. Try using this jelly. Is this alluding to something? <laughs> Where'd you get that stuff? You don't want to know. Oh crap, I'm stuck! Push! Harder! 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 Oh god, I think I'm gonna... And with that, they somehow made it from the front entrance of the crevasse to its back exit. I'm seriously not going to into detail on how they managed to do that. And as they popped out the rear, they looked around. Alright, alright. We did it! We got to work without getting accosted! Some dudes got sliced of ribbons, but they were kind of losers anyway. <laughs> So long, pervy guys, off to work. <laughs> and Hooters. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> Congratulations and thanks for playing. I don't have a Patreon or anything, so go support your local cute girl instead. Well, as long as I'm not a creeper about it. All right, well, we made it through. A little bit like, uh, you know, a little bit like bland and like kind of like shoddy. Like I said, like the hitboxes were kind of janky at times and really weird and... Uh, both, like, in the player's favor and in the enemy's favor. Sometimes I, as a player, would get stuck on hitboxes, and it'd be really annoying. Sometimes the enemies would get stuck on hitboxes, and then that would throw me off, because I'm, like, I'm readying my sword to slice them up, but all of a sudden they get stuck. So I think they're already rushing at me, but actually they're stuck, I swing, and then they come at me, and then, yuck. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, a little bit of janky and a little bit simple, but I understand it's a game jam game, and it was a little bit of a funny romp, and, uh, yeah, not too shabby. It's a game jam game, it can't be too harsh on it, I suppose, but, uh, yeah, had a little nice of sense of humor, funny, goofy story, and I did kind of like the puzzle element to it. I kind of wish that there was more puzzly type of elements. It seemed like at the beginning, like some of the maps where you can get them like stuck in geometry and stuff seemed really cool but then that was kind of like lost like uh uh in some of the other maps where i felt like it shouldn't have been lost quite yet it felt like some of the victories i got I like the victories where I played smart and moved effectively to get them stuck in geometry. The victories that I got where I just kind of barely outran them just by making them get, like, just by sheer luck it felt like, weren't as satisfying. And then it was kind of fun at the end where you kind of get to power trip. I was about to say that the sword was kind of a downer because it got rid of the puzzle element, but then again it did kind of spice things up and made it a nice little power trip, so... Yeah, a decent, a decent little bit of progression, although a little bit rocky, like I said, where it's like the puzzle element was kind of abandoned in favor of just like a lucky dash or something. Maybe I was just playing badly. Anyway. Alrighty, next up is Prism Light by Toady Technica. 
a mouse maze game with a light. All right, let's try it. So is this going to be a game like a mouse maze? Is this going to be like, what's that game called? Annoying Stick or something like that? I guess we'll check it out. What we got? Alrighty, I guess this is level select. Alright. Professional design, looking real cool so far. I like it. Let's check it. Alright, click the prism to release the light. Uh, what's the prism? You mean this thing? Okay. And now I move. Do I touch these things? And, oh, that was the end? Okay. I thought that little grindy thing was the end or something. Click the prism. Okay. And bam. Okay. Simple enough. Are those things special? Maybe those are special items I'm supposed to pick up. I should check that. After looking the level, click the prism. After You mean after looking at the level, click the prism? I'm not quite sure what the danger is in this game. So when I go on that, okay, so that's a bad thing. Prepare your eyes, then click the prism. Okay. I'm a little bit confused, because so far it's really easy. I don't see why I needed to prepare my eyes for that. After looking at the level, click the prism, yeah. Okay, easy enough. Simple so far. I'm just a little bit confused because it made me feel like it was going to do something different. But so far it's just kind of a mouse maze, I guess, with a, a nice little light, I don't know, element to it. It looks neat, I suppose, but uh, just a bit... Well, whatever. I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, I was just a little bit confused. I guess the gameplay wasn't what I expected it was going to be. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh! So they were locking on to me or something? All right, so now they lose lock on. All right, okay. So it looks like now it's ramping up where it's I need to kind of move fast and I need to know, like uh, because a lot of things are hidden by my sight, I need to know these things. Release those colorful lights like look in the prism, yeah. All right, and now sweep it, no problem. Fancy looking game. Alright. Oh boy, I might have gone a bit too fast. Let me... Okay, that is a bonus. It's just kind of weird because it's on the corner. It made me... Like, because it's on the corner, it makes it look like... I don't know, like a... Like a buzzsaw or something that you see in all sorts of games. But I guess it's a hidden element. Alright. This might be tricky. I'm not sure what this symbolizes, but I guess we'll see. Hmm. Can we go across? Huh? Seemed like it was fine. Ah, I should have picked up the star. Not sure what that was. Hmm. Maybe it blocks lasers, but it doesn't block me. Ah, uh, okay. If I crash into a wall, does that hurt? Okay, it does. Just making sure. Okay, so these... This is like glass or something. It allows me to lose sight without damaging myself, I guess. Oh, jeez, that was faster than I thought. Ah, damn it. Alright. 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 Got it? Got it. I just wanted to get that star. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I saw the star. It was in the middle there. Challenging. I like it. Hmm, what's up with this one? So is that a wall? Yep, that's a wall. Can I do something with the middle? No. Alright. Fair enough. Okay. Oop. Hmm, I'm not sure where the last one was. Ah! It was up there. Okay. Should have guessed. Ah! I tried to be fast. I tried to be slickerick. Wait for it. Okay. Oop. Okay, we'll come at it from this side. That's a bit easier. Nice! Huh. 
Okay, now I'm getting now I'm getting the gist of this and I'm having quite fun. I oh, that's not me. Yeah. Got this laser thing, right? Got you. Ooh, that was close. Whoop. 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 Got he. Alright, this is fun. Yeah. It's like you need to do these like quick like visual peaks and memorizations to like uh so you try to move as effectively as possible. Whoop! Nice. Oh that was close. Tight corridor it's there. Think we're making good progress. Maybe we'll beat the whole thing. Uh, I actually should have looked at the map a bit more. Hang on. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, just barely. I thought I made it in time. Ow. Okay. Nice. Ah! ah I kind of... My wrist just like stuttered a little bit and pushed myself farther than I thought. Alright, got it. And go. And go. And go. Nice. Alright, where am I? Down here. Fair enough. Oosh. And gotcha. Oi! Gotcha! Nice! Down here... Oh, does this... Okay, so those block that as well. Good to know. Oh boy. Just gotta dance. Uh-oh. Hang on. Ah! I got too greedy! I delved too deeply and too greedily. Gotcha. All right. A spinner. Ah, Jesus. And go. Oh, jeez. That's rough. Go. Whoop. Ah. Go. Go. Ah, jeez. Go. Whoa. Right, back around. Back around. Ah, just missed. Back around. Gotcha. Nice. Challenging. <laughs> All right. Go. Oh. Oh boy. Ah, damn it. Ah, come on, come on. Alright. Oh, jeez, this is rough. Ah, oh, jeez. And to think, just a while ago, I was like, eh, this is really easy. I don't really see the challenge of this. Now I'm getting my butt kicked. Those spinners, I feel like they should just go a little bit slower. They're kind of rough. Ah, oh, man. Ah! 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 I just keep panicking. Ah! Damn it! This, I'm trying to be a little bit faster with my movements, but it's just making me collide with stuff. Ah! I'm dragging it down too fast. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, what the hell? I just twitched a little, damn it. Alright. Ah, go F yourself. This ah, damn it. Alright. Up. Go, 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 go. Damn it! Went out too far. 
Ah. Maybe I just stay down here and go very slow. Oh man, I don't remember what's uh, on the left. I'm just gonna have to wing it, I guess. Ugh. Okay. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. Oh god, there's a rectangle moving. I had no idea. Okay. Star. All right. I think the last box is just down there. Get it. Oh, that was. I did not memorize that part of the map. That was just pure skill, boys. Oh man. Ah, what? Ah. Okay. Whoop. Oh. Luckily, it looks like I can stand on the barriers. I feel like that kind of makes it a little bit too easy when you can kind of just do that. Ah! Well, maybe I should shut my mouth because I'm still dying. <laughs> Oop. 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 Ah, oh, come on! I made it! Uh... Alright. Gotcha. Let's be fast. Go, go! Alright, nice. Go, go! Go! Go, go! Go! Go, go! 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 Uh, go! Nice! Alright, I think we've done about 10 minutes of this game. This feels pretty good. It's starting to get pretty intense. I'll tell you what, I'll try doing this map. One go, let's see if we can do it. No problem. Ah, oh, I wanted that star! Okay, that was good. We'll end it there for now. Uh, cute little mouse maze game. I like it. Seems like it has a good escalation of difficulty, all sorts of really cool mechanics. Just keep getting added and added and added. Nice little presentation. I do kind of wish, like, uh... It maybe had, like, uh, more music, or maybe changed, like, the visual design up a little bit. Like, once you get to, like, level... I don't know, like 10 or 15 or something like that. It would be cool to hear like even more like cool tracks or something like that. Just so you feel like you're making even more like progress. Like as cool as this, as music can be, if you listen to it like forever, it can start to get kind of old. So it would be kind of nice like if not only to, you know, to go together with the already really good level design and progression of difficulty, if the music also like progressed as well like uh you know change it up maybe uh maybe you can even like invert the colors or something like that once you get to like level 20 or something i don't know just throwing things out just to keep things fresh and keep uh, attention going because it can turn because as much as it keeps adding on it can kind of feel like a slog if you just because this game has like a lot of levels i saw that intro 40 levels it's like as much as i'm enjoying it if it doesn't keep, like, peppering in little things here and there, it can be like, oh boy, this is just going on and on and on. Anyway, that's just my thoughts. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. That's the beauty of game dev. It's a real journey. Anyway, best of luck, Toady Technica. Alright, next up is Candy's Dream Egg by Cosmic Crystal, a cute retro puzzle platformer set in Dreamland, made for Ludlum Dare, 46. Let's check it out. Okay, Candy's Dream Egg. Move, arrows, Z, X, enter, and R. Okay. Very, uh, very basic controls. Very good. Very self-explanatory. Bam. Oh. Maybe I need to click and get focus. Enter. There we go. I hit enter, but it wasn't responding. I guess I didn't click on it. Candy's Dream Egg. Game made for Love and Dare 46. Uh, do I hit enter again? Oh, no, I guess not. Damn! Slammed on the ground. The egg rolled over. And we love each other. And now I'm taking the egg with me. Because it showed kindness to me. And Z to jump. 
Hold X to aim. Uh, aim at what? Damn! Alright, I guess the egg uh, maintains. <laughs> Alright, good little tutorial so far. I like it. Press X and down. Oh, okay. Hold up to call. Oh, that's weird. Alright, I wasn't expecting that. Huh. That's a little bit... It's like... Of all the things that you could bounce on and call an egg? I feel like maybe you should... I don't know, that just feels a bit confusing. It's like the mechanics work, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to remember the fact that I can call an egg. <laughs> anyway, I guess it kind of makes sense, because like, just pretend there's a bird in there or something. But also, bouncing on the egg? It's like, I can understand maybe stepping on, like, I don't know, a pet or something? Or a... I don't know, it's just weird. Down and Z to, I guess, down jump. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Jump, jump. Oh, I guess we gotta... Oh, I didn't even hit X and down, I just hit X, and it went like that. And now I call it. Egg can go up, not down. But I can jump down, yeah? Oh, are they referring to when I call it, I guess? I can't, like, call it down? Anyway. Uh, jump, jump. Hmm. What am I looking for here? Oh, I can't fit with the egg. Okay. So, throw it. And then grab it. Uh, grab it. Oh, I guess I need to call it. Okay. Um, so, place it down. Oh, can I really not jump high enough? Huh. What do I do? Do I throw it up? And then... Alright, that makes sense. Cool, cool. Jump. Jump. Well, that was a simple room. <laughs> I guess a nice change of pace, I suppose. Uh... Throw to the right. And then... Oh, maybe not. Restart. Throw it down here. And then call it. Oh, no! <laughs> huh. How am I supposed to get through this one? Can I grab it? I'm trying to grab it. Oh, I guess I can. Um... Do I, like... Do... This or something? Oh, no, 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 Hang on, hang on. I, I think that was what I was supposed to do, though. Um... How did I do that again? I did this. And then, did I call it? Oh, okay. Wait, was I overcomplicating things? Was it that easy and I kept trying to do all sorts of crazy stuff? I guess I'm still getting used to how this works. I'm still not sure about the whole egg can go up but not down. Yeah, I don't really know how the call mechanic works that much. Wait, that work like that? That puzzle looked like it was going to be something really complex, but I just bumbled right through it. I thought I actually messed it up. Huh. Okay. The call mechanic just really throws me off, I guess. Uh, go down. Can't do anything there. Uh, do I call this? Um, uh. And then call? Oh. Okay. This is really weird, because these puzzles are like... They have these, like... Like... This whole thing is like a red herring or something like that. I don't know what's going on. A lot of these puzzles have all these red herrings. They make it look like it's really complicated, but it's not. Huh. Down we go. Uh, throw the egg, I guess. Alright, fair enough. Uh, do we do that? And then... Do we just call it? Yeah, that, that was easy enough. I've just been thrown off because I keep expecting to see puzzles, but it's not really puzzling. Alright, call it. 
Thank you. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. Oop, a key. Okay, place down. I'll go get the key. Alright. And get in there. Alright. Nope, can't do it like that. Uh, go down, throw. Call. Okay. Alright, we got the keys. Um, wait, but... Do we even need the keys? We just call it and we pick it up and we leave! What were the... I'm not... Hmm. I don't... But what were the point of the keys if it wasn't integral to the puzzle? This is so weird. And once again, uh, call, call, yeah, call. All right. Well, easy enough. Like, uh oh, did I actually screw myself there? Oh, Gee, the egg is all alone. Oh, weird. Now is it like, uh, do I get this key? I see. I get that key because that one helps, but the other ones I shouldn't get rid of. Interesting. This game is really good at throwing me for a loop. Keys you shouldn't pick up, routes that aren't important to actually take, and blah de blah Well, I can't get up there, so I guess I gotta go down. Wait there. Uh, actually, come with me. Oh, wait, no, did I screw myself? Hang on. Come with me. Go. Uh, oh, no! I broke the egg. Crap. Hang on, hang on. Uh... Oh, crap. Do I throw and then, like, call or something? Crap! If I go down and throw the egg, I can't call it in time. And if I throw it up there... Wait, what was that? Oh! This is a secret button or something. So now we call the egg. And now it's fine. Okay. Call it. What happens if I leave without the egg? Oh, I just plain can't. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so those X's have hidden buttons like that. There's another button over here. That's the one we want. Okay. Call. Uh-oh. Wait. I don't know how to solve this one. I do this to let it down, but then this button is over here. And what I want to do is I want to call it like this, and it would come, but I need to stand on this button. But standing on this button, it calls to me horizontally. Oh, I don't know how to get past this. Oh, wait, um, is it, oh wait, no, I don't think that's it, uh, oh jeez. No, but I can't jump up without the egg's help, and I can't place the egg there and jump up. So I need to place the egg here, right? And I need to jump up. And I need to press the button. Oh, but then I, no, but... Yeah, 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 now I call the egg up. Right. And now, um... Now what do I do? Can I just jump down and call it? Oh, right, it can't go down like that. Crap, I screwed myself. Um... How did I do this again? Jump up. Yep. And do that. Call the egg up. Interesting puzzle. Very mind-bending. Wait, I just... Uh... <laughs> Oh wait, why did I restart? It would have been equivalent. <laughs> Alright, now call it up. Alright. So, what, how do I do this? I just need to get down there. Is it just throw, jump down, call, grab, jump down? Oh, okay, like that. Interesting. This interesting red herring path. want to do this, and this, mm, that doesn't do anything.
something. If I do that, that jumps up. Uh-oh. Ah, the egg... Does the egg block me in? Jeez, hang on. Oh, there we go. That was, uh... That was easy enough. Once again, I, there was a red herring top path, I suppose. Hmm, I wonder if that was a trick right there. Let's see. Uh-oh. Ah, crap! I guess that wasn't uh, meant to happen. I broke the egg. All oh, right. I guess I tried to go that way. There must be another button, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, there's the button. Gotcha. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Now we just jump here, call, grab, end. Cool. What is this? Oh, a conveyor belt. Interesting. Ha <laughs> ha! Caught it at the end. Alright, there's a lot of levels of this, but I think we're already past uh, 10 minutes for this. So I'll stop it here for now. Interesting puzzle game. Like, uh, I kind of like it. How, like, at first I was kind of thrown off by, like, it's got some cool design. Like I said, a lot of it is really weird at first. I felt like something better than an egg could have been picked for this weird calling and bouncing mechanics or something. But, hey, I got used to it, and it seemed like I had a lot of interesting puzzles. A lot of them revolving around intentionally putting, like, a wrong path just to make you double-think yourself. Which is interesting. And, uh, yeah. Seems to be uh, well put together. Not too shabby of a puzzle game. So, uh, yeah. Nice work. <laughs> Okie dokie. Next up is Red Line by Vonka. Dark History. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> All right, press to start. I oh, maybe press enter to start instead of click to start. Okay. Uh we'll go with English. Oh, that's kind of weird. Why do the why do the letter why were the letters present and then they disappear when you start select at ah, whatever English? Okay. Okay. Enter. Okay, so that's us. Go left. Go right. Run. Okay. Can we talk to the barman with up? Good morning, Lena. Did you sleep well? How are you feeling? Uh, do we hit enter? Thirst, headache, and nausea. Just perfect. Uh, I can't remember a thing. No wonder. As long as I know you, you say this every single morning. You should drink in moderation and not cut the lectures. Tell me, what happened? Yesterday at 10 p.m. I thought of closing early since there were no people. It's understandable. Sunday, people have to get up early for work. But then you came in and ruined all my plans for the evening. I actually wanted to finish the series. So you told me that you had arranged a meeting with some guy. Alright, now I remember why I came here in the first place. It was impossible to move the meeting to another place since he didn't have his phone number. So we've been waiting for an hour and the man didn't come. Instead of leaving, as I asked you, you started walking around the street, grabbing random people, bringing them here and getting them drunk. Abused my work till the last client rule. Jeez, which does not apply to me for some reason. At this rate, the bar worked all night. There were a hundred people you brought here and you drunk yourself into oblivion. In other words, just your usual day, eh? Did the man show up? Uh, no matter how much you hoped he was coming, no matter how much you tried to give him a little more time, this asshole ditched you. Know that he made the worst mistake of his life. He doesn't realize what kind of wonderful cutie he gave up. Yeah. Uh, go back, I guess. A little bit weird, kind of glitchy of uh, of a menu. Like, we got a quotation mark here, but not a quotation mark over here. We got really weird random capitalization. Uh, we got this weird dot 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 in the corner. I don't know. Let's... Anyway, let's move about. Jukebox. An old player. 
Most of the records eventually went out of commission, which is why the choice is limited to blah blah blah. Nah, I'm fine. Exit, sit, there's some dude over there. Alright. Do I just exit, I guess? Well, there's go and there's exit. I'm not sure of the difference. Let's go. Is this just the bathroom? Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Is this unisex? <laughs> Okay, so he's going into the stall. I will also go into it. Dirty toilet stall. Toilet rim is lying on the floor. In the divider, there's a hole taped shut. Marker writings are everywhere. Uh, this is gross. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> I make it a point to never pee in public. <laughs> it's just, you can't trust these things. <laughs> How other people treat those things. Exit. Okay. Is this my bike? Motorcycle to go. Who are you? Sup, girl? Wanna get something stronger than alcohol? Who are you, boy? I'm the one who offers you a trip for a reasonable price. Five per tablet. Datura. When a person has problems that cannot be relieved by alcohol, only this pill will help them forget. Knowing our grim world, I can say for certain that half of the city is on it. Nah, I'm good. Newspaper, red lines. The city has rotten to the core. <laughs> the w this game is a lot of weird grammar and stuff. I suppose it wasn't originally in English. Everyone knows about the lawlessness around us. Mass media feeds us with lies. The members of the city council stuff their pockets with our taxes. The bandits feel their impunity, bribing policemen. It is all clear as day, but people do nothing. Nobody even thinks of raising their ass off the couch, going to out and making a rally against the current government. It doesn't have anything to do with fear. People are simply not united. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to be doing in this game? All I know is of the whole I'm supposed to meet with a guy or something. Reported missing. Okay. Same thing. Okay, I thought it might have been a different thing. What's in here? Is this my apartment? Only bills and debt warnings. Not a single envelope with millions of dollars. What a pity. Yeah, right? <laughs> Keep on waiting. Mm, apartment number one, two. So knock, so I guess they're not my apartment. What about these ones? Knock, knock, so I guess they're not mine still. Up one further. Am I on the top floor? Knock and knock, still. So I haven't found my place. There is a ladder here, but it doesn't do anything. Huh. Alright, fine. But she checked her mail, so she must live here, right? Maybe we should knock on some places? Okay, nothing. Still nothing. I'm hoping that she goes up to a door, knocks, and then she's like, what am I doing knocking? I live here or something. Wait, maybe I can go further down? No, I can't. Or maybe not. Maybe maybe she really doesn't live here? But then I don't know why she commented on the mail. It's really peculiar. And she was kind of rapping on the wall right there. It was a little bit misaligned. <laughs> okay. Still not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess we'll just go in the motorcycle? Rummaged in pockets. There are no keys in my pockets. I wonder where I could leave them. Wait, so do we even... Key? Not. So do we even know if this is my motorcycle? Oh, really weird. I see that you tried to make, like, the water splash onto my character. But when you kind of walk like this, it kind of just looks... It kind of looks bad. But I, I get the uh, intention, I suppose. Uh, so I can't find my keys. Maybe I should talk with the guy a bit more. Yellow. Uh, yeah. Lost the keys, huh? Right, you were afraid that you would want to ride the Night City on your bike while being completely smashed and crashed. So just in case, you gave your keys to Leroy. Why him and not you? And who the fuck is Leroy? That's our regular customer. Unfortunately, he's not here right now. He's probably lying down at home after such a wild night. He lives in the next house. Second floor, room number four. Your key should be there. Keep knocking. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. So, floor two, room number four. Alright, so we're piecing together this weird amnesia mystery, I suppose. 
four. Knock. Knock. Uh, Elena, what time is it? 11 a.m. Eh. Uh, I should come for your motorcycle keys. They should be in the room. I left them somewhere. Honestly, I feel very bad right now. I can't do anything. I barely got up from the bed to open the door. Uh, can you come in and look for the keys yourself? I feel like dying right now. All right. Thanks a lot. Small warning, I wasn't expecting any guests, so my room is a little messy. Alright, it's fucking slammed the door on me, you son of a bitch. Search the closet. Nothing. Maybe in the coat? That seems like it might be where it is. Really? Okay, bedside table. Nope. Cool sprite animations for rummaging through all that stuff. Dirty clothes, I doubt it's in there. Let's check the shelf. Hmm. Alright, down here. Oh, jeez, just dumping stuff. I like the little animations. This is probably the most impressive part of the game I like so far, that searching through every individual component has its own unique animation. That's really, really impressive. Because most other games would just have, like, the character, you know, turn to look at it and then turn back and say empty or something. But this one actually had all that special stuff to it. Jeez. And I was feeling kind of bad about the game, where I was saying, like, it's like, eh, it's kind of boring, but that really wowed me right there. I don't know. Leroy, dirty clothes, shelf. Let's check the shelf. Nothing. What, the chest? Christ, so it's in the dirty clothes? Or maybe it's in the last spot you look for it. Oh, no, maybe not. Alright, give? Do you mean get motorcycle keys? Or got motorcycle keys? Leroy, should I tell him I'm leaving? Okay, I've come to tell you that I found the keys. That's nice, that it actually has a dialogue for that. <laughs> uh, amazing. Alright, I'm going. Close the door behind me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, alright. See you, Leroy. All right, heading on down. <laughs> Is there anything else to chat with the barkeep before I get going? Uh, <laughs> what happens if I say, tell me again? He lives in the next house. I already did it, man. Should I say, give me a glass? Yeah, let's just have a little bit of fun. Lena, maybe you should stop for once. You've been partying all night long and poured a ton of booze. Come on, I wanted to uh, celebrate that I found my keys. Surprised you're still standing up. I have a weird dilemma. I feel that if I drink more, I'll puke. But man, I'm thirsty. <laughs> no, that's fine then. Although, maybe there's an animation for puking? Let's give it a shot. I warned you. Hey, decent uh, animation. The way it actually like leans like back, like pixel by pixel. Yeah. Damn it, I gotta puke. <laughs> run to the toilet, you dummy. <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious what would happen if I don't run to the toilet. I'll just go for it. Ugh, gross. Jeez. Well, I guess I got it out of my system, so I guess I'm all right. <laughs> Feeling better? Wanna go for another round? I think I just quit drinking. <laughs> Alright, anyway. We'll be off, I don't care about the drug dealer and blah de blah Let's use that key. Let's get out of here. There's these weird, do you see those? Like weird rectangles or squares around the smoke particles? It's really odd. Cool, I guess we made it past the, the intro, so that's very nice. Antidote City Hall, episode two, red line. Oh, so is this like episode two? So maybe this is actually part of a story thing and that's why I'm a little bit lost. Although it seems like it starts all right, where it's like, you know, you're an amnesia, so you gotta figure out everything, but still, I'm not quite sure what the greater purpose is in this game. Documents, not. Okay, so I guess I'm looking for some documents. But, 
We're already at 10 minutes, so I'll stop it here. Interesting game. Uh, a little bit drab and a little bit, like, janky. Like I said, like, some of the graphics had these weird, like, squares around them. Uh, it felt like the English translation was kind of alright, but a little bit weird, like missing quotation marks, weird capitalization, some, t some grammatical mistakes, and weird, but uh, I don't know. It had a sense of humor. It does have a really cool moody atmosphere to it, cool art. I especially liked some of the cool animations, so uh, yeah, it's an interesting story, and I think I might come back to it to see uh, what the rest of it is like. But, that is it for now. Hopefully it saves my game. <laughs> Alright, next up is Keep It Powered by Rob1221. Ah, collect the batteries quickly to stay alive in this time-based platformer. <laughs> you get that idea from Volte's Quest? Nah, I'm just playing. But I did really like Volte's Quest. Let's see how much I like this one. Alright, Keep It Powered. Oh, so this is a post-jam version. Cool, cool. So, enter. W-A-D. Oh, I see, but we're losing power. Ah, he's toast. Okay, but every time we pick one of these up, we get more power. Gotcha. Alright. Power. 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 Uh-oh, can we make it? Oh, that was close. Nice. So we only lose power when we're moving, right? Yes. Are these like death blocks or something? Oh, those are slow down blocks. Okay, that kind of makes sense. It's like warping you into the wall, I guess, or vacuuming into the wall. I guess that symbol works, even if it's kind of a rehash of symbols I've seen in previous games. All right, oh, this might be, tr oh man, that's rough. Is it trying to say, like, this would be a better route? Oh, wow. Really? I didn't think that would be a better route, but... Interesting. I think the bottom route would be better. Oh. Ooh, that was close. That's tricky. All right. So the game's kind of teaching you, like, there could be a lot of different... Oh, are these, like, speed up squares? Gotcha. I figured. This... <laughs> Makes sense, because they're warping out, and it's green, which is a nice color, so yeah, it makes sense. Oh jeez, you have to intentionally jump on that path just to gain speed. Okay, well I guess I would take the speed up path, yeah? Oh, but that was, uh, closer than I like to admit. This might not actually- yeah, once again. This reminds me a lot of, uh, HP attack defense, where you kind of have to, like, pick the best path, and it's not always obvious. Sometimes it could be counterintuitive. Like, you would think you would want to go down to the speedy path, but actually the slow path was better there. So yeah, it seems to have a lot of, uh, gotchas. Ah, oh, come on. I thought I did that pretty well. Alright. Alright, go. Oh no. Ah. Got caught there. I was trying to be real efficient. I ended up screwing myself instead. Go. Jump. Nice. Okay, so we got block pushing now. Gotcha. Good. Nice. Oof. It's close. Push it, then get the battery. Then push, get battery, push. Gotcha. Interesting. All about being efficient and really planning everything out. I tried to make the most out of my current power on all of my moves there instead of just grabbing the battery immediately. So that was nice. Is this like a button to let me out? Gotcha. And grab the button as I fall down. Grab this. As much as you would think you would go to the right, I'm pretty sure I would die if I tried to do that. And there we go. Hmm, this pulls us down? I'm not sure quite what that is. Oh, so it's a no jump zone. Gotcha. Oh, that's rough. It goes against my uh, instincts as a gamer to not jump from the edge of a platform, but because of those weird down arrows, I need to jump before them. That feeling, like, it really, like, chilled me to the spine, not jumping on the edge of a platform. That was, like, more horrifying than a horror game. Ugh. Worked completely against my instincts. Okay. 
Let's see. Hmm. Maybe go like this, and this, and then this, and then this, and then. Uh oh, this might be tough. Oh no. Damn. try that path again. Might have been the right path. Maybe I just screwed it up a little bit. Not sure. Ah! Just barely there. Maybe I could still make it there. Let me just try that path one more time. Wait. I totally screwed myself, I think. <laughs> I don't know why I grabbed that battery at the start. Okay. Can I get the- ah! I might be able to though, maybe. Nice! And then grab this. And now it should be a piece of- wow, actually we barely made it there. It's harder than I thought. Alright, I'm guessing these are warp zones? Okay. Whoops. Oh, okay. I was wondering if it would change where it would warp you to, but it was not the case. Go. Okay, not too shabby, not too hard. It was just introducing a new mechanic, so it was a safe, uh, safe room. Ah, so that sends us down, but that's bad for us. We need to jump over because we want to be efficient. We want to grab that, warp down, get that. Uh, oh man. It's really rough. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think I get the idea. We keep that uppity one there. Do this, go back. Well, grab that, go down. Now we're able to grab it. Nice! I like that. Solid puzzles. Once again, from Rob112. 1222. 1222345. Uh, okay. I think I'm- ah, goddamn down arrows screwed me over. The down arrows are kind of an annoying obstacle to deal with. Ugh. Now what? I think this is right. Need to be careful. Yeah, we grabbed this battery on the way back. Okay, do we do it like this? Nice, gotcha. Okay, I'm going to guess that it's gonna be like this. Hey, I was right. <laughs> uh, wait, did I just screw myself? <laughs> Hang on. Hey, hey. Okay, now what? I do this. Do I go like this? Oh man, but I don't have enough power left. Ah, damn. Not quite sure how to get past this zone. There's just not enough battery power left for anything. Whoops. Let's... Go, go, go. We can almost reach it to the end. I guess maybe it's a challenge of do I get the battery or do I continue or something? Ugh, damn it. I'm not quite sure how to do this one. Hmm. Damn. Ah, so close. Trying to see if I can be more efficient with this area up here. Oh man, that was close. Maybe. Maybe that is the idea. Damn. Although it's really wild how it can fluctuate. So maybe not. Oh, close. Just right on the barrier, that son of a bitch. Damn. 
Ah. Just can't reach that battery. Oh, almost. I think maybe I was throwing myself off. I could just, yeah, there we go. My problem was I kept walking to the right of this thinking I needed to do that for a good arc, but I could just jump here and then I would make it. That was real tight. Now I think I just drop down and then I speed along and nice. Okay, maybe one more puzzle. Whoa, what's up with that? Oh, they're just timed. Yeah, I almost thought, just because I moved at the same time they activated, I thought they were like motion sensors. Alright. I bet if I fell down there I would have wasted too much battery dragging my ass back up. Alright, go. Go. Alright. And what do we have here? Oh man, this is starting to get complicated. Woo! Uh-oh, I did not mean to do that. Maybe it's fine. Oh boy. Ah! Ah, this is getting, this is getting too complicated for me. And I think we're already at the 10 minute time limit. So I'll stop here for now. But a solid puzzler. I like it. And I like, uh, once again, Rob1221 is just really good at these kind of like, uh, they do, I admit, like, get kind of like samey, like I'm seeing like the same graphics and stuff like that now and then, but it does feel like there's a lot of inventive mechanics and obstacles and things to play with in each game, so I can't complain that much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like the whole efficiency and how like you gotta pick some routes that might not be that obvious and stuff. Uh, and retrospect, and it's like, oh, interesting. It's like, you know, a lot of the times I was picking the speedy path, but it's like, no, the slow path is actually more efficient. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have thunk it. Anyway, really cool game. I will definitely try to come back and finish the rest of the levels, but I'll see. These things always get really hard, and my brain can only take so much. All right. On to the last row, we got Melody Shuffle by Jazzed Games, or Jazz D Games. Move notes around to create the melody in this puzzle game with a musical twist. Alright, let's check it. Alright, hit it. Jazz D Games, Melody Shuffle. Boop. Alright, how many levels we got in this? Woo, 30. Alright. Let's see how it works. Click and drag to move interactive objects. What, this down here? Click once to rotate. So like this? Press the play button to activate the speakers. Oh! So it's, I thought it was the mic goes there, gotcha. So speaker goes like that to the, is that what's supposed to be happening? Okay, interesting, I guess. Da, da, da. <laughs> I like how it plays a little tune at the end, and the boom. Ah, this is some wonderful, charming design. I love how like uh, just like professional this HUD and everything just feels. The buttons feel great. I like the way they wiggle and highlight when you roll over them. I like the wiggling letters up here and the way the little. Ugh. It's just so cool. Very nice. Very good design. Let's see the rest of this. Move notes to the microphone in the correct order. Oh, so we got some Factorio stuff going on here. Hmm. So we got these arrows to work with. Is it gonna be like, this needs to take the fastest route, but this should take a bit of a slower route? Something like that. Ah, crap, they arrived at the same time. Um, how did that work again? Okay, so they do move one at a piece. Hmm. And we can't do it like that, because that arrives wrong. Yeah. Huh, that's a little bit of a doozy just for the start one, so I can only move these arrows. How does this work? 
Is it like... No, they just go off the <laughs> screen. Um, how does this work? Am I thinking about this too hard? Because it's just level two. You would think it would be something pretty obvious, right? Hmm. If we do that, that's really bad because it's in the wrong order, right? Yeah. Um. And we just did this, but that didn't work because they arrive at the same time. Is there a way for me to slow down this guy or something? And that doesn't work. <laughs> huh! I'm already stumped. I'm sorry, it's getting late in the day and I'm really sucking. Alright. Damn. What the hell? Hmm. Let's see. Move notes. can't move these bloody speakers, right? Huh. Three arrows to work with. Can we put it like over the speak? No. They have to go out like that, right? Oh, wait a minute. I might have been... So they already naturally move downwards. Okay, that wasn't something I was thinking initially. So that means... Wait, no, it was something I was already thinking initially. Wasn't it? What am I doing? Hmm. Ah. It's just the second level, why the fuck can I not solve this? I feel like such a goddamn idiot. What am I doing wrong? Oh my god. Must be something I'm... <laughs> and they stay like that forever, in peace. Alright, so yellow first. Because yeah, the obvious solution I would think be something like this because it makes it seem like this would be the fastest route whereas this kind of runs a bit of a circuit or something but I've already tried that right yeah and that doesn't work so I need to no I can't do that that doesn't work either that definitely doesn't work Hmm. Maybe. Oh! Oh my god. There we go. Whew. A little bit of a difficulty jump, but uh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of that initially. It's... I'm very curious if a lot of other people were able to solve that way faster than I did. Now, don't get me wrong, like, uh, I like difficult puzzles, but maybe that was a little bit too much of a jump. I don't know. Let's see how this next puzzle plays out. Interactive objects will flash white. Yeah, we got these things. So, the heart goes first, and then goes purple, and then the diamond goes, uh, like that, and then... This goes? See, that was friggin' easy compared to the last one. It just seemed to... It just seemed to make sense. Like, I, I kind of grasped the idea of it. It was like something that looks complicated, but it has like a structure that kind of leads you to it naturally. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know why I had so much difficulty with the second one, but not that one. It was... The second one was deceptively hard, except not really, but it was, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like maybe there needs to be another second level that eases you into it a little bit better, and then 
the third, and then the second level becomes the third, and the third level becomes the fourth, and then you just continue. I just feel like there needs to be another level past level one, but before level two, that just does something a little bit more complicated, but not too complicated. Like, maybe it introduces leading multiple notes to the thing, but it does it in an obvious manner, so you know. And then level three does leading multiple notes, but you have to fiddle around with it to lead them in an unorthodox way. I think that might be, you know, just slow down the pace a little bit, maybe. I don't know, but maybe that's just me. And it is good for games to be more difficult. Not every game needs to baby you. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just laugh at my incredibly bad skills. Okay, objects other than arrows can be interactive. Oh, bloody hell, you can move the mic. Ah, I kind of hate when games do that sometimes because it's like, it, it feels like all of a sudden I don't even have a foundation to work from. Okay, so purple first. Maybe just purple like that. And then blue, and then uh, green. We'll take a bit of a circuitish route. That that second level really knocked out the fuzz in my brain, I suppose, because all these things are smooth sailing now. What the hell was up with that second puzzle? <laughs> all right, do do do. Right-click rotates objects in opposite directions. Spacebar also. Oh, that's neat. So right-click. Oh, okay. I, I guess that's kind of nice. It's not quite necessary, but it is a nice little thing. Okay, so this time I can't move the mic. So green can go straight up, and that's fine. And then maybe... Uh, no, that won't work. Or, I don't know, just give it a try, let me see what happens. Now, we need to do something to throw off yellow so it has a slower path. Damn, still not enough. Hmm. to separate them, sons of bitches, but I'm not sure how. This thing is going up. We definitely need to move it left in some way, and these things are going up, and we definitely need to move them right in some way. And then we definitely need to move them up in some way, I think, right? Oh, wait. Maybe it's something like this? No, that's still... Hmm like whoops something like this no they're still not being separated what am I missing there must be something non-obvious damn the difficulty has gone up again think differently maybe oh yeah Wait, but, uh, opposite way. <laughs> like this. I, I mean, like this. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> I love the design of this game. Oh, and now we do want them all at the same time. We want a chord, I guess. Interesting. Okay. Although we have two mics. Hmm. Curious. All right. How do we do this? We can't have them all go to one mic at the same time, obviously. We need to use two mics. Like, if we do something like this, we'll have a chord of that, but we're missing the heart. Heart. Hmm. 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. No, that's terrible. <laughs> hmm. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, no. There's something going on here. I'm just trying to think. <laughs> Great. Uh, what do we do here? We need to get them all at the same time, but not necessarily all in the same mic. Mic dato. <sighs> if we can somehow hmm. sorry I'm sure this must be riveting to watch me try to get through something like this uh, wait is that it? Hang on, hang on. I think that's it. Yeah! Got it! <laughs> okay. I think that's about all my brain can take. <laughs> uh, I like the nice little celebration you get at the end. Okay, this is getting a bit too crazy. We'll stop here for now. Although it is a bit nicer because I don't need to move the mic. Um, yeah. That's actually a really cool game. I like it. Um, really cool concept, really fun. A little bit of a difficulty spike, but I, I do like me a difficult game. And uh, I just really love the design. It's not like a particularly explosive game, but it's just so juicy. The way these elements like pulse and like highlight and move and stuff like that. And the way uh, the background is just popping and the way the, the notes dance about and the way the music transitions between all the themes. Like right now it's like, but then once you start playing, the way they like, it plays a little song as they're moving and stuff. And then it plays a little celebratory song at the end when they're all dancing and stuff. The design is just, mmm, it's just so nice to look at and hear. So, uh, yeah, very good work on that. Alrighty. Next up is Forgotten Hill Pico by FM Studio. Can you take Pico back to its cage? I don't know, let's see. Ah! Oh, Pico is in Pico 8. Gotcha. Alright. FM Studio. Okay. X or click to start. Well, do you want me to use the mouse? Well, it said something about dev kit mouse enabled, so I'm assuming it's mouse. Click. Alright. Is this a point and click game? Click on the mouse. Nothing. Now we can click on these books for some reason. Take that, books. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll click on the door. Click in. Okay. Hey, buddy. The creature of my last experiment escaped. Find it and put it back to its cage before it does any damage. Okay. Cat? Did you do anything? What about you guys? Nothing? Did we go back? Oh, now we can go right. Okay. Uh, let's check the book. The Fly and the Spider by Jonah Thompson. Do I do anything? Oh, do I just close it? Okay. Huh weird sort of zipper type things. I guess there's a certain combination I need to go for, but I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Up, down, one, two, three. So, one before top, and then one, two, three. Nice. Got it. Uh, was the key for this? No. 
Not sure what the key was for. All right, cool little point and click adventure. I didn't, I wasn't aware Pico 8 could do things like this. So uh, yeah, was the key for that? Or I don't know, I didn't test it. Who the hell are you? Uh, creator didn't make my legs. I never been anywhere. Please show me something beautiful. Uh, I don't know. Can I like click these skulls? They're colored in a certain way. There's this thing right here, but I don't know what that is. I'll be back, buddy. Hmm. There's a vase, some smiling dude. We got some stuff down here, missing something. I guess we need to find something like that. Got a clock here. Some colors. Hmm, I'm not sure what we need to be pointing at. Let's go ahead and see if we can find something else. Jewel? I guess we need another jewel. I guess we need another jewel to open that door. Alright. Uh, plant. Spider. Oh, is that the fly in the spider or something? There's a spider there. Maybe I just need a fly. Let's check over here. Got a knife. That's good. Got a... Do we have to click on a key to use it? Okay, maybe not. How do I unclick? Oh, I just click it again. I tried right clicking, but that didn't do anything. Shelf, nothing. Frying pan, something. Goblet? Okay. It's a cup. Alright. Can I use the cup on... maybe fill it with water or something? No, I guess not. Alright. Cup here? No. Hang on, does the cup go on this pedestal? It looks fancy. Nah, it probably does need a jewel. Do we use the key here? Really? I have this key and I have no idea what to do with it. Does the cup go here? Hmm. Maybe this is beautiful enough for you? Trader didn't make my legs. Please show me something beautiful. There's another chain there. Maybe I need another skull? I don't know. I don't know what these books are for. I wonder if they're of any importance. Hey, I have a cup. <laughs> I don't know where to go now. I suppose I could always just kill this guy with the knife. Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't know how to solve a puzzle. You start just taking a knife to people. Alright, that's not working. I got a cup and a key. I don't know what to do with them. Cup does not go in there. We got this thing. Heart, eye, star, home, time. Yeah, I have no idea what to point for those things. Oh, the key works on that? But it doesn't even have a lock on it. Oh my god, thank god I tried that just because I was getting desperate. That's a bit... That door should probably have a lock on it, because it really looks like you're supposed to use these pillars. Ah, whatever. Okay, gross. Uh, candelabra, some bones. Can I get a fly? Maybe I can cap cap capture a fly in a cup? No, I guess not. Hmm, stuff here. What's this? It's a heart, I guess. What about these hands? This blood. Oh, maybe I need a blood chalice? Okay, we got a cup of blood. Gross. <laughs> What's over here? Hmm. The creature is not very cooperative, but is extremely attracted by mandrake seedlings. Okay. What's all this stuff over here? So that's the cage, so I guess we need to put a mandrake seedling there. He comes, and then bah. I don't know what this is. We got up and down are glowing and everything else is red. Hmm. Got a cup of blood. Do we put it here or something? I feel like I need to figure out what to do with this cup of blood. I don't know. Is this a mandrake? What's left? What's left? Maybe knife the gem. No. Cup the gem. No. 
Uh, do you want a cup of blood? No. What is this weird piece of red right there? can I interact with? The fly and the spider, yeah. I feel like I'm supposed to get those... Is this clock? Oh! Clock is straight up and to the right. So maybe that's what we need? Straight up and to the right. But then I don't know where red goes. But maybe if we just cycle red, it'll work? Hmm. Hang on, maybe we need to move this one up and this one to the right, and then cycle red somewhere. Really? I thought we just needed to mimic that clock. I guess not. Nothing. Cup of blood? Something? Knife? Do we take a knife to the paintings? Like the picture of Dorian Gray or something? <laughs> on the cup. There's a heart symbol. Is there a heart on this? Oh yeah. I I think I get it. It's a blue heart. That means we use the blue button to go over the heart. Okay. Maybe we need to find other clues. Is that still not enough? Let me see. Maybe we can find another clue. It's a red button. There is something here. You could almost think this would be like a clock or something. Down and up for yellow, I guess. I have no idea. Hmm. Maybe it needs to be... Blue is there. But maybe this needs to be down and up. Maybe reverse it. I don't know. I guess we need to find something red and something green to figure out what the other buttons are. Something red, something green. There's this clock here, but I don't think it's useful. Uh, something red. Something red. What else? What else? Candelabra. What the hell do we do with this goddamn cup of blood and this goddamn knife? This is. No idea. Extremely attracted by mandrake seedlings, yeah. God damn it. I don't know what this thing to the side is. I don't know what the deal's up with these two pedestals. And this weird gem. It just seems kinda out of place. We got the fly and the spider, but whoa, jeez. Okay, so I have to feed it blood. All right, what did that do? Do we like cut it off or something? Oh, okay. Um, so it's a flower. Do we take the flower over here on the hook? No. Oh, right, the guy who wanted to see something beautiful. Alright, it's all fallen into place. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. This is much nicer than the rhyme the creator always sings. What? <laughs> it only says 5314. These are the numbers I need to store. 5314? I haven't had like a number lock or anything like that. 5314. <sighs> Is 
there anything else around here that has had some sort of number based thing? I mean, we got the clock, but 5314. I don't really know how that helps us here. I mean, there's up to 12 numbers, and we still don't know what sort of. Huh. these books in a certain pattern or something? One, two, three, four, five, three, one, four. I have no idea. Like, one, two, three, four, five. I have done. That was stupid. That was just grasping at straws. Five, three, one, four. Numbers I need to store. The creature, the creature, yeah, the cat. Other things can I interact with? Five, three, goddamn one, four. And these skulls seem important, but I can't find a way to interact with them. Five, three, one, four. Uh, two, three, four, five, three, one, four. No, that doesn't seem to work. Five, three, one, four. Nope. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, three, one, four. No. <laughs> I'm just looking around for anything I could possibly connect with numbers. I'm not having any luck. Ah, this is rough. Well. It's a cool little uh, point-and-click adventure. Uh, a little bit weird, I'm having difficulty with it, but I was doing all right. Like I said, some of the things I found kind of annoying, because it's like you got this door, which has a lock on it, so you assume you need the key for it, and yet there's a regular-looking door that needed a key for it? That really kind of threw me off. That feels like... That's the kind of thing where it's like, all right, that was just the game not properly communicating the elements properly. But everything else seems pretty cool, and I'll try to get through this. Um, yeah, it's a pretty neat game. Not too shabby. Alrighty, last on the docket is Gravity Snake by Mr. Nannings, a puzzle game that is not too difficult. A mix between Snake and a platformer. Alright, let's check it out. <laughs> nice achievements, spells out Snake. Alright, we'll see if we can get them all, but I don't know. It might be too tricky for me. Guess we gotta wait for loading. Don't worry, Mr. Nannings, I'll wait. There we go. Nannings Games. Gravity Snake. Hey, wait for me, please. What? Do I move with the arrow keys or something? Or maybe wadst? Okay. Am I the blue one? Yeah, it looks like I'm in the blue one. Was that it? No, oh, okay. That was kind of weird. I think I needed to move, like, one extra, like, tile there, even though it was already off screen. So it's kind of weird. Um, so how does this work? Do I hit up and then right? Oh, and I've grown larger with some fruit. I see, so now I'll be able to do that and hook onto that. That's cool. Okay, gotcha. Alright, growing bigger. Hmm, do I need to do something like that? Yep. I guess I need to be careful not to trap myself. I think... I already spotted the trick where if I went here, I would have been stuck with no way to retreat. So I should make that the last one to go. Oh, gee, why did I f Oh, I see. I had something resting here, so it acted as a, uh, a hook. Gotcha. Good, good. Good design so far. Quite like it. Uh-oh. Am I gonna make it out? Uh, oh, no! 
Like the Ouroboros eating its own tail. But what the hell? How do I... Huh. Maybe I need to... Go here first or something? This is a tricky one. Alright, so that was right. I still think this needs to be the last one, because I can't retreat once I go in there, so if I go for this one. But now for this one, I feel like I might be too long that I can't get out. Ow. Oh, I think I get it now. I get it now. This is a complex one for level 3, but I think I get it. Okay. So, I do get this one, like before, because, yeah, I need to do that. But I'll skip these ones. Just go right past them. Ignore them. You want to munch them, but you shouldn't. So you haven't... Yeah, now everything's coming up. This is nice. And bam. Complete. Alright. Oh, interesting one. Okay, I guess it's forcefully teaching you if you didn't fully understand the hook mechanic that was in some of the other levels. Now it's here to be like, hey, make sure you understand that this is how this works. Alright. Oop, 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 oop. Uh, nice! Cool. I like it. Building interesting patterns. Alright, I'm guessing... Yeah, I can't even get that one, even if I wanted. Alright, so I get this one. Do I do the same strategy here? Oh no, maybe not. Uh, uh, uh. Damn, just a little short. Well, can I get this one? But I don't want to hit down one more time, because that would send me careening my doom, right? I'm just going to double check. Let's just do it. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, that's another gotcha moment. Good design. Where it's like, hey, you got to be efficient with your movements. You should, like, unhook yourself as fast as possible. Just like this. You turn like that, and now you're safe. Okay. And hook. Gotcha. Okay. And now this one I think I can just go straight up and then jump! <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, this is a little scary to do, but it worked. Uh-oh. Is this gonna... Nah, I knew it! I didn't build up a good foundation there. That was bad. I think I need to make sure I do that. I needed to go all the way to the ground so I could- Oh! Maybe I actually was too soon to go on that path? Maybe we need to retreat first. Uh-oh. Kinda getting myself confused here. Hang on, to straighten myself up. Now I can do this. No problem. Can I get up here? Okay, I can. And munch that. Okay, I think that's what I need, so I can do this now. I just needed one more length. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And now build yourself up. And now push to the right, push to the right, push to the right. And munch. That was a bit different than I expected, actually. I didn't think the fruits could hook me. I thought they were not treated as platforms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What are the clouds about? Do you push through them? I see. They form platforms, but they can screw you over. <laughs> uh. Oi. Gotcha. Alright. Gotcha. A good idea. Yes, it is. Got it. Oh boy, is that gonna count as a death? Oh, thank goodness it doesn't. Good. All right, all right. Go, 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 go. All right. Here's where some of the. I was just about to say, like, uh, 
I wasn't sure at the beginning it was like, it's a bit of like an action platformer as well, but I was like, it seems pretty slow and methodical so you can take your time, but now we're being kind of rushed. I see what it was meant now. Cool, cool. Oh boy, gotta go this way first, I think. Go, 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 go. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Whoa, don't move too fast. I might just straight up overtake these guys. Alright, these levels are quite simple. These are just... Those are just straightforward levels where it's just you're against time. And now we're kind of back to the uh, type of levels we were having before, I suppose. Got it. Alright. Can I reach this? Nope. Okay, so I gotta work my way down. Go. So we wouldn't have been able to reach that before, because we wouldn't have had enough. Gotcha. Alright, we got a hook, no problem. And we got a perfect bridge to the end. <laughs> hmm. I think we need to go down. Trying to be as little destruction as possible. Oh, hang on. Because I need to keep these as important platforms. Whoop, oh, hang on. Hopefully this works. Nice, there we go. I like this. This is a lot of fun. This this is a puzzle game that works for me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Right when I say it's a puzzle game that works for me, now I'm having some difficulty and getting screwed. <laughs> hmm. I think we still should go after this one. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> should I go for that one? I think I should. Maybe it's not the right idea. Maybe... Maybe I need to go for this one? Oh, boy. Nope. Ah! I don't think that was the right idea. I should definitely go for that one, because that one's an easy one to grab. Okay. Got it. Oh boy. Ah! Damn it! I'm doing something wrong when I'm transitioning there. I think I need to do something like this. So I'm a bit safer. Uh-oh. Did I just screw myself again? Maybe. But maybe not. No, I'm definitely screwed. <laughs> God damn it! I need to get past at least this one last level, I think. Should I go for this instead? No, I don't think I have enough length to be able to reach out and grab that. So I think that one's out. Maybe I should just push forward like this. Oh, no! Damn! Okay. Maybe I need to completely forgo those cloud ones and just go for the ones that are on nice, solid platforms. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. I just totally screwed myself. <laughs> I was too greedy! <laughs> I 
Hang on, hang on. I think that's the right idea, but I was just being really bad at it. Okay. There we go. close to building the right pathway to this. Oh no. I did it again! Didn't have a wide enough hook. Very foolish of me. Oh, why am I having more difficulty than I freaking thought I would? <laughs> I think my brain's just starting to get a little bit bleh after so many puzzlers. Puzzles are always such a, a popular genre. Okay, there we go. Okay. Is it enough to just... Oh my god, a perfect circle! time again. Oh my god, I just did the same thing! <laughs> uh, trying to remember all of the right moves I made, but they're just not coming to me right now. There we go. Just need to make sure I build a good foundation before I make moves. because we're already, I think, past my 10-minute limit. I'm just having fun. <laughs> Even though I'm blowing it, there's something about just the really cute design of this game that makes me want to keep trying it. <laughs> okay. Do I maybe leave that one for last? Maybe I am supposed to get this one first? Best way to approach this. Did I already try this and fail? I think I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I failed. Okay. I'll stop there for now, but I'll try continuing that next time. Anyway, Gravity Snake. Uh, yeah. Seems like a really solid puzzler. Good amount of variation. I, I I would say maybe the level design is a little bit, you know, a little bit doonanny. It seems like it had a little bit of like, uh, I don't know. It was just like, it had a weird like hard puzzles and then it had a real easy patch where it was just those mazes where it's just you're outrunning the spike balls which seemed like really easy. Like level three kind of like spiked pretty hard but it was a good level, I think, definitely. I don't know. I felt like maybe there was some difficulty spikes in the level design, but I did think the levels were really solidly put together in good puzzles. Um, and they helped, and they were really solidly, I think, good tutorials and such. Like, for example, level three was really good at, you know, teaching you don't be greedy, just because something's in front of you doesn't mean you should eat it immediately. Uh, make sure you have enough length to get yourself out of your own jam and stuff. Something I'm not doing right now very well. Uh, yeah. 
A very nice puzzler. I think you kind of achieved what you were going for, where even though sometimes puzzlers really confound me, there's something about the movement in this one that's just so fun that it kind of goes beyond a puzzle game where usually you're dealing with elements and this is more of a kind of fun one where it's like you're just moving in a wild and wacky way which is kind of more like fun for a lot of people to play with than a traditional puzzle where you're just like moving blocks and pieces around and such anyway very nice okie dokie we've made it through all of the games that were nominated as the best games of new grounds for may 2020 next up is the judging what were my top 10. Alrighty, so there's my top 10 for the month we got interstate drifter 1999 can you save the world skim that profile melody shuffle winter falling price of life shape maze gravity snake worm protect egg untamiya's fantasy and josh dumb i'd also like to give an honorable mention out to candy's dream egg and life of alex those i feel were really really close to getting in the top 10 and as you know my criteria is all over the place and i don't know <laughs> switches on and off so who knows come tomorrow i'll probably be like ah, i should have put them in the top 10 or something but really all of these games deserve honorable mentions because after all you were the best of the month so wear that proudly anyway for now i'm submitting this into newgrounds so there you go but you all out there Make sure you go to Newgrounds yourself and try out these games and show them some love as well because that's what we'd like to do here. Support the developers, give them some good feedback so everybody can move onwards and upwards and we can get even bigger and better games. Anyway, from me, I'm signing off. So cheers all, and as always, love ya. And I'll see you next month for some more best games on Newgrounds.